Oh, you know what? I need some. I hate the way this man has cropped his fucking video. There. Wait, what do you mean? All right, I am back. Zach, the bottom of the screen is missing. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Shit like that drives Wait, me it fixed crazy. it. Wait, it fixed oh it. God. Wait, what happened? He probably just edited it was like, oh, it's going to be intense. Oh, you have yeah. To zoom in a little bit. I fucking <laughs> hate when people do that. Shit looks retarded. All right, cool. This will be this will work. All right, Fred Boat, we're getting you in here. Seth, I'm talking to Fred Boat. Oh, what? All right. Last we left off, our party had basically been exploring the manor. Ace had gone by himself to the library, as directed by uh, Nathaniel. Levi and Zahak. I'm going to have to constantly remember which one is which right now. I know <laughs> that it's I know that right. it's backwards for like daydream in real world, but I just gotta remember which one is which for you know like the first couple of sessions. Um Levi and Zahak both had managed to find their way up into a uh the balcony area where Nathaniel had first introduced himself and have discovered a uh a room that Basically, has like a staircase leading down into it from that balcony. And then Ash and Guile have been conversing with Nathaniel as they've been continuing the tour. Um, are the two of you familiar with what Nathaniel had said at the end of last session? People should be minding their own business or something like that. Um, like he knows they went into that room. He said that, that right? was a that was a portion of it. Oh, okay. I think he remember saying that. Um, and his brother was going to be coming. And okay. then there was like a uh, he he had a voice told him to make a like puppet or something. And so he'd get it back. He'd give it to Nathan and whether he wants to or not. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, as long as you guys are caught up to speed, then, uh, yeah. Uh, Nathaniel made mention of the fact that there was a voice that had called out to him, uh, roughly about the last time that you had met. Well, actually, just before you had met him. And that it would do... It would do what it needed to, to bring back Nathaniel's beloved puppet. And it had convinced him that Michael is the one that carries it. And so he expects Michael to be coming back. It was right after that, that he paused for a moment, looked up towards the balcony, and said, However, it seems some people are a little invasive of others. Privacy, that is. In any event, shall we continue this tour? Of course. If you'll come with me... This room here was meant for you all, in the event that you needed to work on something craft-like. I used to use this room when I was making constructs, as well as some changes to some things. But I figured that 
since I wasn't using it anymore, that perhaps you would have all liked to have used it. At least to have passed some time. I appreciate the offer, but currently I am in no need of making my own tools. Of course. Now, I am to understand that one of your colleagues have gone towards my library. Is there anywhere yeah. specific that you would all like to go? I just want to continue the tour personally, learn more about the, or see more of these renovations that you've done. The place is very different from when you were last here, so I can understand that. He then leads the way over to this door. And when he walks in, he uh, basically just like continues walking down the hallway. Uh, you notice that there are some paintings on the wall depicting um, essentially the same pictures of the family members that you'd already have seen. Uh, a door on the right, and then a door on the left, and then one door straight ahead. He ignores both doors and goes towards the end of the hallway, opening this door, and then walking in. Okay. This here is the newly renovated dining hall. I just realized it's dark in there. There we go. I forget that it's like the opacity for mine is not the same as yours. <laughs> Feel free to walk around. Okay. Um, I'm just like, uh, I'm gonna make a quick like glance, see if anything. Just look at the room, really. <laughs> Investigation, I guess. Okay, go ahead. Is there Not anything bad. specific that you're trying to investigate? It, 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 there's no like real. I guess nothing really specific. It's just like. This even anything really is out of the ordinary, even though out of the ordinary of what is already out of the ordinary. Right. Well, you notice two fireplaces, about eight tables, each table having four plates on them, as well as one uh, candelabra on each table. The placement for them is essentially perfectly aligned. Not a single one is out of place. Everything has been set up to the T, essentially. Not like, not even, even like a little board out of place. Were you expecting guests? It's quite a few plates we have set out. Oh, no. I... I just believe that it's proper manners to prepare all tables. Fair enough. I'm sure Guile here agrees. Indeed. Always good to have it all prepared. How does Guile feel knowing, or at least like noticing that every single one of these is like perfectly aligned? There's a sense of pride in it, but it's it's hard to feel like that feeling was with also the 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 constant eeriness he's feeling. It's like it's hard to let his guard down and actually appreciate it fully. Mm -hmm. He just he's just not getting he's just not getting good good feelings from this place. Oh, I want to so keep his guard I, up at the moment. I remember saying he's 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 he's
<laughs> he, he, something to be proud of. But I just want to say this, but when you're in a catacomb after just dying, you go and start sweeping the catacomb. Man has fucking OCD, what do you expect? I mean, hey, everyone has their own way of dealing with trauma. Plus, Plus it's that's just fucking disgusting in here. This place is immaculately clean. He's just. I need a minute. Uh, can you like do whatever Tyler's? Room yeah, is I, doing? yeah, I can skip over. Oh. So we'll cut over to Ace in the library, and if I'm correct, for what you were doing, you were specifically looking for like blueprints and such, and you're making an Arcana check. Mm -hmm. I want to see what's magical in here. And what I feel. All right. Give me just one second to see if there is anything that you can notice. And this is what I oh. need to click. Then... Mm. Do, 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 do. You can feel magic in the room, but you're pretty sure that it's, I mean, you can feel magic. I don't know exactly how Ace would interpret it into what it feels like because it's just magic all around the room. Like every bookshelf has some kind of magic, every pile, every candle, like every everything in the room seems to have some kind of like magic to it. Okay. Mm. That's basically what I was trying to see. Honestly, just see what I feel like if I had a feeling mm -hmm. about something. Um. Yeah, I just want to like go like walking past the bookshelves and just as I'm walking past them to see what and like if anything catches my eye. Okay. Give oh, me no. a perception check. Oh, nice. Alright, so a lot of things catch your eye. You're seeing just plenty of books. Every single one of these bookshelves is like completely filled. Um, okay, when I meant catch my eye, I meant specifics. Not just every book is catching my eye. Like every book I'm is getting like to a... that. Sorry, I didn't mean to like come off like that. I was yawning, but like. I'm still getting to that. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm explaining, hey, you see, there's a lot of books. Every single book is completely filled. However, there are books that catch your eye specifically, but you didn't get, let me get to that. Just because you rolled a perception doesn't mean I have to tell you specifically only what you see. Um, so, all these bookshelves are completely filled. And you're noticing that well, on oh. various bookshelves that... There are books on specifically crafts, mainly puppet crafts or string craft. String crafts. There's plenty. Uh, there's there's uh, there's a few of them that are revolved around um, making like the uh, the creation of puppets the materials that can be used differently for puppets um creating marionettes making it so that some of them can actually hold things in their hands being able to like control uh puppets almost like a human body could um with your arcana and your perception there is however one book that catches your eye and in the on this bookshelf right here on the left um there is a dark purple book uh does it have a name on it <laughs> like on its side purple um huh. it's written in what languages do you know uh for my character it's common 
the uh, goblin and dwarf, and so the base six. Okay. I would say that you can't understand the title of the book, but there is a no. title for it. Okay. So I want to like grab the book. Okay. Go ahead. Open I'm just open. Is it in that same language I can't read? Um. No, actually. It's not. In fact, when you open it, the text changes to specifically a language that you can read. Well, I look back at the front of it then and read the title. <laughs> However, right, the title does not change. No. Well, that's great. Uh, I just want to, like, I guess scan through and see in the book, like, what it is, I guess, about. So you're skimming through the book, <laughs> and uh, while you're doing so, you're, you're seeing something interesting with it. Like, each book, or each page, talks about a different thing. There's, there's, it's almost like every single page has a different topic. There's no single, like, chapter or segment for anything. It's scattered almost. But you are reading into it, and it's talking about witchcraft, essentially. Charms, hexes. It's also talking about <laughs> manipulation control like being able to control the human body being able to place enchantments on objects <clears throat> would you be so kind as to roll me a d20 okay there's a specific number you need to be okay so you're just flipping through these pages, and uh, yeah, that's roughly a lot of what you're seeing. Different kinds of incantations and kind of just witchcrafts. Do you skim through the entire book? Uh, no, I just skim through and just see what I see. <clears throat> okay. See what it's about, but if I just see random stuff... um. Does it, do I feel like it should even belong? Roll me an insight. I think. Uh, man! <laughs> you think it fits with the manor? Man! Oh, oh no. You think it fits oh, very well two, with the I manor? I two good numbers and I roll a fucking one. Mm -hmm. Um... Fuck. Well, because I rolled that, um, and I'm, we never I never told you about I, it either. Fuck. I don't even know what you're talking about now. I probably forgot. Um, I just put the book back. Fuck. Thinking it belongs there. Okay. I don't want to steal it and him realize I'm stealing a book. <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the least of your concerns for him to notice. <laughs> Well, did he see I can borrow research and stuff like that? He said you can look at it. Yeah. So you just put the book back in the <clears throat> spot that you took it from? Yes. Okay. You do so. And uh, I just kind of keep going through and see what else I see. Yep. You see the same things that I described before? just different books on specifically the puppets and everything else. Uh, roll me a perception check. Uh. <laughs> you hear a thud behind you. 
not specifically like this area, but like where you would where you were just coming from. I turn around. I was a little worried. The purple book is now on the floor. I go up to it and stare at it as it's on the floor. Just Sorry staring. to interrupt, but I am back. The cheesecake is just cooling in the fridge now. Cool. I got some carrot cake in the fridge right now. I need, I'm going to actually grab it a bit. Hmm. Uh, roll me another perception check. You hear two more thuds. Oh, uh, and where do I hear them from? <laughs> from the other bookshelves around you. Oh. Um, do the books look important at all, or do you just look basic ass book? Aside from the purple one, they just seem basic. Um, if you were to look at them closely, you would notice that each of them revolves around the specific ones that I was mentioning. The ones about oh. puppets, crafts, learning how to essentially use them in conjunction with the full function of the human body. I'm gonna slowly start back up. <laughs> How does it make it to there? Another book falls. From one of these? Uh, from your left. Oh, so over here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if I see that one, it's basically the same type that works all conjunction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get right here now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. I go up to this like, you want to make a book fall from this one? And I like do a little, uh, just pointing at it. Nothing happens. Okay, I, I'm, if I go right here, I'm just right here. Does anything else happen? <clears throat> Nothing happens. Okay. I'm going to go up and grab the book that fell here. Book that fell here. Book that fell here. And grab those. And I'm going to... Okay. <clears throat> are you grabbing them and, like, just holding them? Or are you grabbing them and, like, yes. putting them back? Okay. Holding. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we are nothing going. Happened. Yeah, nothing happens after you pick them up. Okay. We're going to cut from that moment and go back to Nathaniel and the others. And to sort of give a perspective of how exactly everything is going. Around the time that you were inspecting that purple book, Tyler, that is when I would say that Nathaniel was starting to walk up to the hallway, time-wise. Uh -huh. And when Nathaniel had walked through the hallway and into the dining hall, that's when some of the books began to start, you know, falling from their shelves. Got it. So, at least for that time perspective for the players, this is essentially where we're at. Ace is currently holding, like, a stack of books, and Nathaniel and the others are in the dining hall, and this is essentially, like, the, t the same timescape right now. <clears throat> so, you're back to, um... Yeah, we're back to you guys. Nathaniel... <laughs> If you don't mind my curiosity, how did you come to learn to animate all this? 
that in its own right is a gift. Hmm. Well, I will say that the, uh, the process was no mere gift itself. There was simply just some mementos left from my parents. Something that gave me a bit of insight into how to manage that. Would it be too much for us to gander at those? I myself would be quite interested to learn how to do some animation like this. Feel free to decline if it's too personal, but yeah, I am at least would... a little interested myself yeah. now that he's brought it up. Yeah, it would make working as a butler much easier. Much, much of my tasks I can have animate on their own. Why well, focus on more pressing matters? <laughs> well, Guile, then why would we need your service? <laughs> well, that's why I would know. So you still I'm joking. Me. I would never get rid of you. No, I know. So he looks over to you and says, As much as I would like to, I simply can't find the book. I know it's a little silly, but have you personally gone to your library to look for it or just sent your servants? Well, that's the thing. There are no servants anymore. Oh, that's true. Since you walked into this door, you have yet to see one servant. You had brought it up to uh, our attention that you had gotten rid of them. I had forgotten. Pardon. The pardons are necessary. I simply felt that they, that clinging to the idea of the memory of someone who had abandoned me was simply just not worth it. So I disposed of the servants. All of the marionettes gone. Everything in that library was adjusted by me. Well then, I'm sure you have at least a few personal favorites. I, for one, am quite fond of books. Would you mind showing me a thing or two in your library? It can wait until after the tour, of course, if you would prefer that. It's not that. It's, uh... It's kind of interesting, having someone so interested. I would like I to, except... That the library isn't really available at the moment. Did Ace do something? Ace, uh, Ash's tone shifts and she looks a little frustrated. No frustration necessary. Ace is actually doing a good job right now. He's currently picking up the books that have fallen by themselves. Fallen by themselves? So, were they placed wrong or is this a normal occurrence? Oh no. I just figured that some of the books require specific things. And for those specific things, I made sure that there was a little something in there for each of them. I think I get it. Oh, but I'm afraid I don't think you do. He raises his hand and snaps his finger. At the sound of the snap, Ace, you're carrying the stack of books, and when you held them, nothing happened, or when you picked them all up, nothing happened. However, 
Another book falls. Another book falls. Another book falls. They all start to fall around you. The ones that begin falling begin to start flipping through their pages rapidly. The one in your the one at the top of your stack begins to do the same. And then they all stop. Give me an investigation check. Alright, I am back. Wow. <laughs> what? Impressive. <laughs> Nice warning, by the way. He's rolling to the DM, by the way. <laughs> no, no, he... Alright, so let me go ahead and recap what just happened, because I didn't realize you left. We jumped to you, and I was saying things, and no. then you just came back. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and just say... I'm going to briefly explain what uh, Nathaniel was saying, because I don't know what you last heard. I heard... I Okay, so I heard that... Yeah, he was telling Ash about I was picking up books and stuff like that, and a bit after that, I got up because I was having some of that carrot cake, and it did not taste good at all. Oh, and no. I have you never had carrot cake? I I did, but Jesus. they did they used Jesus. um Jesus. different Jesus. frosting, and they put raisins in it. I don't really like raisins. <clears throat> I'm sorry for your loss, but raisins Thanks. and carrot cake is pretty good. Okay. Agreed. Cool. I don't like raisins. Smart. Good for you. <clears throat> really? Anyhow. I'm glad we... F oh. Off of that topic. Um, so, what Nathaniel had said after the fact that you were picking up the books, and Ash had asked... Um, Ash had, you know, inquired about some personal favorites of his. And he said... Unfortunately, the library is currently unavailable. And when uh, after about after a bit of moment after about a moment, um, Nathaniel then snapped his finger. After he did that, from Ace's perspective, one book fell, two books fell, multiple books started falling from the shelves. As they were all falling, they all started to start flipping through their pages rapidly the one at the top of your stack begins to start flipping through its pages rapidly. And then suddenly, they all stop. And then this is when you give me an investigation check. They all stop on a page that was added to the book. Each of them with a specific glyph. They, they all have specific glyphs? <clears throat> they all have specific glyphs. Did the uh, purple book open? The purple book has not opened. Now, when I was skimming through the purple book, did I see anything that resembled these glyphs? You did. I'm you... going to... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm going to drop the books. <laughs> like, you just drop them? Or you make them drop them away from them. Because <laughs> I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> I'm going to back up right here. And think if I want to mess with this or not. I'll say you have one thing to do. I have one thing to do? Yes. I mean, in my head, I, c I have two things I could do. Mm, I could book can try. it. <laughs> I could book it. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll try the door. Okay. The moment you start moving past the books, and you try to open the door, 
you notice that there's a glyph on the door too. So you try to open the door, right? I noticed the glyph. You noticed the glyph. Yes, yeah, sure, I'll try to open the door. The door is locked. I just say to myself, God damn it, I'm gonna shoot him in the head next time I see him. <laughs> He's fucking with us and pissing me off. <laughs> I, I hate this shit. I walk back over here. A little scared because weird shit's happening. Um, go back to the purple book and I grab it. Okay. And I look for the page with the glyph that's on the door. I'll move here with it. Okay. <laughs> so you do so. And when you move up to one of the candles, The little one candles? Of the, yeah, everything that's on the floor, the little glowing bits. What are these? Oh, the books. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, when you get to right there, before you pick up the book, essentially, like, you know, it's like each time you're passing, like, a candle. Um, one of the books glow. Or one of the glyphs glow. And one of the candles goes out. You go to the pit, you go to the purple book. The candle next to the purple book goes out as another glyph glows. You walk back right. over to the space. Another glyph glows. Another candle goes out. As I'm walking past them or flipping pages? As you're walking <clears throat> past them. Okay. Now what happens when I go to the page that has the glyph on the book, on the door, and the purple book? So when you go to this page, you were skimming through a lot of it. You were like basically just like you were seeing essentially what they were, but not reading too deeply into their purpose. When you finally read this one, you notice that you know, this one specifically says... My chair just broke, so I'm gonna be okay for a few more minutes. I need to fix it really quick. Okay. Uh, you notice that the text changes and it reads out the name of the spell. And it's called Glyph of Warding. From the description of the spell, it says that a glyph can be placed on an object and then hidden. <clears throat> only a <clears throat> investigate <throat> only people who attempt to investigate the objects can actually see them. Which means that not even an arcana check can see them. Mm -hmm. It also says that these glyphs can mimic specific spells. <clears throat> Are you still standing right there as you're like flipping through the page? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> At the very end of that spell description, you also notice that it says that they can also create explosions. Are all the glyphs the same? It's impossible to know without investigating what glyph. Oh, I thought I could see them, you said. You can <laughs> see them. All the glyphs look the same. Yeah, that's what I was asking. That's literally what I was asking. Yeah, all the glyphs look the same. Even the one on the okay. door. I just don't know what they do. You just can't tell what they do. Okay, that's, that's all I was asking. They, they look the same. Yeah. So... Mm. So they can explode from the cells. And the candles that I'm next to are out, correct? They are out. Can't... 
Ah, I could burn though. Unless I shoot it with one of my fire rounds. <laughs> Do I want to though? <laughs> Hmm. I'm in a conundrum. Mm -hmm. Uh, you notice that one of the candles next to you relights. This one or this one? This one. Uh. Do I see a glyph on the candle at all? No. <laughs> I hmm. hmm. I want to do an investigation on all this. Wait. Okay. Man, three twenty twos. So there are essentially I'll say that there are seven books currently on the ground. Essentially one where each pile is. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> and you can see the glyphs on them. You can see that five of them have not been doing anything. Chair replacement time. Feels bad, man. Aw, oh, feels bad. And five of them are doing nothing? Mm hmm What are the other two doing? The other two, with your investigation, seem to be... Constantly snuffing and relighting the candles. Oh. <clears throat> so this one and this one, I guess, are doing something? More like this one and this one. Okay. What if I close the book? This one, I close this one. <clears throat> okay. Roll me a dexterity saving throw. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, that's the second time um, when we fought the skeleton. Before we fought it, I literally rolled a one. Uh -huh. Not to worry, it's not the explosive <laughs> one. Nice, the one that shoots you in the head. Yeah, it's arrows again. Thank God. All the books, all, all I mean, the books that's a possibility. Again. Well, not really, but that's also it could be a possibility. Nah. Um. What's your maximum health, just so that I know? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. This man is dead. <laughs> if I die, then this is too hard for us. No, I think it's because it's you're rolling that one, probably taking double damage. I would say to each their own. Oh, no. Too hard for us. Oops. Actually, I whispered that one. Um, take 14 thunder damage and Fear get sent Lord. flying back. Like right here? here? Yeah. Also, I would just like to say there is like the difficulty of each realm mm. is its own this one is still rank one because it's the only one that's like you know you're only allowed to go to rank ones the only handicap is the cr traps are not a handicap such as with the arrow trap Uh, we got <clears throat> we refilled on our healing styles, right? Every time, yes. God, make sure I'm gonna drink uh, yeah. one of my potions though. Okay. The regular right. healing potion. Put it down. Yep. Okay. So you heal seven. seven. All right, puts me at fourteen. It's good enough. Uh. All right. Well. Ow. I don't want to do that again. 
Um, I'm gonna go right here. Uh, it, what's the book doing now after I closed it? The well, you attempted to close it, and that's when you, the glyph activated. Oh. Okay, got it. <clears throat> and upon looking at the book, the glyph is now gone. Okay, and it, all right, which one is? Are any of the candles this one here activating? Was I know the candles. Uh, as for the candles, um, no. But they're all lit, or they're not lit. No, this one is unlit, and this one is unlit. This one was relit. That one got relit afterwards. No, that one's the one that's been relit. Okay. So nothing happened with the candles after that. Nope. Got it. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, I can, um, I'll be right here. I'm going to shoot the book. I'm going to shoot that book. Okay. Uh, roll me the attack throw. You hit it. You basically just shoot a bullet through it. From... I shoot it the glyph to be exact. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Or the glyph, okay. <clears throat> so, from the dining hall, after about a moment, you guys can hear the sound of essentially a boom, and then a gunshot, right, like, soon after. Guy will just sighs. It says, may I go deal with this? I look over to Guile, and I look over to, um, to Nathaniel. I warned them that whatever they do, it's going to be their own faults. If he does something to get himself injured, it's none of my business at the moment. If you want to, you can. But I'll be more annoyed if he get if he damages any of those books rather than if he himself gets damaged. Yeah, but that's partially why I'm going to check. All right. A gunshot in a building is never good. Is that okay with you, Nathaniel? If I go assess the situation. By all means, go ahead. Thank you. I will turn momentarily. It'll be the out. first door on your right. Thank you. And I head what? out, and I'll go through <laughs> that door. So what happened to the book? Uh, you shot a hole through it. Is the glyph there? No, the glyph is gone. Hey, <laughs> got rid of the glyph. <laughs> Bye, we go. Go. How far away are you right now? This uh, isn't from specifically that. You are about 40 feet. Okay. So, right about at the time that Guile gets to that door, um, this bookshelf explodes. Oh my god. And you are outside of the range for it, so you don't have to make a save. Yeah. Just... This I, one I explodes. Up against the wall, scared. Which causes this one to explode. I'm noticing chain. I'm a bit... Which I'm causes moving. this one to explode. You don't get to move. Oh, I don't get to? Oh. No, because this is all happening in this one moment. You shooting this book triggered this, and now all of them are triggering. Time for a chain reaction. While this is all going on, I'm I'm gonna look over to Nathaniel and say, "So, how was your day before whatever that is?" Well, it was fine. I can say that it's definitely getting better. I'm not all powerful like yourself, but I would enjoy doing that to him too, so continue. Oh, by all means, it's going to continue itself. That I've made sure of. So essentially, this one does... One act. A 20 foot radius. <clears throat> this one 
does a 20 foot radius. This one does a 20 foot radius. This one does a 20 foot radius. And they all continue to do so all around them. I'm still at. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is the door? <laughs> the door is not. Oh no! The door! <laughs> Gail, by the time you get to the door, I assume that the first thing you would do is to try and open the handle, correct? Yes. The moment that you reach for the handle, the door blasts off of its hinges. Oh. Slamming you and it into the wall. I will allow you to make a dexterity save to merely have the damage. <laughs> the deck save? Ooh, baby. Unfortunately, that's not enough to have it. Sorry. Let's see. You're not in range of the blasts, but with the door itself, it is going to be... This and this. So the door basically just gets blasted off of its hinges. You get pushed back into the wall and um, you suffer seven bludgeoning damage from the door. Is that me? Ow. God. I, as soon as I see the door, I sprint out of the room. The door begins to, the, the door basically just falls off to the side and you see Guile behind it. Are you okay? Can I go up to him, I try to help him up. Can you two, for one goddamn day. What do you God need? <laughs> Shit just started fucking glowing and falling and then blowing up. Yeah, but how come I heard a gunshot before all that happened? Because I don't, I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on. I fucking tried to close a book, a book, it blew up, so I thought maybe shooting the glyph would work. What? <sighs> it. Whatever. I don't know why it all was going like this. All I know is I got this purple book. So what I'm getting, wait, purple book? Can I? I, I hold up the purple that? book in my hand. Can sure, I... I don't want it. It might explode. So that I like these were glyphs of warding. War. Oh. I'm pretty sure I know who put all those there. I'm about to put a fucking bullet in his head. Or maybe. He put it there as a security measure for anyone who shouldn't do m mayhem to his establishment. What do you mean? I literally didn't you, do any mayhem. You shot a fucking book. Do I need to explain what happened? The book blew up before I did anything. Does anyone the want book. to take a look inside the room? blew up i'll look in the room before i shot and then what? multiple books blew up what do i see when i enter the room every single bookshelf every single lantern and every sing like any space that these bookshelves covered is completely just demolished the walls are gone too <laughs> Is there, there is any nothing but is there a hole in this room now? We'll get to that. Is, is, is are like everything is ash, basically? Oh no, everything is not ash. There are broken planks all over the place. There are burning piles of books. And <laughs> uh, yeah, everything everything in that room is essentially just demolished. If Nathaniel doesn't kill you, Ash is going to kill you. I am going to explain this one more time. 
And oh, if you it doesn't tell matter. Me, it doesn't matter what happened. The books are burning, and somehow you were involved I with it. And Ash is going to kill you. Care. I honestly don't care what Ash does. But I could say Nathaniel is to blame for this. And honestly, you guys are starting to become too trusting all of a sudden. He's the one who caused a lot of this to start with. I just came to look at the books. Not my fault they started blowing up. <clears throat> We're going to cut from you guys for just a moment. Nathaniel looks over to Ash and says, Oh. Master Ash, I believe that spot is not very safe for you. Would you care to move aside? Would you prefer me to go up or down? Either way should work. She's just going to move all the way down to the wall. After you do so, upon the burning pile of books, one other book underneath one of the piles, which had another glyph under it, activates upon being... A, 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 it activates upon essentially being uh, suffering fire damage and a huge explosion mm -hmm. happens from this not same as the others in fact a large ball of fire just flies off from this one and ends up going through the um, it ends up going through this wall Inside the dining hall, a large ball of fire shoots through the wall, ends up right here at this table, and uh, you're fine. This table right here, as well as the table next to it, just get completely destroyed by the fireball. Do we hear that? Oh yeah. I look at Gotham. That's not my fault. You 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 don't even have time to do that. That guy all fucking ran. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have. I come with them. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and will open through the doors and frantically look around and just say, "Ash, are you okay? Everything okay?" You run up to Ash. I don't know why I wouldn't be. Nathaniel hasn't shown any reason to cause me any harm. He's actually the reason why Ace's mistake, I can only assume, didn't just blast me away. I go up and put my rifle right up to Nathaniel's head and ask him, what the fuck? I then place my pike again at facing towards Ace and let's not do this. I asked the question. I don't know what you mean. Why were there glyphs all over the book? And when I tried to close one, it blew up and hurt me. First, I was walking through there, looking at books, and I find that stupid purple one. I look at a uh, guile that he had shown that he has it <clears throat> right now in his hands. And then all of a sudden books start falling and there's glyphs on. There's a glyph on the door, so I couldn't leave. Clearly, that's not my doing, because I don't know how to do that. And I'm pretty sure none of us know how. Who else could do that? So give me one reason not to fire. One reason. I'll give you a reason. Because I'm the one in control. All of those glyphs, they were my doing. If any curious rat were to enter my library, any passerby to explore these halls, simply anything that you touch, everything in this manner has one. 
You could turn a doorknob and blow yourself up. Did you ever think about that? Without warning us, you tell us, you tell, you, you just are accepting us to die. Clearly, I asked you if I could go in and look, and you were fine with it. Clearly, you're not, which is showing me that you're wanting to kill us. And, but it seems like you only want one person here alive. Well, if I was to say that I only wanted one person alive, that would be wrong. In fact, I only need one person alive. The rest of you are disposable. Consider this your survival. You're merely here to continue the clock. As time passes, Michael will be getting much closer. I nearly need, I nearly need you all to just be preoccupied. Your safety is not of my concern. curiosity when do you think Michael will get here <clears throat> who's to say as far as it goes I have very little information when it comes to him specifically but I have plenty on you all especially that one friend of yours the one that ate my balcony I have much information on him. Oh, good for you. He's not my friend. He's an odd person. <laughs> I look for a guy and ask him, are you still going to side with him? But clearly, he doesn't care if you live or die. Eyesight of Ash. So her safety is what's most important to me. And whatever can keep her the most safe. So you're willing to have us all die for her? Just so, uh, for your him to get whatever you want? Your choice is your choice. I cut Ace off. We came into here knowing what Nathaniel was probably capable of. I don't know why you're acting surprised. You chose to go off on your own and explore a room. He said one thing, and he didn't tell you everything. You should have assumed as much. No offense to you, Nathaniel, but I do have my reservations about trusting you fully. If there is anyone here that I could possibly trust, it would be the least the one person who at least put out a lending hand. Unfortunately, time has its way of influencing the mind. And that is why I set all this up for you all. If you didn't die to the library, Perhaps you would die to the dining hall. If the dining hall wasn't enough, perhaps the armored knights would have done it for me. If that didn't work, there were other methods. As far as it goes, I only needed you all here to pass the time. <laughs> You've said multiple times that you only need one of us alive. Why is that? Because only one of you is necessary to keep the clock ticking. What do you mean by that? He's wanting to summon that thing we've seen before. From last time we were here. That giant creature, isn't that right? How very perceptive of you. 
Is there a reason why the people that you have held here weren't enough to summon it? It should have been here by now. Well, that's just it. It seems there is a specific requirement necessary for the clock to tick. That specific request, that specific prerequisite, is that you all must be in motion. You could consider it the law of motion. If you do not move, do you believe that time is moving? Does time move around one person, or does one person move around time? Why do you believe that thing's gonna bring you your friend back, or your brother? Well, you see. Because it is my brother. Ash, do you recall the first time we met? I believe I said that Michael was in the house. Did I know yeah. And that's what I was afraid of. Of all the things in the house, of all the marionettes, the armored statues, the swords, the shields. Simply everything in there was inanimate, merely a construct designed by me. The only other living thing in there besides you all was it. Upon noticing it, I realized that that creature is my dear younger brother. You know, there's this thing called suffering from success, and I'm feeling it right now. Why? What? Why? <laughs> he said there's a thing called suffering from success. Yeah, I, I know that what he said. I just don't Being understand. Being right doesn't always feel good. Oh. How do you know that's him or not? Do you just feel it? Or do you just think it is? You could say there's a bit of... divination to it. Let me ask you something. Do you know what a lord is of, a, of these areas or an area like this? I don't understand why he would understand something like that. I'm at clock. Let me ask it. Hmm, you say a big Lord. baddie. Would you care to define this Lord? By proper standards, the only Lord that I should be familiar with is that of this manor. Which is you, correct? That would be the case. With no one here to tend to the home, it is but mine to do. From what we've experienced in our travels before, or after we seen you, we went to another place. A crypt of some sort. We defeated the lord of that area, and the area changed. Like this, it was like, it was like this area. But after we defeated him, it changed prosperously. So there is a possibility, either if we defeat you, it could change back into what it used to be, and your brother could be here. Or we could help you figure this out. Because just, just you need one person alive, but what do you plan on doing when that thing comes? Before I answer that question, I would like to ask a couple on the facts that you had brought up. Upon supposedly defeating me, you believe that this world will change back to what it once was. 
Are you Correct. confident that everything changes back? That those who died come back to life? I need a history check. I'm trying to remember if I remember seeing the king that we once killed was back to life. All right, go ahead and make a history check. You, there was uh, there was two thrones. One was empty, and the other had a queen. From what I remember, the king was already dead when we fought him. When the world turned back to prosperous, he was still dead. Clearly, because he was already dead. Before. And. So, I do not know if you, if we defeated you, you would stay dead or not. But that's why I was giving my other scenario, uh, my other uh, suggestion of helping you in some way. That's why I'm asking, what do you plan on doing when that thing comes? Well, if defeating me does not seem to work out, helping me at the time the only thing that I wanted was for my family to be back <laughs> unfortunately that does not seem to be a possibility the only help that I, re that I would require would simply be having Michael here or at least me to do my part. You had asked what I intended to do when he got here. Well... Are you familiar with... those that people would call their own familiars? Yes. What would you intend so. to do if I stated that Michael was mine. It was your familiar? At least the aberration that he is now has become my familiar. <clears throat> I just want to clarify. So is he saying that it will become his familiar or that it is his familiar? It essentially is his familiar. Got it. But you do know that as soon as we all leave in general, it will probably disappear from what we saw last time. It would. That is, if all of you left. Yeah, sorry to say, bud. But we all plan on leaving. None of us stand, plan on staying here. And how do you plan on doing that? I took a shot. He didn't get a chance to say that. And my thing's right on the forehead, so I do get advantage, I'm guessing. <laughs> you think that shooting him at point blank gives you advantage? I would think. I would hope. Uh, technically, it has. technically, shooting a ranged weapon at five feet gives you disadvantage if you want to be technical. Why? Yeah, but Ash lets out a really long uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know I don't know how like having my gun right to his forehead gives me dizzy I don't get that Blame was the coast they're the ones that set it up like that It's that's odd so do I have disadvantage then? No. Okay. Because we've never played by that rule. I'm just oh, stating okay. that it wouldn't give you advantage. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's surprised. You already had your gun out. Oh, I'm not saying he's surprised. Well, that's like the only way he would get it wrong. No, I just remember it last time because I know it's part of rule cool because I put my gun into the zombie's mouth. I got advantage on the shot. Right. That's the only reason. So I was hoping that I would get that again, but it's all right. I I was gonna be if I even if I don't, I still want it to be like that. Mm -hmm. Where is Joe's brother? 
Yeah, actually, that is a good question. I don't want to oh. think about what Tyler just said or did. I want to know what's happening in that room so I can pretend like that whole interaction didn't just happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm the only sensible person here, it's so. Uh, that's Clearly, you're fine with staying here the rest of your life. It's. I don't remember ever stating that. Well, clearly that is what he's saying, and it's uh, you haven't said a word of anything besides just us defending him. Just because I don't agree with him doesn't mean I have to outright denounce everything that he says to his face. It's called saving face. I don't. I don't have to show how disgusted I am with his behavior. I can just be kind for the time being. I don't see the point in it when he's trying to kill us, so. Mm-hmm. He also didn't say that we had to stay there forever. Yes, he did. He didn't outright try to kill us. It, yeah. He didn't straight up right said it, but if you listen to the wording... I, I listened, Tyler. I just... He didn't outright try to kill us. If he wanted to outright try to kill us, he, he wouldn't have gone it, through all the tricks and stuff. Oh, okay. From what I was catching yeah, of what he was going saying, about though, an hour. was... Uh, oh, we'll catch you up. Just it's... looking for the um. Okay. Yeah. It's See you in like a minute. Come back, or yeah, to come back because I can't remember what it's called again. Right. Yes, but he needs he needs one of us to stay here for him to stay. He needs one of us to continuously move around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alec, that can you re-explain it, please? Forever. Can you say what you said again? Yes. Okay. About specifically the law of motion, or specifically of what he had mentioned before, or just all what he mentioned before about when I asked him, So, do you expect us to stay here? Like, we have to leave at some time. I assumed he meant to keep us here as long as he wanted, which could obviously be forever. But that doesn't mean I have to outright point a gun at his face and say, No, I I will not. It's more of he attacked. I basically got attacked. He it, all. I don't get why I have to defend myself. Man, and you, man and re- you brought this up to my attention, and I said we came into here knowing that he would probably do stuff like that. You shouldn't be acting all, so surprised. All also, I'm hearing the, is you're defending him. Also, so. the book literally what the words could do. I don't want to interact with them. Fully know what they can actually do. They said possibly slow. I they never defended him. I'm just questioning why you're acting so surprised that the bad guy tried to do something bad. So to just explain essentially what he was saying is that... Clearly, I don't know 100% means- that he's a bad guy because I guess I know somewhat, but you clearly trust him enough and defended him. So I thought, oh, hey, maybe we're just here to we help him. We can talk about this in character at some point. In any event, uh, to re-explain what he had basically been saying is that he only needs one of you to be here. Or at least the clock to be ticking. In the sense that everybody be, or at least, you know, that any of those people be constantly moving around, that is the requirement for it. However, once... Michael shows up, and you said that you don't plan on staying. That you were sure that he would leave right after, that Michael would end up just disappearing right after. That is when he basically just was attempting to say, are you 100% sure that that'll be the case? And then, for whatever he was going to react to say, before you I attempted literally, to... I literally... No? What? What? You literally gave him information that you've told you in the past not to give people information about because it confuses Oh my god, that fine, just retcon what I did then. Screw it, whatever, yeah. I'm done talking. Yeah. Then. Wait, there's whatever. no reason to retcon it. Yeah. I mean, I told him this, that that we know from the past. I... S- yeah, you saw it disappear, right? Yes. Yeah, so as a player, you're not wrong. You saw it disappear. Guess what? He doesn't give a fuck. He's already planned for it. He knows what he needs to do. He is literally telling you outright that you don't know everything. Almost as if you don't know everything. And I thought I heard you say... I asked him, do you plan on us uh, being here 
staying here even after. And the reaction that he would have given you, I believe I didn't get a chance to. I... Because I currently have lost where I was in the sense of what I was going to react to say in the in your reaction to shoot. I so I don't know what okay. I have and haven't said. I'm simply stating everything that I know that I've said at least. And in really? the, in the case of if I he guess knows I misunderstood because I thought I heard him straight up not straight up say but clarify in a way that he needs one of us to stay here past the time for Michael to stay here. He only needs one of you to stay here until Michael gets here. And then you were saying that if we were to all leave, that Michael would possibly just disappear. And he says, are you sure about that? Are you sure that all of you will get out of here? Are you sure that all of you are out of here when that happens? And that's when he pulled the gun out on him. Yeah, that's sort of just sounds, to right me, there. that sounds like, are you sure you guys are going to be able to leave? To me, that's what that that's, sounds and like that's to a, me. That's essentially what he's saying. Yeah, yeah there's not, there's nothing wrong with how you're interpreting it, Tyler. Okay. No one's denying that. No one denied how you were interpreting it. I mean... Anyway, uh, can we get to whatever is happening in that room? Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna quickly just brief on the last, like, six seconds that's going on with Ace and whatnot. So, um, Ace, you essentially pull the trigger, and... Good roll. Um... However, the bullet stops right in front of him as he casts shield. And the bullet essentially just stops. At that moment, we'll cut. Uh, Levi and Zahak, you guys are at the... Um, have you guys gotten, are you guys like down the stairs or are you still at the top of the stairs? We were walking down the stairs. Okay. Yeah. The stairs so I'm going to assume we're, we're down, we're down the stairs. Now. Okay. We're just going to so scoot out to the side right here. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. So you're down the stairs and uh, you see essentially two doors on the left and the right. And the room essentially is not extremely big but it's still large in the sense. You see at the end of the wall a large throne, and next to, on each side of the throne, you see two large portraits. These portraits basically scale the wall from top to bottom. One is showing a, an older female, and the other is showing an older male. There is a red carpet that lines the entire, um, from the stairs to the throne. Got it. Hmm. Who are these old fucks? Wouldn't be able to tell you. Hmm. You see that over there? <laughs> hey, yes. I noticed it earlier. That's a pretty nice looking chair. I'm gonna sit in it. <laughs> oh, you just gonna uh, step back. Yeah. Okay. So you just sit in the chair. In this castle. No, 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 no. <laughs> so chair, you mine. see, you see the hack basically just acting like a king in the throne. <laughs> this is mine. Hey, you want to see a trick? I don't think so, but it's nothing gross. What? It's nothing weird. It's just it's just fun. I wasn't worried that it was weird or gross. 
more or less worried of what you had in mind as to what it I'm might gonna do. I'm going to stand on the back of the seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is is, yeah. is is he talking to him, like, making these noises while doing all of this? Yes. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Uh, I am, uh, I'm standing on the back of the seat. It's nice. Levi's going to humor here. him a little bit and give him a little chuckle, but to continue to keep his distance as, uh... Maybe. From his experience of fucking with things... I've never seen it. tends to get like us this. all in trouble. <laughs> Mostly well, getting Levi in trouble in terms of Ash's eyes, so. It's, uh. It is nice to finally sit, honestly, after eating that whole balcony. Uh. <laughs> stomach is full. Zahank, would you mind rolling me a history check? Oh, Lord. Where Put your eyes in my eyes. Where did the thing go? Oh my god. Where's my butt? <laughs> Wait one second. Ice cream? Uh, I want fucking ice cream. Why is... Where's my... You don't get ice cream. Uh, you don't need God damn it. A new tier icon go to your character. You're probably not wrong. I got it. I got it. Wait, I thought I had it. Just because I don't need it doesn't mean I don't want it, Alec. Or history. Oh, wow. You must balance your needs and your wants. You right, you right. Wow, I fucking have nothing in the- look at that! Nice! Good well, basic team roll. So, Zahak, you, while essentially playing around in this throne chair, you find this room very familiar. Yeah, I feel like I've been in here before. The last time that you were in this room specifically, you were doing the same exact act. Yeah, oh my I, feel God. Like I, I feel like I've done this before. I have sat on the back of this chair. And you my also feet. remember that this is where you and your party had encountered Nathaniel. Hey, yeah. So this is... A, no, I'm recollecting this. Uh, we we encountered that Nathaniel guy here. And uh, that's where, where things went south. Hmm. It's Levi, um, um, are you alive? I'm talking to you. Are you just, what are you staring at? Are you, are you, are you daydreaming over here? Um, oh, no oh okay, no, my mic, okay, my mic is working. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're I was right. like, was it? Well, because <laughs> I was looking at the wrong uh, tab and I was like, it's not lighting up. I was like, maybe it's not working. But uh, no, light. Levi's just, just watching you very concerned as to what you just said the fact that you literally encountered <clears throat> nathaniel in here with your party and knowing what happened to your party i'm very scared as to what might happen well uh i don't see nathaniel anywhere around but there is this cool ass chair you should come check it out but yeah bad things happened in here uh, <laughs> recollecting all um, that. alec Mm -hmm. That shit happens all the time. Would, do, do I do I notice the door here? Yeah, we both and notice the door. Do, oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure. And then, do we notice this, or is that meant to be? That's more meant to be by covered the by the rug. And you, if you know, you're you're essentially meant to make a proper check in order to discover it. Okay. Well, I just I placed like it there to too try. because like, you wouldn't really know. I remember that exact same conversation yeah, yeah. last time. This chair is um, spinning. Why? I will just try. <laughs> did, he, did he just become stupid or something? No, I feel like he's just in zero gravity. He's just like spinning in place, but he thinks he's still sitting in the chair. Aha! Can you do this? That's an unnatural one, just so you know. Yeah, um, I can see that. Okay, just make it sure. But Levi's just going to make his way over to the door and uh, he's going to attempt to open it. All right. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Yes. Levi's going to turn around and look at him. I told you. Why didn't you? I asked you to look at the chair. Come check it out. Why are you over there at the door? It's I'm... okay. Can I just say something? 
This just reminds me of like an NPC from an RPG who's like, yeah, do, hey, no, don't take a look at that. Come, hey, man, come to here. Look at this chair. Like, hey, don't look at that door. Ah, and ignore the door. This chair's cooler. It's like, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, bagel. What the fuck you doing? I don't remember. I uh, I honestly don't recollect if there's anything good or bad behind that door. So, uh, you do you. You want me to help? If you're having fun on the chair, you can keep having fun on the chair. I'm gonna go keep looking around. Okay, well, I'm, let me walk over there real quick. I'm just gonna walk along the wall here. here Walks over the portrait. <laughs> yep, I, I did. Walk right on that old lady. Put my feet right on her mouth. Alright, well, oh, wait, which way does this door open? Does it open towards me, or does it open the other way? Um, it's gonna open towards Levi. Basically, it's, so, it's gonna open going, like, to this corner the, here. Like, it's gonna yeah, open... Okay. okay, yeah, I just don't want to get hit in the face, so... Yeah, you're... Make sure you open. <laughs> okay. So, Levi, you attempt don't to worry. open the door? <laughs> yes. Alright, so you go ahead, you grab the door handle, you give it a little juggle, and, um, uh, you realize that the door is locked. Hmm. At the uh, moment that you had jiggled this, at the like, moment you attempted to open this door, you hear off in the distance the sound of a boom. And then a couple of seconds pass, and you hear the sound of a gunshot. Um, Holy shit, did you hear that? Yeah, and I think there is something going on. Uh, Levi is going to attempt to rip the door now open. Like, not not obviously just trying to, like, heave all it off the hinges, but more or less, like, force the, uh, if anything, break the fucking latch part of it. I could not fucking, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The door so. There we you. go. The door so. Go ahead. Uh, that athletics straight check. check. Oh, athletics check. Oh, baby. Fuck, that's a fucking. Whoa, that was an eight. God damn. So you're pulling on this door to try and open it. You're pulling on the handle even, and nothing is budging. Uh, you mind giving me a hand here, buddy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can give you a hand. Okay. Alright. So you're gonna attempt an athletic check again? Yes. Alright, do, do this we time roll with advantage. advantage. No, uh, I believe I can just roll with advantage. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Holy fuck. Just here, is anyone else hoping to summon, uh, uh, what's it called? The hand, the hand spell. Oh my god. Hold on one second. Magic hand? Baby's yeah, hand. Either, either magic uh, hand or baby's hand. Either one. I'm going to cast guidance. It's pretty him. funny. Alright, Zach, so you can add a d4 to your roll. Oh, oh, is the 18 not enough? Shit. No. Oh my fucking god. Wow. A 19 is not enough. Alright. At this Damn, point, even with it, Levi's uh, Levi's in frantic mode because I'm not saying there was a gunshot. There was a lot of shit going on. Nice. I'm gonna swing at the door. All right, Shoot. make an attack throw on it. Uh, yeah, it was a boss with tenacious D. I'm gonna kick doors down. Hey. Okay, you managed to deal five damage to the door. The head portion of your thing does not necessarily work on this because it's not really like able to really yeah bite like you know a portion of the door off if it can't get like a grip around it. So you swing at it. Door is still standing. It, uh, is it a wooden door or like? It's 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 a wooden door. Okay. Upon hitting the door, after about like a second, right after you hit it. You start to hear a series of explosions. Uh, 
Is a hacky dicky, you just eat the fucking door. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, just, just fucking eat it. Uh, need to I'm, get not, I'm not hungry right now, but uh, I could I could spit this balcony out and maybe try it again. You know? I think that might be a little too much damage that we need. I I just I'm, need I'm the door. The, I'm just not need... going to spit the balcony at it. I'll, I could spit the balcony on the other side of the room and then try to eat the door. We could, we could try it. I can't promise anything. I can't always control. I could end up beating something I don't intend. I could just read the balcony. Yeah. I don't know. But you, you know, want to want to try? I'm just, just give it a fucking shot. We need to get <laughs> the right. fuck over there now. <laughs> well, pun intended, I'll give it a shot. I'm going to shoot the balcony across the room right now. You good with that? <laughs> Do you have to shoot it? You can't just like... Uh, no, just it's fucking... pretty violent. When, <laughs> it's, it's violent when stuff comes out, man. I got I to gotta muster up the energy it's to, to shoot a balcony violent. out of my mouth. Um, like, so, okay, I'm going to... Uh, wait, 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 wait. So just well, wait. wait. Um, are we able to tell directly where the sounds are coming from? They seem to be coming from... About... Like they're, if it was they're, just... very, they're very nearby. I'd say, you know, that they're basically like almost right across from where you are. Okay, so they are coming from the library. I thought they might have been coming from the fucking kitchen. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Do no. anything. You remember the okay. explosions, Earth? So, Zahak gets into a very wide stance and starts furiously grunting. He's trying to dry heave. <laughs> and eventually... The balcony flies out of his mouth in some weird vortex looking thing and it crashes into the staircase. So that didn't feel great. Uh, and now that didn't look too good either. Yeah, so he's going to step off, but like, like the corner. It's like taking a shit in reverse, except for the shit's the size of a balcony. Mm -hmm. uh, oh pretty, God. pretty uncomfortable right now. But uh, what I do for my friends? Here we go. So <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to. Uh, like I said, I can't control this, so I gotta it just. I like to remind you, I gotta do a Constitution check. And I was gonna, gonna say make, make a Constitution okay. check. So I, I'm, I'm gonna try this, but I can't promise I'm eating that door. Something else could happen. So. Let us commence <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, That was a constitution save. That was my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. What's the uh what's the difference in the modifier for it? Uh no, I have a three. <laughs> okay, so your constitution save and constitution check are the same. Yup. Okay pretty sure just roll it just just roll it well, no, he, he, it, it, it's fine with what it is like if the modifier is the same then i'm not gonna break the like i'm not gonna worry about it cause... well i'm not saying that i'm saying to roll just to make sure it's right saying he's not sure so i just roll oh do i have to click the that top? that is my thing it, which, like because if it's not checked then like is your constitution checked yeah on the save yeah oh okay right. yeah that's why that's, that's is... why i'm saying that do no, i have to check it, it? But no, uh, no, don't no. I well, check no, into no. constitution. Well, I mean, it will. Which constitution did I hit? The one next to the check what, what is What is your current constitution stat? Uh, it is 12. 12. Okay, so you only have a plus one to your thing. Yeah. Um, and, and also, ahead of time, um, where the stats are, if you actually click the name of the stat, like strength, dex, and whatnot, okay. that's how you roll it. Okay, I clicked, I accidentally clicked the saving throw. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so with your constitution being only a plus one, then um, that roll would be a eleven. Eleven, yep. Yeah. So okay, well here we go. I'm gonna I accident I'm accidentally eating something. Mm hmm So let's see what we've got in the room. Um, one of these numbers is gonna be the door. One of these numbers is gonna be the balcony again. <laughs> one of these numbers is gonna be the rug. And then the other one is going to be Levi. <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck. <laughs> I was really hoping he'd be on that list somewhere. Am I, am I, am I able to resist being eaten? No. <laughs> uh, once it happens, you can, nothing can stop it. 
Uh, I feel like we should be able to resist. You would have to delete me out of existence, like, for it to stop. Like, it, it's fucking... How much HP you got? <laughs> Ten, it, it's, not, it's Kirby. Even my dead, once it starts, like, my even... I'm, oh, man. I'm not even alive. If you get eaten, I, I'm never gonna let this war joke go. <laughs> okay, so do I need to roll? Uh, are you? Ro I'm gonna, are you I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll the D4 for it, and we'll go off of that. I... You were eating the balcony. Oh. <sighs> oh my God! I just threw that up. That's unfortunate. <laughs> So here we are. The staircase is partially destroyed, and I am, I have eaten the balcony again. So that was a lot of show to get us more stuck. <laughs> cool. I told you, like it was worth a try, I guess. Thanks for that. I didn't eat you or your pants or. I'm well, just gonna say this. Pants. Excuse me, eat me. One. Because <laughs> I don't. Th I don't think I. We know that he could eat us yet. Yes. No, no, I know that I can eat just about anything. I'm going to let you guys talk that one out. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the way that this works, if I don't, I can eat anything in my vicinity. It, it could be a plank on I... the staircase. It could be a tile on the floor. It could be that rug over there. It could be the painting of the old people. I could eat that throne or the balcony again. I could even eat you or your weapon. Nice thing is I can generally regurgitate it but uh well you know so if i accidentally eat you i might be able to throw you back up not that that is going to be a pleasant oh experience. yeah that that mm. Mm. is it okay. just me I, I just hope that carbuncle gets eaten one day <laughs> Just like sucks Garbuncle up. Oh and, no! Uh, you know, you know, Tyler's gonna just for that comment. Tyler's somehow gonna end up being the first fucking player eaten by him. And I would, uh, I would. And I'm gonna that. love it. I, I like to get along with people because you know when I don't get along with them, I might accidentally eat something and not give it back. So there is that. <laughs> I, I, I think at this moment, Levi would want to look at his war pick. <laughs> Yeah, Levi would be looking at his war pick and be. I don't think I could lose this baby. I just yeah, look back up at him and just be. Just keep that. Remind in mind. me to stay on your good side. Then. Yeah, just just keep that in mind because I wouldn't hesitate to turn something valuable into void shit. Look, you know, I'm not there right now, but also in this universe, we don't really have rations. But I carry around like a sack of ether that can walk around. I'm sure that'll fill him up for a few minutes at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever I eat fills me up. That's the nice thing, no matter how big or small. But I can't promise. Yeah, but it disappears from this plane of existence once it's dead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we can always try spitting it back up. There's a grace period there. Yeah. You might come out with cereal. <laughs> just turn this carbuncle into a cannonball. I mean, it could be useful. I don't know. Maybe Have I you ever seen really... Renoa from FF8 uh, shooting out uh, the, the dog, Angelo, like a fucking gun? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, right after you make the, uh, the shot ace and it gets stopped, um, you all start to feel the manor shake a little bit as a large thud essentially happens very close to where you guys were. Oh god, was this staircase a fucking structural support? No, but the balcony was okay. massive. Well, I know, but I was like, I was sitting here thinking, oh shit, the house, is, the manor is shaking. I was like, I think we just destroyed like one of the main structural supports. We're all gonna just get kicked. <laughs> the matter is falling, things have changed. Oh my god. Wow. Hitting yeah. was... the door again? Yeah. Okay. You deal eight damage to the door. It is still standing. You know, I... I will give a whack to this door. How about that? I'll, I'll whack it too. Hey, that's what I like to see. Oh, you're standing right in front of it now. Okay. I, well, I didn't... I'm, 
But I only have a five foot range with my staff. Well, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, at the hitty, you might want to move. Well, I mean, maybe I can cast it. Well, hold on one second. Look at something here. I'm going to decide what I want to do. If I want to whack it or if I want to cast something at it. Let's see. If I was Joe, I'd probably whack it. Let's see here. Hmm. Who's this? Hmm. Why don't I... What do I got here? Oh, well, that's not gonna work. We're gonna whack the door. We go over here and uh, get one of these. Bam. So your whack is enough to essentially like break the door. Look at all these muscles. Heh. <laughs> door is broken. I did it. Look at that. Just finishing the job over here. If only I was there to open up a planar rift on the door again. <laughs> Just tear the door apart once again. Alright, well, the door is broken. What do you want to do? You want to walk through it? Levi's yeah. going to uh, walk over, pat him on the back, and uh, try to walk walk around him through the door. When you and do so, look. you see... The uh, the door up ahead. Oh yeah, that's right. Got just like on the floor right here. Is, is launched over. Basically, just like it's at the other side of the wall, just toppled over. There is a now massive hole in the wall right there, and up ahead you see only Ace, but you see his rifle essentially like trained on something. Yeah, it's drawn. Um. Yeah, Levi is going to dash forward, bursting through these doors, uh, to see what is happening in here. Wow, Levi, you you walked away really fast. Um, uh, you didn't even answer if you were going to walk them. You just did it. Hold on, I'm going to follow you out here. Jesus Christ, just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't even know if Jesus Christ exists in this world. But here we go. <laughs> like he just randomly flipped. I don't. I, I don't walk. Up, shit, I, I don't walk on the ground. I walk on walls. The ground is weird. He's ground is weird. Lava. Ground is weird. He lives by that <laughs> rule. He is a professional at that game. <laughs> floor is lava. Yes. Yeah, that is. Yep. Floor is lava. My ground is everything but yours. <laughs> I refuse. That's where all. That's always where the traps are, guys. This is convenient. I walk on the ceiling. Who lays traps on the ceiling? There's a, there's a glyph of warning where you step. <laughs> <laughs> can I assume we heard the loud noise that I can only assume was the balcony being spit out? Oh yeah, no, that's what caused the shaking of the manor for that moment right after the shot happened. Hey Joe. Maybe. Hey That's part of why Ash is groaning. When, when he said there's only traps on the ground and not the wall, do you remember the thing that happened when they lost the carpet in Vox Machina? Kind of. Um, all I have to say I is, head, what I said, said that. this is a fucking rifle that's being shot in an enclosed area. Would their ears not be ringing <laughs> if it was if the balcony was spit out around the same time? Yeah, but the manor was shaking. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, you don't know directly that it's the balcony, then. Guys. Yeah, but I can assume that the loud noise had something to do with you. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think if if your ears are ringing because there's a rifle being shot, what I assume is 15 Dude. fucking feet away from you in an enclosed area, by the way, a fucking rifle, your ears would be ringing. You feel the shaking, though. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to say that I don't think if, if their ears are ringing, that there's no guarantee that they would know for sure that the loud well, noise. No one said that out. we knew for sure. I'm, I'm, just saying, oh, I'm assuming. Hey guys. Oh, okay. Sorry about the commotion. I, uh, uh, Levi, he told me to try to eat the door. So I, I threw the balcony up and uh, I ate the balcony. Again. One second, weirdo. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Ace just tried to shoot Nathaniel for some reason. I'm still trying to process this. 
that is awfully rude. Like, why would you just try to shoot Nathaniel? I don't care. <laughs> there is no reason. That's there's a whole there's an awesome throne in that room. You could be sitting in the chair, being king of the castle. Why are you shooting people right now? I'm That's what I'm about. saying. It's his house. He was kind to us to see this guy get sick. I mean, last time. Okay. I was here, he was not so bad. But everybody deserves a second chance, and that chair is fucking cool. The guy else is gonna go sit down in the dining room chairs. Levi is not going chair, to. Le- Levi is way hey, cooler. What chair is cool? Guile, the chair in the room we just came No, 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 that was, that was Ash that asked that. But... Oh. No, 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 I actually said that I'm going to go sit down in one of the dining room chairs. Guile is sitting in a dining yeah. room chair. The, the go, there's an awesome throne in that other room where I threw up the balcony and I ate it again. And then I also had to break the door because Captain Muscles over here couldn't do it himself. Leave okay. it to the that's <laughs> <a little> <laughs> and that's not the first time. The last time we had to break down a door, I had to suck it up into another dimension because he couldn't okay. break it down. I, I'm gonna call a PDF lady. <laughs> Levi's it's... going to not slam, but he's gonna put his war pig roll down like D20 he did in the down. catacomb. I roll D twenty. Okay. Can I only uh-huh. assume? Can, I'm assuming Ace is just eyebrow twitching gun still pointed at Nathaniel yeah oh yeah oh yeah he's just like what the fuck this is so stupid why why are you you pointing your gun at Nathaniel still you already tried to shoot what are we doing what are you doing why did you try to shoot we 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 were standing there yeah yeah so Nathaniel is looking over at Zahak and says well I see you're enjoying my chair once again He's got a fucking attitude. Shoot him. <laughs> Hack, shut the fuck up. Shut, shut, shut. Leave Ace, Ace. Don't you fucking do it. Don't. That's, I, well, I he swear to fucking God. He didn't that say you couldn't enjoy it. That is, that, is, that, is my, that is my chair now. I am I the look. king of the castle. I Zach, shut the castle. fuck up. I look at Levi. Ch- I'm like, ch- ch- I ch- swear ch- to God, ch- God ch- if you're ch- defending the terror. Shut the fuck up. Shoot shut him. the fuck up. Shoot him. I don't care. I got the chair. The chair is mine. Shoot him. I don't care what's going on. He never All said you right. couldn't sit in the chair. Can everybody shut the fuck up? Oh, no, no, he said. He said Levi is frantically just trying to get everybody no, to stop he for said, a second. He said that he I asked me if yeah, I was yeah, enjoying. No. He asked me if I was enjoying his chair. It's not his chair anymore. It is my chair. No competition. It's in his house. <laughs> it's not. I don't care. His, I ate his balcony. I can have his chair. I swear to God, we will you talk about the chair later. Clearly, <laughs> and we will talk about the chair later. Let's go. We will. It, we it, will talk it, about the chair later. Fucking give me a second. It, it won't be his Gail, house if he's dead. You attempt to make a call to the PDF facility. You attempt to call me call directly, <laughs> and. With your 19, you happen to get through. You hear a response. It says, Hello? Hi. Guile? Is Guile the does something here? sound... <laughs> does something sounds off. Is everything okay? I'm gonna need Tylenol when we get back. Can you grab... get the pharmacy to bring some? Um, sure, I'll let them know. Um, what's hey, going on? Hey. What? I couldn't explain it, even if I could, even... How does this, how does this guy, guys, guys, how does this guy get a headache in the real world from this shit? I, I, uh... Hey, can you ask her what constitutes someone losing their job? Uh, what, uh, what constitutes someone losing their job? Specifically from their actions in the dream world. From their actions in the dream world. I'm confused. He loses <laughs> their job? You know what? You, you can hang up on her. We'll talk about it later. Wait, oh, wait. wait, 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 one, wait, more, wait. one more thing. Um, did they find anything else about the man? Find out anything else about the manor? Maybe... I don't know. Did they get any new fucking books in finally? <laughs> uh, did you guys find anything else out on Windsor Manor while we've been in here? Um, I mean, f- well, with you guys being in there, we've been at least collecting data. Um, 
there hasn't really been anything too different aside from, I guess, the incident in the library. Everything Even seems relatively case. calm for what's happening with you guys. Is Kyle, something uh, going on? Kyle, did she say anything useful? Kyle, uh, no. Um, you can hang I'll, up on her. If Kyle, you want. don't hang up. Kyle, don't hang question. up. Um, Kyle, how long have we been yet. in here for? Well, it's only been maybe a couple of hours. Hasn't been that long for you guys. Like a specific hour? Like four or five? More Kyle. like two. Okay. You guys haven't been in there for that long. What's Kyle? <laughs> Uh, that's all we'll need. We'll discuss what happened when we get back. It's things are gonna go south. Lee is just 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 standing I'll, there I'll, with I'll his head down and his hands Guile. on his war pick. You will address. You, you will answer when you are mind. addressed, Guile. Guile, hang you on. You don't have to answer to him, Guile. <laughs> Guile, that uh, right before you begin to like hang up, um. You start to hear the sirens go off in the background. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> Minko starts trying to talk over the sirens and says, But wait, they've only been in there for two. Oh no. And then it starts to go into static. Minkov's voice begins cutting out. Kyle uh, just just looks up and turns towards Ace. Zahak is extraordinarily irritated with Guile right now. Levi is extraordinarily irritated with everybody who is not a Ash and Guile at this point. Not pointing fingers, by the way. <laughs> hey, one sec. Uh, You're definitely not the one Lord, pointing a gun either. Hey, hey Lord Nathaniel. <laughs> The hawk is oh, no. contemplating puking the balcony on Guile. Yes, um, Guile. <laughs> I think we don't have to wait much longer for uh, Michael to get here. I think he's on his way now. Oh. I can feel it. I just look at Gal. Is What? Well, well uh... before I hung up, uh, Secretary Lady um, basically mentioned... Uh, it's only been two hours, and there's some other gibberish going here, and the sirens are going off. So I'm only assuming that what you guys encountered last time is going to be here much sooner than expected. Great. Um, hey, Nathaniel, you've gotten what you've wanted. Well, you will soon. Do you mind if I walk around before I get smited down or whatever? Hmm. Considering that the time has now come, you all being here essentially means nothing. At least for me. Right? There is, uh, however, one thing that I did not mention. He is still talking. Holy Crap. Is that I'm not the one that wants you. Oh, I, I'm well aware. You you don't have to explain. But neither I is just... Michael. I'm sorry? There is something far deeper that wants you. Deeper as in physically deeper, like they're underneath where we're standing, or deeper as in like metaphysical, like this plot thickens kind of deeper, like a really good book where it gets really, really deep and they're like, the big bad actually hasn't shown up yet. Ash like, all of this. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ash is saying all of this is like, do you one. feel... Do you feel the double entendre here? This is getting a little sexual sounding. It's kind of strange. <laughs> What's going on here? Like, I, I still got some shit to hash out with Guile. 
you so guys, you guys mind stepping away like move to the side and continue your conversation I, give me a clear line of sight to guile that's all i, I didn't mean. really hear it now nathaniel like, i you, had you got you guys you guys nathaniel everybody just move to the side hey, Zahak, do you want to go show me that cool throne that's totally yours no, and not I gotta, Nathaniel's. No, I gotta talk to Guile real quick, but I need you guys to move out the way. Everybody, if you don't mind. Just Guile, please just follow bit. close beside me. <laughs> hey, Nathaniel, you know magic. Can you teleport me to a different room real quick? I'm, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm count to three. Nice you better figure out what you're gonna do. Hey, I'm three, just gonna uh, go this three way. Seconds. One. Yeah. <laughs> Look in the better move. I'm gonna oh, run through the, the hole in the wall right here. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> I look at Nathaniel. I was gonna I'm walk my bullet. You can't walk away from me. Hmm. <laughs> you could say that uh, my patron has given it to me. Are you familiar with the rules of magic? Um, what? In a way? Are you familiar that there are different forms of magic? Wizards use their spellbooks. Sorcerers have the innate ability born into them. Warlocks are given a patron. Ah, that's creepy. What do you do with this paper? I look at Levi. Do you want me to explain everything that happened? Nah. I think we should prepare for what is about to come and possibly kill all of us. I'm glad everyone's spreading around. <laughs> like this. All right, all right. Guy, I'm listen. getting chased by a fucking madman. <laughs> Stop yeah, running I'm from Guy. Listen to the front door where we came in. Mm -hmm. Guy, don't. Guy, I'm going don't with Levi. Guy, I'm not no. staying. What? I'm not. I'm staying right next to him. Yeah. Guy, stop N running Nathan away. Nathan Nathaniel I, essentially I, says that he's going to. Uh, he's going to head to the front. No, oh, dear lord. Guy, if you Guy, plan to listen, I'm listen. going to bonus action second to win real quick. No, Guy, listen real quick. Look at me. Look at me. Guy, okay, listen. I the max. God, that's fine. Now listen. listen. I'm, listening. I'm listening. Don't you ever ignore me again, or I will eat you, and I will turn you. God damn. Into... Okay. Do you understand? I couldn't, I couldn't hear your voice over everyone else's voice. <laughs> I tried to get your attention 15 times. Don't yeah. ignore me again. You know what? I will eat you. I will I'm gonna eat heal you again. Also. Okay. War I will eat noted. you, and I will, and I will keep you there. Warning noted. Okay. Plus five. Thank you. Okay, we can we can carry on now. Damn, I'm not Here, even at full. Wait, 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 check this out. Come over this way. What was that, Tyler? I did. I'm not even full. I, I was just healing. Okay. I used another That's potion. Like, we don't need to go in there, but look inside the room. Guy, check it out. Look at that throne. Ash, uh, with your critical success in investigation, you have uncovered the secret of this room. Um, you happen to notice that with the rug, a very particular part of it is partially lifted. I will inspect it. Okay. So you go over there and uh, you pull off, essentially you pull where that uh, extended part is, and you reveal a trapdoor underneath the rug. I'm of course going to enter. Okay. Well, not enter. I'm gonna open it up and go, Guile, and then I'm I'm gonna like throw it open and start to go in. Okay. So you throw it open, and when you look into it, you see nothing but pitch blackness. Okay. Um. I don't really have a way of making light. Uh, should I roll a perception to see if I can see anything? Um, I, can't, wait, I will on. tell you with 
your critical success that it is magical darkness. Oh, gross. Uh, I was going to say, can't he use prestidigitation to make a light? Oh, that's true. Prestidigitation yeah. does not work on magical But it's darkness. magic dark. Yeah. Oh, it's, the dark, okay. it's the darkness spell. Get I'm it, assuming get at least. It. Well, I'm gonna like go a hello. No response. I'm just gonna wait at the entrance to the trapdoor for Guile to show up and just uh like continue to call for him. Like not aggressively or anything, just like trying to get his attention. A guy guy will walk in and say, uh, that, that that's a, that is a mm. nice nice chair. Very nice chair, is a hawk. Told you. I told you it was a nice ass chair. Jesus, that's why I said it's worth killing Nathaniel so I can hey, have it. Where are you going? Well, why why don't you just I'm standing keep the right chair here? And then you can keep it. All right, I'm gonna be over here. I want I don't want to eat you see the seven that club I wanna... sitting on the floor over there still. <sighs> I'm I just too something. aggravated with everything that is happening. Levi is just going to again put his war pick down, head down on the floor, place his hands on top of the the. Uh, the palm, the pommel, and uh, just close his eyes, breathe heavily, and put his head down momentarily while we wait to die. <laughs> Nathaniel, <laughs> looks, Nathaniel looks to the two of you, moves over here, and says, You need not concern yourself with what's about to happen, at least not yet. The room to your left over there has alchemy tables that you can use to make potions if you'd be so interested. I did set them all up just so that you guys could at least feel comfortable staying here in this home. Can can we hear him say this? Because there is no fucking balcony or I'm assuming wall two either right there. No, because the no. balcony is technically above those stairs, which are now half broken. It's 20 yeah. feet in the air, remember? Um, Levi is just going to see as kindly as he can. Nathaniel, I, I appreciate the kindness of uh, having that ready for us. But uh, I personally have no clue what the fuck I would be doing with that. And I kind of happen to uh, have a little bit of beef with... Uh, your brother. So I'd like to, uh... I'd like to have a little conversation with him. And, uh... And you, Ace... If you feel uncomfortable in the process of making them, there is a... there is a picture, or at least a manual on how to make them. I thought you were gonna say there's a picture book on how to There's a picture book? like, oh god! I was like, oh no, he thinks Ace is a child now. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a picture book. It's, it's, like a, it's, like a it's like a manual. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Where did Nathaniel go? Like, did he, he, he? He's currently in the main lobby. Oh, okay. Fuck that guy. I look at him. I'm curious at what you plan on doing, honestly. I'll let you know this as one final thing. Once I acquire Michael, there might not be an escape for you all. Are you sure you're that curious? What do you mean by that? As I said earlier, I'm not the one that wants you, but my patron is. So I will do as my patron commands. And I will acquire you. Just as I've acquired the others. What's the name of this other character? There's Guile in here, and who's the other one? I forget the name. Ash. Ash. Ash, Guile and Ash, okay. Ash, what did you f find? Uh, I was about to ask you the same thing. You wouldn't happen to be able to uh, 
I don't know, dispel darkness or see in the dark, would you? I can see, I have dark vision. I can see in the dark. You want to take a peek down this hole? Uh, you should probably elaborate on the hole you want me to take a peek in. <laughs> in no time. Oh, God, no, why? 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 If you touched me, why? Guile will not hesitate to cut your fingers off, and you can eat those for the rest of your life. I don't think Levi would hesitate either, just so you know. <laughs> You guys all have a lot of attitudes. I was just asking for some clarification. Nothing personal. Why would I even... You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> the hole in the floor. Okay, and I'll... Just for the record, I'll eat the shit out of Guile before he cuts my finger. I already told him. <laughs> I will. He can try to cut my fingers off from inside my asshole. So here we go. <laughs> Oh my. Don't tempt him, guy. I might actually take you up on that offer. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, well, you actually might take Levi up on that. Did you open the door already? <laughs> yeah, you open the, the like <laughs> latch thing is already thrown over. Okay, I'm gonna take a peek in here, and then it's okay. I'm down here. I can see. All right. Um, so, dark vision normally doesn't go through magical darkness either. However, what you're able to see here is essentially just. A, lar a long series of lights further down, all okay. essentially like lined up. I see a row of lights, just a string of lights. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to explain that. It's dark, and there's a string of lights. Well, lead the way. Uh, can you guys see in here? Like, I'm just, I'm just no. throwing that out. Okay. Um. Hold on, let me let me think about this real quick. I gotta. Uh, let's see. We could like take the rug down and like I'll hold on to a portion of it. You lead the front with the rug. How does that sound? I'll give you a zero point uh, to the first person that pushes him in there. Uh, you know, no, it's cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna like I'm gonna walk in there. But that's meta like, game. <laughs> you can push me in there all you want. I'm just gonna like I'm, like I'm gonna show you something weird. Watch, check this out, okay? So I'm walking in, right? Watch this. Holy crap, I'm inside, and look at this. Ah, the floor has become the ceiling, and I'm on the underside of the hole. Look at that. The hole look stops that. about 20 feet down. There, there, wait, hold on. There, but is there, there's, is there no, like, there's the floor here on the top, right? And there's the, and then there's a, wait, there's something for me to walk on, right? Like the floor is the ceiling on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like <laughs> essentially essentially the way that it is, is you, you, like, you can attempt to like walk on the wall for it and it goes about 20 feet deep before it just stops. Okay, so uh, I am willing to carry you, Guile, but Ash told me I am not to touch her. Like I can carry you down here. Do not touch me. I'm just <laughs> going to follow behind. Guile, do you mind, you know, like holding your stick out so it can guide me through, kind of like a blind person? <laughs> yeah, you, you can figure out that 20 foot drop on your own. I, 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 oh, 20 foot drop. Yeah, it's 20 feet deep in here. Well, it's technically. A hole. Technically, if it's if it's twenty feet from the ceiling to the floor, Guile's um, what is it? His uh, wow, his fucking pike is what ten feet long? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how tall is Ash? Not tall enough. You know, you know, five, is, you have at is... least five foot. Well, that's the thing. How is Guile being carried by Zahawk? Uh, no, no, uh, guy, what I was saying is I would hold one end of the pike and you'd hold the other as I would drop you down. So, no, uh, so I am going to grab Guile by his, so I'm on the other side of this. I will grab Guile by his feet. <laughs> this is fucking awesome, Alec. And, and, and he can hold his stick and then I won't touch you, Ash, but you can crawl down me and then slide down his pole. Okay. Okay, crawl that works. On me. We can do that. Okay, so I won't touch you. Also, I like that religion check was 
Levi's attempt to uh, pray to Aquinas again and mm-hmm. and ask okay. for just basically asking for guidance if possible, extra strength to deal with what is about to come. Uh, you got no Giles. response. Giles is gonna. Uh, Giles, I got your feet, man. Okay, Giles is gonna. I, I guess go down. But I was fear being held. I guess that's uh, what I'm doing here. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm just, you just, I got you. You just, you just sit, sit down and slide off the edge, and uh, I'm gonna keep you held. And oh, then uh, we're gonna let Ash just slide down. Uh, Gaio is going to take off the bladed head of his pike real quick. <laughs> he just screws it off. Is it screwed off? Yeah. It, it's a screw off now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we made it like that. Yeah. And then he's gonna hold on to the broom end. Okay. Okay, Ash, you can slide down. I do so. All right. You do so. Okay, Guile, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like walk you over to the edge here, and uh, do, you, do you want me to just drop you from here? Um, or, before uh, that, uh, Ash, you basically get to the end of the broom. And, uh, you still don't feel the floor. Uh, is the hog? I can see it's only 20 feet. I mean, there's, there's just a couple, there's a couple feet, feet, feet below you. It's dark, dark, but it, it, there's ground. Guile, can you give me a athletics check? BB athletics? Let's go! Oh, no. So, hanging by your feet, holding on to the broom, and Ash's weight on the other side, you are attempting to hold on to it, but with all of this free-floating weight, it essentially becomes too much for you to carry, and the broom starts to slip from your fingers. You can make mm-hmm. a dexterity save to try and catch it. Dexterity save. Oh, let's go. Oh no. Oh. No. What about what about Zahak? He's also holding me. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna get to him. Zahak. Oh, no. Guile is currently wiggling around trying to catch the uh, broom before it falls. You give me an athletics check to hold on to his feet. So you're attempting to hold on to his feet. He's wiggling, and he wiggles so much to the point that uh, he ends up slipping through his boots. Oh no! Both of you start oh, re-falling. No. Wait. To I'm to not reiterate, no, no. Well, Guile and Ash are. Okay, I was like, wait. I, to... I'm, I, I'm fine. I'm stuck to. I'm stuck right. to to reiterate what I had mentioned before, it was 20 feet, the, the tunnel itself was 20 feet deep. However, there was still a good 40 feet drop afterwards. <laughs> oh. It was merely that, fuck. think of it like, you know those vents, how they move and then it basically just ends up in a specific spot, but there's no other surface touching it and it's merely just essentially just a long, uh. Thing. Do so, we know how long the, the tunnel is, like, from wall to wall? The tunnel? Like, its width? That didn't mean to it's it. width, yeah. The width of it is about 10 feet. I have... I have an idea. It's gonna require me to do a few rolls. I'm going... If, if assuming we're falling... What about Ash? It's gonna fall a bit. It's gonna fall Ash. I'm going to try to grab... <laughs> my pike and grab ash and then turn the pike sideways and try to get it caught on both sides of the wall oh he's gonna break his butt then <laughs> i thought he said 20 feet not 10 feet he said 10. okay hold on i'm gonna help in this situation too how are you okay i i am going to run down you said it's only 10 feet wide right yeah I run down the wall. 
to try and, and catch. catch. Yeah, I run down the wall to try and catch Ash. Okay. Even though she told me not to touch her. <laughs> Alright. Guile, give me an acrobatics check. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. Give me another acrobatics check. Oh my god. Zahawk, you give me an acrobatics check. I want this to be more like athletics because he's running. Well, athletics is mainly just like to hold, but acrobatics is to like quickly catch. Like it's it's basically like a reflex save. Right, right. Because he's trying to run down to quickly catch Guile, and then he'd have to make an athletics afterwards if he succeeded. Um, unfortunately, he didn't. So, Guile, you attempt to do this, and um, your weapon just basically just keeps sliding down. You attempt to catch Ash. And you are unable to do so as both of you basically just go through the free fall of the 40 feet. After about three seconds, you guys end up hitting the ground, but you suffer no damage. No question, Joe. Just take it. <laughs> Got, it. Got it. Got it, Chief. I love this place. <laughs> I'm, going Zahawk to, just... I'm going to get up and then help Ash up. Zahawk walks oh, no, down. That, that is what Ash here. says. That That's not the player. Ash just says, I love this place. Uh, Zahawk just walks down the remainder of the wall and asks them if they're okay. No damage here. Ash, are you good? I'm a little disappointed. Well, that if I'd, we, I'd... uh... No, that if we end up having to fight Nathaniel and whatever happened to that crypt happens here, stuff like this won't be around anymore. Well... I, uh... I apologize for that plan not working so well. I don't recall casting Grease on uh, Guile's weapon, but lo and behold. You know what's fucking funny about this? <laughs> I have a curse called Butterfingers because I rolled a natural <laughs> yeah. one in the rows. So if I roll a natural one with using my weapon, it gets thrown out of my hand. <laughs> so, okay. So so you 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 have a, a curse called Butterfingers? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't... I just met you in, like... I we were. Oh, this is this, this out of game. It's out of character. What well, does your character know? No. All he knows okay. is that occasionally his weapon just flies out of his hand. <laughs> okay. Is this so in this maybe, one? Yes. So maybe, yeah. Maybe, that, maybe that's what happened here. Is, are we gonna say on the back end that's what happened here? Maybe. Or does he have to actually roll? I don't know. Either way, it's it's, it's mainly when he critically fails on the attack. Okay. Ash, remind me maybe to not be so dependent on Guile when we have to do things that require dexterity <coughs> and athletics and acrobatics. A little bit of a clumsy fuck, but uh, <laughs> at least we're okay. Yeah. Anyways, can we see Yes, but he's also irreplaceable. He fell all the way. We can see, right? Or is, is it still he your dark? boyfriend? <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what you can see down there, and then we'll bring ourselves back up to the top of the manor. What? Why? Why is Gal irreplaceable? Ash. He's closer to that of a brother. Okay, so. It's not like a stepbrother you're stuck in. No, I'm situation. not stuck in the washing machine. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just... Come <laughs> on. I just need clarity sometimes. I need to understand the dynamics. Anyways. So we, we can, like, see our hands in front of us now, right? Yeah. You guys are no longer in the magical darkness of what was that tunnel. Um, 
you find your guy, you find yourselves on what seems like a floating platform. Uh, platform. Yeah. And well, all around you, you see essentially nothing but pure darkness and the twinkling of some lights around the area, almost as if like stars. I look over to the hawk. You really don't get context clues, do you? No, I. that's not lost on me. I just don't care. Have you ever been like diagnosed or whatever because you might be on the spectrum not on the spectrum just really old been there done that i don't I know don't... i'm gonna have to talk to mean cough after er, mean cough after this so am i <laughs> i don't like the way you said that <laughs> anyways uh... well then i guess we do understand context cues don't we So to explain what you guys can see in this area, um, you see a lot of statues, essentially, just uh, along the walls and further ahead you see what looks like a massive statue, and then something next to it that seems almost draped by a cloth. As uh, their movement from the cloth? There is no movement. I'm going to walk to my right and just look around at the statue. So, like, investigation, but, like, no uh, touching. Be before I am, Ash does that. Could I, Ash, could I? Well, first of all, what's with all these creepy statues? This is weird. I don't know. Coming hey. from the guy that walks on walls, this is weird. And there's all these statues, and then there's this thing draped in cloth but I don't know Ash do you mind if I offer you my guidance Zach the player has an idea of what might be what kind of here. guidance just guidance it will help you I'm a f I have a feeling that it could just help you alright closest to this okay here you go There you go. I'm just gonna sit here and, and concentrate on giving you this guidance. Hopefully you find use from it. Okay. So once before the spell ends, I can roll an extra d4. Yeah. I think okay. there's more of a reason as to why he's making it though. You're the closest to the statues, and they're weird. We gotta try to figure this out. Before uh, I do my roll, Joe was trying to do something. So, yeah. I thought it was it, it was because of the whole fact of the, the fact that you had to touch the willing creature. That's why I asked. If, that's why I asked if you were willing to do yeah, something. Like I, I just kind of like that. held out my hand. I thought you were going to drop something in it. <laughs> Nope, I just gave you a high five. <laughs> okay. Five. <laughs> it's the least weird thing that you've done so far, so. <laughs> well. <clears throat> I did not get time to do this, but Ace had found what we've been looking for, and I hold up the purple book. Where did you get a purple book? I walk over to him. Hey, sneezes. May I see it? Yeah, I just... Someone's talking about you. What was that? Uh, may I see it? Yes, I hand it over. Alright, I'm gonna investigate the book. Wow, that's bad. Did you add a d4 to it? I guess I could, but it would still be bad. <laughs> see that one? All I've got is wow, that's bad. good. And did did Ace sneeze girly as fuck? Like I like, just been like... <laughs> Am I getting the help action from like... Guile while investigating this book? You can have advantage on it because you okay. know you know about the book specifically, or at least that there is something about this book that you read about. Fourteen's better. Fourteen's much better. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you are investigating this book, and um, I'll count this towards the statues as well. You essentially... As you're like flipping through some of the pages, you're noticing that this is talking about specific witchcrafts. After, a, you know, you skim through it quite a bit, and then... You also notice that there is, um... There is something about essentially controlling things, manipulating them to almost a like a human like feature um do you flip through the entire book yes okay so you flip through the entire book and at the very end of the book you happen to notice a signature on the back cover is it the mother's it is indeed the mother's name Okay, that's what I assumed. <laughs> it says, uh... <clears throat> property of, and then her name, Windsor. I only say her name because I haven't remembered what it was right away. But I so, think I have this. This book, does it detail how exactly to do those kind of things? Uh, it does detail... Specifically, like, uh, components, castings, something of that like. Can I... Okay, with this book, uh, does it tell me to control stuff? Does it require, like, a mark on objects? Or, like, what it exactly requires to control said object? Um, it does not. It does not say that a mark is required to control the objects. Okay, and you said the 14 counted towards the statues as well, yes? Mm-hmm. So what did I learn from them? So what you learned from them was specifically that <clears throat> they aren't the normal constructs. These constructs are... They're magical in nature. But they're currently dormant. Do I see any etching on them or symbols or whatever? You notice that some of them do have etchings and some of them do not. Is there... Can I make out what these etchings might be, or are they just like, do they look like random from reading, stuff? From reading the book, you can tell that the <laughs> etchings on them are also glyphs of warding. Okay. I'm going to immediately just walk all the way over here, and I'd like to investigate the big boy this time. Okay. I don't know what the the two s smaller boys behind me are doing. I'm over here with you. I crit. Nice. Great job. Bam, 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 bam. So you know that this is essentially a much larger scaled version of the other statues. And you even know its name. The specific construct here is actually called a homunculus. Excuse me, what? Uh... What, what is this thing? Bad. What is this statue? It's a homunculus. Well, that's disconcerting. Yeah, I can only assume it has something to do with what he wants to do with his brother. Uh, I'm gonna check out whatever's behind Cloth A over here. Well, would you mind elaborating on what a homunculus is? So, with your investigation, you know that homunculuses are essentially 
constructed servants. They act upon the creator's will. You are aware that not all of them can move at once. And that they all are... <clears throat> they're all essentially meant to follow the same rules. That what are they made from? They are made from very various different materials. They're, um, they can be made are from you... wood, stone, any kind of metal, even flesh if, you know, need be. These ones here are all made from a specific stone. That's so when, you say crab, they look like crab people. <laughs> are, they, are they made from people? Um, these ones are not made from the flesh of others. Okay. Can I tell anything else about Big Boy? Is there an etching on him or something? There is no etching on him. He is also dormant, like the rest. And, uh... It seems almost like it's incomplete. Like it's missing something. Ha ha ha. Guile. Yes? I don't like you smashing things, obviously, but, uh... Do you think there's any way you can take this apart somehow? We're talking about the we're talking about the, the big okay. thing. The uh, big thing? Thing? Yeah, but can you wait until after we've looked behind the curtain? Yes, of course. So you pull the curtain off of the draped object and I peek behind it first. I don't want to like okay. pull okay. on and rip it off. You do so. Um, you notice that it is a mirror, a large mirror. This mirror currently is showing what you would consider Nathaniel's point of view. You can see into the main lobby. The, the, the perspective then moves to seeing where Levi and Ace are. And you're not able to really hear what they're saying, but you can tell that their mouths are moving <laughs> as if they're saying something. I'll completely rip the curtain off of it then. Okay. You do so. Everyone else can see essentially what the mirror is projecting. I'd like to... Uh... Actually, I don't know how I'd do this. So, Hawk, do you mind touching the mirror? Uh, no, not at all. Boop, boop, boop. I'll... Hold on, no. Does anything happen? I'm just making sure, like, if he's doing anything specific before, like, while touching it or before touching it. Nope. I'm going to touch the mirror now. Touching the mirror is solid. You are touching essentially just the glass of what would what you would normally see as a reflection. Yeah, this mirror seems normal for all intents and purposes. Normal mirrors don't let you see people on the other side of them. I mean, have you ever seen a one-way mirror? Fair enough. Can I spend a bit more time going through this book, Guile, before you, uh, you know, help me figure out how to not make this thing work? I mean, is this a mirror or is it like a TV? Like, I don't know. Like, back in the lab, we have monitors and all that, and it shows you something somewhere else. It's not necessarily so magical. It's a little out of place. 
Sure. Well, it feels like a mirror. Don't know. Feels like a mirror, looks like a mirror. Does it taste like a mirror? <laughs> I'm full. I'm not eating this. <laughs> you can still. I like want to go through the book one last time, if possible. Literally, just the one last time to look for anything on homunculi. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Give me the investigation on it. Better. Good job. So, more specifically to the homunculus, um, I'll basically just tell you some of the features that they have. Um, you are, like, while, while reading, you notice that they have, <laughs> ironically enough, like, even though they're constructs and mostly made out of inorganic materials, they do happen to have very good mobility in the case of abating specific attacks. They are... Their attacks are essentially... reflections, or at least products, of the caster itself. And they can also channel magic from the caster. And you said this homunculus was incomplete, yes. yes. Yeah? Does this book contain any information on how to complete it? Um, it does not. In fact, it doesn't even mention making a homunculus of that size. Could I maybe... Uh, I'm gonna ask the two in here with me as well. Zahak, Guile, do you mind helping me find any differences between the large boy with the small boys? Obviously, aside from their size. I uh, want to know why this one doesn't work while those ones look like they're ready to go. I you may assume have a... Genders. You may have what? Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> I may have an idea as to why they're ready to go yeah he, i don't mind helping he, you. He, he never specified as to what happened to his servants and other people who have ventured in here i assumed about the same thing but i was thinking maybe we might be able to make use of this thing before he is or we could destroy it i feel like he's tr trying to place Michael within this large monkey. That is that is what I am assuming, yes. I feel that the best way to go is to destroy it. Well Michael is not here. Yeah. If there's any chance that we could potentially repurpose these for our benefits I think that's worth investigating. Does the book have any way, knowledge of transferring a, a soul from one thing to another? Well, Alec, did it, or will you have me roll another investigation? Because I do not mind. No, you're fine. Um, it did not mention magic of that sort. The magic and that was explained in this book essentially was just simple enchantments. The... Uh, the descriptions for Ward of Glyphs, and then um, some small notes that were basically written in there about the homunculuses and whatnot. No, this book is not nearly that complicated. Um, Guile, if you do recall, when we were reading that book the other night, I mentioned that... Well, we found out at the very end of that book that the woman in the story was the matriarch of the Windsor family. This was that book. It's relatively entry level into uh, sorcery, aside from obviously basics on homunculus. It does not include anything that uh, that detail.
This is going to sound like a weird question, but bear with me here. But is anybody capable of uh, transferring a Yeti soul into the big guy? <laughs> no. I mean, the one here who we've seen, who, from my knowledge, could be able to well as you yeah yeah I will see I don't know much about this homunculus here but I could possibly take the yeti spirit in my staff and transfer it to this big guy for a bit it might be worth a shot but I think that would require us looking at all these homunculus really quick and cross examining so if we could do that fast to figure out what is keeping souls inside of those so that yeah. we might not mess this up yeah do you but. think we should work together looking at them or should we just kind of spread out and uh, I, I feel like working together may be in our best interest here is anybody currently looking at the mirror uh no we're a bit too focused on the hub oculus I'd assume right then uh you guys wouldn't notice this then um the perspective of the mirror, without you guys being aware, uh, ended up changing. It changed to seeing what looked like the front of the manor. Can I roll a perception to see if I see the lighting behind me change? Because I'd assume it would go from light to dark. You could make a perception check. Okay. Because, like, I don't know if you've ever, like, thought about it, but, like, you know when your TV changes scenes oh, yeah. and, like, you go from having light behind you? Not very high. Yeah, no, you don't notice. That's fine. It was worth a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to cut to the people in the manor. And... You guys essentially are sitting here at this moment and preparing for what you believe is to come. You I ask, I, I, I wanted to wait until we got to this part to at least ask him something during this time. Mm -hmm. He said we were talking, so. Um, I ask him, do you know where the other three are at all? Oh, them? They're somewhere locked away in the manor. Great. Sorry I can't be of more help. Can't lose all of my assets, now can I? No, just glad well, there's somewhere Levi, else. Levi Levi's going to walk over to him. And uh he's going to as the board pick in the picture is placed on my shoulder, he's going to basically transfer it over to his to uh Nathaniel's. Pull him a little close and just tell him if any of them get hurt because of you I will personally let my war pig bite your fucking head off we cool? you can surely try oh I will fucking enjoy it so I just want to mention, I got blown up because of Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. He's going and Levi to doesn't that. care. Levi doesn't know that you got blown up. I said him. I tried to explain it. Again, you got to look at it well, from the standpoint. No, of you Levi. you asked if. Uh, yes, Levi I know. I, it. It's basically me wanting to explain the whole situation, and him's like, "No, I don't really want." I'm like, "Okay." Yeah, because we just got told the fucking thing was coming here. There's bigger things to worry about than that. There's bigger things to worry about than you dying. <laughs> oh, honestly. Plus, in that group of three, it happens to be Ash, so. <laughs> you doesn't, all... doesn't care about his character's best friend. I see, I see. You all start to hear the sounds of loud thuds outside the manor. Do we hear it down here? No. The thuds get louder 
as they get closer and closer until eventually they're at the door. And then it stops. Both of you make a perception check for me. Perception! Egypt. Hey, not bad. So both of you are going to be able to see this. So... The door itself, nothing happens to it. The sound essentially had just stopped. At this moment, things seem rather calm, which I don't know about you guys, but would probably seem rather discerning. And then suddenly, both of you happen to notice a shadow, essentially creeping from the door. The shadow then begins to move forward until it gets to about right here. From the shadow rises this creature. Right in front of him? Right in front of him. Oh, no! Ah. There he is. Um. Actually, or anything I else. I backed up a bit more. I would like to, uh. Attempt to use Psionic Mind. Um. I don't. Don't think Levi caught that this is supposed to be Michael. Because that was said while well, me and uh, Zahawk were stuck in the room still, correct? You yeah. did say to him, though, that you need to speak to his brother about something. Fuck. He did say that. So, I don't know, maybe think yeah, you maybe do or I don't. Did catch it? I, I would honestly say not... I would say that it was a slip of the tongue for the brother comment. Yeah, but that's that you, why I was that you hurt. are you are at least hoping that the creature that basically assaulted you the first time is gonna come back, and that's what you know Nathaniel's expecting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So yes, I'm gonna attempt to use Psionic Mind to basically ask this creature what his purpose is for coming here. Just to see if I get a response. He growls at me. It's a fucking idiot and I'm killing it, I guess. Or I'm gonna try. <laughs> That's how Levi sees it. If it can't fucking talk to- like, if it, if it sounds like it's making some kind of conversation in a different language, okay, I'm gonna assume it's not fucking retarded and it yeah, I just can't fucking talk to it yeah, through voice, you know. Uh -huh. So there's no role or anything. It's just you. You talk to it, and then if it has, like, regardless of what language it knows, it can comprehend what you're hearing, and then responds. Uh, it it can't respond to me the same way I, I'm like sending the message out but if it, if it chooses to respond itself whether it can talk in a language I can understand or not but yes okay. it does have to know a language itself so it does know a language and um it begins does it to... happen to be abyssal <laughs> it is not abyssal but... but he speaks in an abyssal tone at least oh but it's not abyssal, it's just basically just... It, it's common speech, but it's through an abyssal-like tone. Okay. Looks at you. Contemplates what you're saying. 
looks at Nathaniel. And then back to you. And says... Must deal with trespassers. For Nathaniel... Levi is going to uh, turn and look back at Nathaniel just quickly and then turn to look at Ace and B and just tell him hey, he could talk at least. I was like, what do you mean? It didn't say anything. It said it in common. Didn't he say it in your mind though? No. No, he just... Psionic mind is a one-way message. Oh, it is? I thought it was a... Yeah. I thought... Oh. I no. didn't know. <clears throat> okay, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, it's just a one-way message. Uh, yeah, that's why I said if it chooses to respond with a growl, I'm just going to assume it's fucking retarded. But if it chooses to speak, or at least something that sounds like a language to me, you know, I'm going to assume it's not retarded. It just... I can't understand it. But yeah, he said it's... that It is speaking common, but it's with an abyssal like yeah no i got i i got it. i heard all of that i thought it, i thought he was speaking you and what i thought him oh yeah no um so it yeah cool yeah i think it wants to kill us then maybe we should kill it first I was going to say that you have a free action on this creature before anything else. But you attempted to speak with it. Oh, I'm perfectly fine with it. Yeah, I have yeah. a ready action of my rifle, and if it gets initiative before me and it makes an action, can I fire? You can have your ready action, but before that, you're going to have to make a wisdom save. Okay. As, if I can have my ready action, I'm fine with that. I'll make the wisdom save. Okay. Two different numbers. <laughs> two very different numbers. There. So we have an unnatural. We have a, a an unnatural twenty and an unnatural one. <laughs> Thank God. That is so great. Thank Fucking Holy God, shit, not. that's funny. So, Thank Ace. Fucking God, I did not crazy. Think about this. Fail. You should be happy because you're not frightened. Still have to run away if it targets. Yeah. Levi, on the other hand, is frightened of the creature. Once again. Let's fucking go. Oh, uh, I have to be within. Outside of 30 feet, bro. I might do it on me. I'm gonna. I'm well, gonna for this up. one specifically, you can just make it at the end of each of your turns. You don't have to be outside 30 feet for this one. The only okay. reason that it was outside 30 feet for the other one was specifically because that's what the text was for it. Oh, I see. I was wondering why it was 30. I'm like, that doesn't make to me. So it was just his thing. Mm -hmm. Got it. I was wondering why that sounded odd to me, and I didn't understand it. That would... makes so much more sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think my phone's my phone is frozen. Oh, and if uh, my phone just so cool. so trying to break the fear ends my turn, of course. And it yeah, at the end the of creature. yeah, at the end of your turn, you can attempt to make a wisdom saving throw to break free of the fear, and. Uh, any attack that you make against the creature has a disadvantage. Hey, what the hell just happened to my phone? Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. Does anyone have a Samsung? Yes. Yeah. Uh, when your Samsung just, when you update it and then it just stuck on the Samsung Galaxy screen, like trying to turn back it on and just. Stuck. Mine is stuck. It's just give it a while and it'll probably yeah. fix itself. 
Oh, uh, which one? I've never seen it last this long before. Just connect it to the charger and set it to the side. You're yeah. goodbye. Worst case, case probably just worst case scenario, if FD. nothing ends up happening. Oh, there we go. I finally changed that. It was yeah. like sitting like that for like 10 minutes, though. I've never seen it that long. And that's why I'm saying if nothing else happens after about, you know, like another 10 or so minutes, then just unplug it, let it die, and then ch charge it from zero. Anyhow, so Levi's feared by this creature. Ace is not feared by this creature. Nathaniel doesn't need to make this save. Nathaniel begins walking towards the creature. Um, would I... Could I possibly, uh, like, basically slam my war pick down on the floor in front of him, kind of cutting him off. And asking him what he is planning to do. Since it said, since this thing has now said it is here to get rid of the trespassers for Nathaniel. That it has now brought up his name and now linking those two together. Making Levi want to fucking literally bite the head off of him himself. I'm simply going to confront my brother. And by confront, I mean take possession of what is mine. Could you elaborate as uh, what you mean by possession? I'm not sure if you're familiar with magics. But this aberration here is my dear little brother Michael from long ago. You could say I turned him into this as I was met with a wonderful voice, a voice that simply wanted nothing more than to give me what I most desired, and all in return was to do as it requested. And with Michael's help, I believe that's possible. Are you going to interfere with me? At this point, I feel I have no choice but to interfere. I do wish that you would think twice before making the next action, then. Oh, I've thought plenty long and hard about this piece of shit right here. And now that I know he's linked to you... God, do I want to fucking kill you both. Are you going to let me through, or must I make you? I'd like to see you try. Okay. He's going to use one of his spell slots then. He's going to cast the Banishment spell. Fuck! You must <laughs> succeed on a Charisma saving throw. If you okay. fail, you are sent to another plane of existence for a total of a minute upon his concentration. Now, I... I'm guessing my reaction won't work against him. 
I mean, he's got to concentrate on the spell. You can make it against him if you want to, but it's going to happen after Levi makes this save. All right, and that's a concentration. God, yes. he might still that stupid fucking shield, though. What? I don't know how shield works. Oh. Shield is a reaction that does not take a concentration. Yeah, but uh, I, what I don't know is if he can use it again. Uh, if he has the ability to cast the spells, then yes. It's just a reaction upon being hit. Um, yeah, no, the two does not do it. Um, he essentially just puts his hand out, and a, you see Levi basically just get sucked into a small hole. Yeah, I feel like I would fire because of that out of anger. Go ahead. <laughs> I was literally going to say, as I'm being sucked away, can I just say, shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> shoot him, Ace! <laughs> A 14 does not hit him, but I will oh. give you advantage. Oh, give me advantage? Because at this point, I don't... This, this I will consider him partially surprised. Oh, okay. That hits. Yeah, that hits. And I'll add the monger. So that's going to be 17 damage to him. So he takes the 17 damage. Wait, where? Are you? Oh, because he's surprised. Well, yeah, because it takes the higher of the damage rolls, and then you're adding the three, so it's 14 oh, plus three. Oh, it's taking the higher. Okay, I didn't know that it was taking the higher damage roll. That's why I was well, confused. Well, the thing is, is, like, if you normally roll initiative, it usually rolls the highest one anyways. Yeah. So I'm strictly taking the higher of the two rolls because these are technically made in the same roll. Yeah, I got you. So he takes 17 damage. Not resistant to this, by the way. And then has to make his concentration save. <laughs> this is a constitution save. He has to be a 10. Because the damage of the die did not exceed, uh, half of the damage would not have, ex have exceeded 10. So he just needs to be a 10. Fuck. Fast. By the way, yes, he has advantage on constitution saving throws. Specifically oh, orientated towards concentration. That uber little bastard. <laughs> so, he continues the concentration on the banishment, and then... The now I understand that before the name claimed by this creature was the Shadow Matriarch, but I did change its name. Its new name is meant to be the Soul Manipulator. Oh. The reason for that is because of the actions that he can take. He can manipulate the soul of any of any creature that he can tether himself to. But it cannot be a player character. No. Okay. So don't worry oh. in that regard. That would explain why he was able to manipulate this armor the first time. Yeah. All, um, he, just yeah, all, all it has to do is basically just have a shadow. So, so what we're what we're doing we're fighting Sasri and Shikamaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, so fire would do like dot damage, right? My fire bullets. It would try if they. That's what we ruled for that one, right? Um, they would have to make the uh, save, which would normally just yes. be a deck save. And if they fail it, then they would be burned. And they yeah. would. Take... How do you see all of those type of things on? Like uh, there is conditions on 5e tools. I don't know yeah, if burn, burn is specifically on there, yeah. but I'm ruling it specifically in the case of what would essentially like poisoned or what other conditions are where at the end, like at the start of that person's turn, 
it would deal that damage. What about cold? Like I said, cold cold is gonna slow them. Yeah. Okay. Quick side note. Big patch came out for Elden Ring, rebalanced a bunch of shit, fixed arcane scaling and weapon scaling, and a is whole bunch the of stuff. Moonlight Katana still gross? Uh, it's still that's still gross, unfortunately. But they fixed the Death Blight glitch, and that's cool. Also, and with if they changed arcane scalings, so that's actually really they cool did. too. So the Eleanor's Pull Blade and the Mariah's Great Sword and all that stuff. I looked at it real quick. It's all fine. Nice, nice. I and wonder they, if Extra updated it too. Bunch of the uh, shitty uh, sorceries that are like cool, but they were too expensive and hit like shit. They fixed those. They nerfed the Horfrost Stomp. They nerfed the Mimic Tear. They nerfed Bloody Slash. They added cut content and NPC quest line stuff for Nephi Lou and uh, the Jar Guy and a couple other characters. Yeah, it's a big patch. Anyway, not to derail things. Uh, you're good. All right. Um, but yeah, no, like your your bullets would do different things based on whatever element it is, and we can basically like figure out like you know touch and goes like at, you know in the moment you know like if it's fire it'll yes. do burn damage if it's poison it'll do poison damage acid. Um, I'll say that if they can't manage to make the save, it can decrease their AC because it's essentially like degrading their armor if they have any. Um, cold slows them. Thunder damage could possibly push them back. It's uh, like, I, I, I just oh, I guess, cause oh I, you I, know what? Hold up, hold up. I think my thunderbonger turns my thing into thunder damage. It does, so he'd get pushed back then, wouldn't he? Well, that's only if you're using the gem bullet, not no, the no, 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 thundermonger. Does Thundermonger say that it also pushes them back? Oh, uh, let me go into the actual... That's what I'm saying. Thunder damage doesn't just push them back by default. Yeah, let me go on to Day on, on 5e real quick. And I'm check. just going to type in Thundermonger real quick. I don't know if I can get... Thundermonger does an extra 1d6 damage. Yes. Period. Okay. That's all it does. I thought because it was thunder. No, like I, like I was just saying, thunder damage doesn't exclusively mean that you're going to push back every time. It's okay. specifically like, you know, with the Wrathful Smite. Wrathful Smite does thunder damage, but it doesn't push the person back. It just does bonus damage. Yeah, Thunder Wave pushes them back. Yeah, Thunder Wave pushes them back, other moves push them back, but that's also because in their text it says that it does, and it's essentially yeah. like... Think of thunder as purely just a sound-based attack. Okay. That's that's the point that it is to make. Um. But yeah, now in that regard, your different bullets would do different things. Like your your crystal bullets have special effects. Your regular bullets and your features do not, unless otherwise specified. Um. Oh, I will say, Wrathful Smite is the fear one. Thunderous Smite is the other one, and it okay, does push back. Go. Okay. And it because it says it though. So. Well, I mean, technically, I wasn't wrong in what I said when I said. I know you're. Not, I know. I wasn't anyways, saying you're Anyways, yeah. No. Anyways, we're, we're we're just basically cutting the topic at that. Not all thunder damage pushes back everything. Yes. Anyways, um, back to what's going on. Uh, yeah. So Nathaniel banished Levi. You hit him. He succeeded on the Constitution save for concentration. And he walks up to the soul manipulator and says, My dear Michael, what a pleasure it is to see you. I do, however, wish that we could have seen each other on possibly better terms, but these terms are nonetheless more efficient for my means. He is then going to cast Charm Monster on Nathaniel, or on Michael, I mean. Now, when a person normally casts Charm Monster, there's usually a save involved, and after making, uh, after the save is made, that person becomes charmed. However, in this case, 
He's doing this specifically to attune to Michael. Huh? Because Michael himself has become a catalyst. Damn. Thea gets a drum and this dude gets a fucking shadow monster? Wild. We can't do anything from down here either, we're stuck. Oh, I mean, I can walk upstairs. I can walk up the wall, I can come out. But I don't know anything's wrong. Right. It's at this moment that the the monster basically just stops in place. Doesn't really move or do anything. The red eyes of the monster then turn to essentially a bright yellow. Nathaniel, as well as the Soul Manipulator, look over to Ace. And Nathaniel says one last thing. He says, I don't know about you, but your friends seem to be in a bit of a predicament. I believe it is only customary that the host of the house entertain his guests. If you would like to find them, they're down in the cellar. The first door in the hallway is where you will find them. That is, if you don't run away. What's Moth going to go fuck himself? And I'm loading a- I'm loading a bullet as I'm doing that, too. But you don't move. Uh... I will actually move. Okay. I'll reveal and that I will be- you. I will be putting in... Uh... I, I would say a cry bullet. Cold bullet. Mm -hmm. uh. Um, so because, I'm not, I'm kind of curious about this, so because Thundermonger does thunder damage, can I only use that on standard bullets, or if I use, like, what will happen if I use no, it on other bullets? it's just an additional 1d6 thunder damage. Okay, just making sure. What did Levi get sent to, by the way? <laughs> The Shadow Realm. <laughs> I, I, isn't it just a, another version of that? But like, it's no. Just like, when no? you get banished, you essentially get sent to a completely different plane of existence for a full minute. Oh. And um, it is different. You're actually essentially in his pocket dimension. What you see around you are all of the marionettes that you had encountered from the first time you were in Windsor. Oh my. Except they are all essentially disassembled and their parts scattered around the air. Um... Fuck, dude. <laughs> well, as I have... Wait, is it just kind of, like, dark? Mm-hmm. And there's just fucking marionette pieces, like, all over the place, and, mm -hmm. like, even what looks like it's floating? Okay. <sighs> Levi's just going to do as he does. <laughs> just gonna put the war pig down. Just... Just stand there and wait and um I guess I'll attempt to make this wisdom saving throw again if I may um you actually don't get to 
Once you fail oh, okay. the save, you are essentially just stuck there for the entire time until he. Oh no no no! I meant the... for the uh, oh for the, the fear, fear of the yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. It lasts for a minute, right? That or like yes. Yeah. How long has it been for it? Six seconds. <laughs> yeah. It's... Fuck. It's like literally. Man, a whole six <laughs> seconds. He said all that and them. Yes. Welcome to D and D. That's. Yeah. I mean, Tyler. There could technically be a party of like. Fifteen people. Yeah, fifteen people, and then like. 30 mob units that have to attack and only one round to go through and that's only a minute. Uh, I know that. <laughs> D&D type is really weird. It really is. Daydream time is even weirder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am going to check something really quick, but uh, in that meantime, uh, is there anything else that you're going to be doing, Ace? Are you going to be making your way towards where Nathaniel was talking about? Oh, hell. Hell no. Hell no. Well, thing is, I got a. Uh, they said in there, right? Mm hmm. Um, I don't want to leave Levi by himself when he comes back. If he does. From my knowledge, I don't know if he's coming back. Uh, I got to think about that as well. I don't know what he fucking did, so I'm kind of pissed. Would I, would I know? Or would I need to make a check? Uh, you can make an insight check. Okay. That small little black orb that's still hanging in the air. Oh, it's still me. That's, essentially, that. you, that's essentially the hole that Levi got sucked to, and... You are pretty confident that he'll at least come out of it. Okay. This is player to player. Hey, Tyler, do me a favor. Do not shoot the orb. I might die. <laughs> <laughs> Shoots the orb. A bullet goes no, um, flying this, towards this, him. <laughs> this is, uh, that's all I'm going to do, I think. I don't have any spells yet, but I have an idea on how my spells are going to work and all that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not rolling spells just yet. Um... I already reloaded. I fired. I'm not gonna fire again right now. I don't think I can anyways. Can I? No. Nah, okay, didn't think so. Uh, yeah, that's it then. Okay. Then, uh, with that, Nathaniel will say, Now, if you'll excuse me, there are some people that I must reintroduce myself to. And I do hope that they aren't in a sour mood for the uh, room that they're in. As much as they wouldn't like it, that room can't actually be left. Hopefully I'll see you there. In that moment, he ends up, um, he waves his hand and when he does so, a large doorway opens up. Ah. And he and Michael Ready both my walk ass. through it. What was that, Tyler? I said, fuck, I didn't ready my action. Like, I probably couldn't anyways, because I've already won. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't think you'll let me fire to do a reaction, but no, I didn't ready it, so it's all good. Yep. So he's just gonna he's just gonna walk through the door, and um, as he gets ready to walk through the door, he snaps his finger once again, and the hole that Levi was stuck in essentially just opens up as Levi basically just pops back into the. Uh, into that specific plane. And then as soon as he finishes walking through the door, the doorway then closes. From 
where he had gone. From the perspective of the rest of the party, or at least from the people that are in there. You all have been at least, uh, like, you know, inspecting certain things, and then, um, you start to hear the sounds of a, essentially about, like, the door opening, or, like, a, a door appearing in the middle of the room. And from there, you see Nathaniel walk out first, followed by Michael. Did we learn anything in that time that we spent? You learned that the homunculuses aren't being controlled by souls. The homunculuses are merely just constructs that were just simply made. Think of them as different versions of the marionettes in this way. The marionettes never had souls either. Well. I wasn't looking for a soul spot like Alphonse or whatever. I was looking for an yeah, alarm button almost. Like, why doesn't this one work, basically? So, for that one specifically, it's not so much that it needs something to finish, almost as much as it is that he just hasn't finished putting it together. I see. Okay. Nathaniel walks out of the door, the door closes behind him with Michael coming out as well, and says, Ah, well, I was hoping that you wouldn't have been here before me, but some things can't be helped with you all now, can it? You knew we were here. Is it that obvious? Painfully. I see that you found the mirror. Yeah. Well, now you know how I, I watch over the house. At least when I'm not specifically in the house. We've also found your toys. Oh, and what lovely toys they are. Now, pardon me for being such an ungracious host, but I do believe it is my time to entertain you all. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. We've expected as much. It is not of my own choice, however. Or my patron specifically wishes it. And they've done me the great deed of providing me this wonderful abomination. As he points over to Michael. Does your patron have a name? I never quite caught that. The name for it. Hmm. It never really gave me one. It seems almost as if it's just an entity. Can you call it? Afraid not. As much as I love what it has done for me, it simply told me only a few things. That when Michael comes, I am to control him. That when you come, I am to capture you. And that was simply it. Well, I for one am not running anywhere, so... I don't know what capturing is needed to be done, but... Oh, and, uh, Zahak. Yes? I do wish that you would have stayed the last time that you were here. 
your Nah, I'm good. Partner. I got shit to do. <laughs> I see. Well, your partners weren't very much fun to play with. Yeah, I don't want to play with you. So, so what? What are you? What are you getting at here? Simply that, at this point, I believe the conversation is done. For you all, <laughs> roll initiative. Let's fucking go. You said the conversation was done, so I didn't say shit. Mm -hmm. uh, where's my roll? My initiative roll. Before you do that, click on your token and then do it. Where is it at? Uh, initiative is going to be on the. It's right above your max health. Yeah. Gotcha. Next to your armor class. Wait. Does that. Turn order correct? He's got to adjust it to where... Oh, okay, I was like, that's so wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it just does it based on, like, who clicked, and then I have to change it to be, like, descending order for, like, who goes actually first and whatnot. With that, um, Tyler's still not back, right? No, I'm here. Okay. Sorry. Just needed to make sure. Um, we're gonna jump over to you guys real quick. Um, Levi, you find yourself back inside the manor as you see uh, Nathaniel and the soul manipulator himself uh, basically just walking through a gateway and then disappearing. I would think Ace would sprint over Levi to try to help him up. That's where he's okay. Well, actually, that's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> so, did I just kind of, like, pop back into my same spot exactly I was standing in the little pocket world? Or did it yep. really just, like, okay. Oh, okay. So, I'm just standing up. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> so I went to him just asked, are you okay? <laughs> Swear to God, I'm gonna fucking bite his head off. You see why I fired at him now? Still... I didn't know the context. Now where the fuck is this piece of shit? I he's on fucking ready. Saw him go through a doorway, but I think he's heading to where the others are. <sighs> okay. And I just and I, one of my what I last remember it was. Oh, I expo I just tell him that they went from what he said that they're over the room and like this yeah yeah i was gonna drive some of what that daniel said basically mm -hmm. yeah i'm just going based off of the last place i remember seeing uh yeah ashley too so so you go into this room and uh you see that the rug has been moved and that there is a trap door below it all right look down um you look down. You, you want me nothing. to toss my ball down? To see? Levi's just leaping in. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's going Geronimo! head first in. Oh, I I just, okay, okay, hold on. I'm not going head first in, but... You know, I, I would like, feel like that would be somewhat... Oh, I don't I'm know. I'm jumping, but with my feet first. Okay. So you right. jump into it. The moment that you do, and like your head essentially like goes past the like doorway entry, or at least like the like the main like first couple of feet through the thing, um, and you see him just full on disappear. Like wait, just wait, full on disappear. Mm -hmm. Not like as he's going down. I just see him like disappear. It's like no, as he's going down, and his head ends up going all the way under. You look down, Man. but you don't see him at all. Levi? No response. And... Because Levi is currently li free-falling. <laughs> I set my globe down just to see if I could see. Alright, so Levi, you end up 
falling about 60 feet, you end up landing onto the ground. You have to bring He's so nonchalant. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Um, yeah. 60 feet. Well, this, was, this room was specifically made not to deal damage for at least falling. Um, so you end up falling for, you know, a good while, and then, um... You, man, you, you end up hitting solid ground. Soon after, you see a ball follow. Ace, when you had dropped the ball, it essentially did the same thing that a, a Levi did. You drop the ball, once it become, once it basically just like passes all the way uh, into the tunnel, it just completely disappears. And you hear no I sound. I mean, it, could, it doesn't fall. It doesn't just fall. It hovers. Okay, so at this and, point, it's just going to hover five feet over it, then. Basically, go up to 60 feet away from me. Okay. Are you putting it 60 feet away from you? Hold on. I actually need to look at something, because I'm just thinking about this now. I think it only can float five feet above ground, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if it'll just start slowly falling. And that's why I said it just starts falling. Uh, it's feet away from me. If I can read this thing without it. Yes, it can be no more than five feet off the ground, so that it just slowly floats down. And as it does so, it disappears like Levi. Yep, and it just keeps slowly floating down. Mm -hmm. That's it, because when it hits the 60 feet, though, it just, the light turns off, and it will still slowly float down, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, there goes that, like... Well, I can't see Ace up there though. <laughs> I could just, you know, send him my side. Nope. You just see a you just <laughs> see a small ball slowly falling. I'll grab it. And I'll hold it in my hand. Okay. What do you do, Ace? Wait. Okay. I jump. Alright, you Are... jump down. You know what? I do this. I, you know one of those things where you just sit, you put your feet, where you sit down, you put your feet over, and then do the little, uh, and go down? Okay, so you kind of just, like, push yourself into it a little bit? Yeah. The, I don't want to jump in the pool, but I want to get in the pool yeah. to shove. Yeah. 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 So, you, uh, you do so. You start to fall the 60 feet. You realize that you're falling at quite, uh, you know, from quite a height. Um... And you, you manage to hit solid ground. Um, you don't need to worry about like tumbling or anything like that. You just, you end up falling and you land. But the fall was definitely farther than you thought it would be. Okay. So with both of you down there, If you two would kindly roll initiative. Absolutely. Sadly, I don't have advantage on initiative with this character. Nope. So crit fail for me, please. Sad. Suck my fucking cock, Alec. Tell Why me is Mike the only fail. one with my name? Tell me to fucking crit fail. Ashes is. And it's so was mine, and so was Levi's. Oh, your guys' names aren't there for me. Yeah, right. only my name shows up for me as well. Same, I think it's supposed to be the, the gear to uh, turn over. Mm -hmm. It used to show, but... Tell me back. to fucking critically fail. And I rolled a 21. <laughs> yep. Alright. So, with this, Levi, you get first turn. Oh, you know, while we're going through this, I'm gonna go get the sodas out of the car, so I'll be back. Okay. What's the distance of this motherfucking cunt? Oh, it's in range. Ooh. You know what? How far is. Lee, Lee, before he, he takes a swing at anybody, Levi is just going to uh, yell at the Ash. Hey, Ash! Do I have permission to hit your. Uh, your friend here. 
Formalities are over. Do what you need. Oh, yes. And this one is going right to Nathaniel. Ah, this team does not hit. Or. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. That's it for your turn, right? Wait. Uh, can I use the shit as a bonus action? Uh. Nope. Yeah, that's it for my turn. Alright. Mashiva, it is your turn. Okay. I'm gonna uh, get up to where I am 10 feet from both of them. It's, uh, let me here. Right there. And I'm going to attack the. Oh, I'm gonna attack Michael. And I'm gonna use. I'm gonna attack Michael, see if it hits first, because I can use these before or after. The 16 hit Michael. 16 to hit Michael? The other yeah, yeah. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, nope. If I were to use... Let me see, let me read this uh, sweeping real quick. Um, nope. When I can't use sweeping either, so no man. Same. Okay. Then, let me see, I was here. About 22 feet, I can move from on a move. Eight feet back, which should be like right there. Yeah. And I was ten feet out of the uh, away from both of them, so I don't think I was in their ra range. You're saying that you're ten feet away from both of them? I was originally, then I moved back eight because I only had eight boom this eight left. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's uh that is my turn. Alright. Nathaniel's turn. Back. Welcome back. He is going to use... He's going to start by using his bonus action to essentially use his Puppet Master strings. In doing so, he essentially works his Artificer abilities. Oh boy. I still hate him. <laughs> From with his strings, he attaches himself to two of the homunculus across the way, and they begin to move. And then he is going to use his action to bring out his construct animal, essentially. This would be considered his steel defender. Where is Io when you need him? <laughs> Master of AOE spells. <laughs> right. Um, I've got some. Give me one second while I. Just changing the music really quick. And then all I need to do is just get the 
All right, so I've got both of these. Do, 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 do. So Nathaniel himself is not going to be making any uh, any attacks. He's just going to move essentially right here. And then his steel defender is going to move here, homunculus here, and homunculus here. Uh, one of the homunculuses is going to attack Ace. And let's see. It's going to roll the d20 for it. Um, yeah. Pretty sure a 23 is going to hit you. No, it doesn't. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> you got a freaking, you got a Leopold AC up in here. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take. <clears throat> Seven points of force damage. That yeah, dark souls thirty fours. Oh no! All right, this one is going to attack Levi. Pretty sure twenty three also hits you. Sadly. Yep. Actually higher than 23 but i'm just gonna we break have down a problem a little bit uh all right levi you're going to be taking also seven points of force damage and then okay. the defender is going to attack uh does a 16 hit you nope then this does not hit, and that is its only attack. And that is going to be the plus end. 10? Excuse no, me? No, plus 9. Oh, 16. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wait, that's still high as fuck. This is gonna be fun. Alright, Ace, it is your turn. With the, out of curiosity, would this one have attack of opportunity? All of them. Even this one? Except for the Steel Defender. But, you know, they, they are all capable of it. Um, yeah, what I'm asking, can this one reach me? I would say right no, here? just because of the quote-unquote positioning. So if I'm right, if I did this, it wouldn't hit me. What, are you just moving to the right? So you haven't moved on my screen. Do you not see me with the thing? I can see other people. This? You don't see the arrow? I don't see the arrow right now. So I moved right here. Okay. You would take an with attack that... opportunity from the first homunculus, but not the other one. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Okay, good. All right, then, yeah, I have to go away, so. All right. Ooh, lucky you. It took out in that one? I got in that one. What does that mean? What will happen? I'm just gonna say that it breaks down and it has to basically spend a turn getting back up. Hey, cool. Okay. And then the one, uh, the other one, this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Go ahead and make the attack throw for it. A 13 does hit it. I'll then apply that. <laughs> so that is... That is a cold. Cryo bullets. I know you yep. said that. So that is 15 damage to it. Let's see. And cryo, 5 thunder. This homunculus goes... The homunculus essentially shuts down. Awesome. 
Okay. Then I reload with an ass bullet. Okay. Then that's it. And you. yep. All right, Ash. It is <laughs> your turn. I'm going to uh, summon Kronos and command it to move. Do we have Do a we have for Kronos or no? No, uh, I'll make okay. one in a second. Let's just say Kronos is right, right here where I'm about to ping right now. I'll make a shitty one, just like Carbon. Oh yes, please. Uh, and Kronos is going to ready its action to use its Anima Flare if it gets hit. Specifically, if something tries to attack it, it will just use its Anima Flare. Okay. And that's all. Time to design a beautiful, shitty chrome myself. I caught. Yeah, I'm also in the process of like looking for one. It's okay. I like my shitty drawings. <laughs> All right. I just have to draw them in MS Paint so I can turn them into tokens. Oh, I thought he could just take them off of this. Isn't that what he do with Carbuncle? Uh, there should be a way that I could possibly do that, but, um, I'd have to, like, look into it. I don't know if Carbuncle still has, like, the same image that it did. But still there. <laughs> In any event, so with that, uh, Kronos, you said he's gonna do his Anima Flare so that if he gets attacked, um, the effect will activate. Yeah, Kronos is just going to sit there and he's going to be ready to use it if something tries to hit him. Okay. Like, I don't want to just outright do it, but if something tries to hit him, he's just going to do it as like a reaction, basically. Okay. All right, Mr. Hawk, it is your turn. You okay. Oh, there you go. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm thinking. All right, what do we got out here? things okay i see things so those are levi's summons yeah nope these no. are nathaniel's summons okay uh what what are what is the current status of all of it um like what is it what is our health their health i know one, one of one of them is currently shut down <laughs> Um, okay. because he got hit. The other one is shut down because he critically failed. The steel defender has not been hit. Okay, and then this guy right here, this shadow dude? Yeah, shadow dude has not been hit. Okay, what what is his level and how much health does he have? I cannot tell you that. Poop, okay. Let me see what I've got up my butt. Like how much damage... Ass. Oh. How much damage does a balcony do? <laughs> oh. I will consider it a large uh, a, no, I'll consider it like a uh, like a large structure, and um, I can make it so that like when it falls on them that it does a specific damage. Okay, I'm yeah. thinking about my options here. So I've got. Nice turd stain on the floor, by the way, Tony. I'm just using that as a placeholder for right now. Oh, okay. I am going to... What kind of creature is this Shadow Demon thing? He is essentially an I, uh, aberration. Okay, does it have... So it does not have negative energy affinity? So, like, necrotic and wounds would hurt it? Or would healing hurt it? 
so to give a little bit of insight specifically on the way that this creature works is that this creature is of the pursuer class and pursuers have resistance to all damage okay so they but just that's... take half damage of everything okay have, so they have but no it, immunities it, okay so no okay so it's just standard like healing would still heal it then yeah okay but okay i am going to uh whoa uh 30 i'm going to move here mm. oh, oh my god. god oh no wait hold on one sec before i actually make that move let me come back <laughs> i have to check something <laughs> <laughs> Uh, da, 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 I'm a little confused now what you are. I thought you were a sorcerer. I am, but I also have He's the clear a, spell uh... list. Like I'm, I could do with 3d10 on this dude. Inflict wounds? Question mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I have to be in touch range, right? Mm-hmm. If I get in touch range, that could turn into the poop. And then who is this next yeah, to you? Is that that fucking purge stand. Uh, next to him is um, so we have <laughs> giant shadow creature, which is Michael, and then next to him is Nathaniel. Okay. Uh, fucking yeet. Hey, by the way, I'm gonna add something to your sheet for item wise. So, sorry, I'm just going to pull this sheet over real quick and I'll bring it right back. Um, these are healing salves, which heal 1d8 plus 2. You have three of them for long rest, essentially. Um... And you can use them as a reaction if your health hits zero. So that you don't end up, like, getting ejected. Okay. So, I got three things that I can use as a reaction. Yeah, three. You can use them normally as well, but um, okay. they're also able to be used as a reaction. Gotcha. I would recommend also putting, like, on the right side of your page, like underneath your hero points and all your background stuff, you see like other resources. Yeah. I would say putting one of those as the healing cells and just put like your total is three other than the number, because then at least it's an easier way to keep track of instead of like going into your fucking your bag basically and having to change the number each time. Well, I got it like right here. I can click it and then I can. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got what you're saying, though. Totally got it. Yeah. Okay. I am going to cast... Let me look at something on my spells. I know I have... Something for my cantrips. Got three slots. Okay. I'm going to do Inflict Wounds on Nathaniel. Okay. So that would just be a attack on him. And then if it lands, you deal 3d10. Yep. So 3d10. And it uses my charisma modifier. What do I click? Um, you can just click inflict wounds. And then if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't already roll the attack for it, then you can just roll a d20. Mm. And, and then on your spell list, it should tell you what your uh, spell attack is on, like, top right. You would just add that to whatever you roll on the uh, d20. Which I think is... If, what is your charisma bonus? Three. Three, so it should be a five, right? And my proficiency is five, yeah. I don't know why my wait, inflict wounds here wait, is wait, not your profici showing. Proficiency is what now? His profici like, with his proficiency, it would be oh, five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you'd be d20 plus 5 for the attack roll. Okay, so a d20 plus 5? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where... It already rolled the narcotic, which is 15, Yeah, it, right? it already <clears throat> rolled the damage, so you just have to roll the d20. 
Where did yeah. the damage roll out? I didn't I see it. Uh, you it's... see where it says 15 necrotic below the spell description? No. Why is that shrunk for me? Like if I hover I think over for, it? I think for you it's just not, uh, like it just it has, it has oh, it no, like no. simplified. Or it could be because he's on um, night mode and night mode which is the numbers out. Oh, that's, oh, that's exactly. a good point. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, night mode basically just removes the numbers. But if I, okay. I, I can still hover over to see like what it is. I did change my thing to light mode. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. It's so okay. dumb. Okay, so I rolled. I ended up rolling a fifteen, right? Or was it a no? You need to roll. That, that, that's you your need damage. to roll the d twenty to see yeah, if your attack okay. lands. So the d twenty plus five, right? Yes. So just roll one d twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Um. A and does not hit him. I have made a mistake, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Puts himself oh. right into enemy fire. Misses the attack. It's like, mistakes were made, boys. Boys were mistakes. I mean, I took my action. I don't have a... The only thing that you'd have left would be a bonus action. So uh, if there's a spell that you can cast as a bonus action that you would want to, you can. Hold on, let me like increase the size of my window for my guy real quick. I got I got something in here. Oh wait, shit. At the first level, if I fail a saving throw or miss with an attack roll, I can roll a 2d4 and add it to the total. Okay. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the use that. Range, I... So go ahead. So. Is that a feature that you can just use whenever or once per Yeah, long I can rest? use it once for a short or a long rest. It's, it's yeah, magic. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so just roll 2d4. Uh, that does make the AC to hit him. Yes! So he would take 15 necrotic damage. Oh, shit. That's actually... If this wording is right, this is actually kind of bad. All right. And then, uh, is there anything else that you have that you would cast? Maybe like a bonus action of any kind? I'm looking real quick. Uh... has a bonus action. Spells you. The what? What spells do you have? Uh, I'm looking at... I, I'm trying to see... If, uh... Hold on one second. Fuck. All right. This horrible abomination known as Kronos is finished. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you just getting heavy add, tools? I'm going to add one more clock. This thing's going to look like a fucking JoJo stand. <laughs> no, it's not that good. See them? What? I don't know. Some of Are you just looking at garbage. 5e tools? No, I'm looking at my character sheet. Because I have most stuff listed in here. I, w I was looking at my bite and how that functioned if I could have added it to the necrotic thing. Uh, but it just no, said, that one does not. That, um, um, that just has wanna... to be a melee attack. Just making sure if you know, so I'm not a, I don't know if do. Um, You only can have a certain amount of uh, spells known. Not as sorcerer. I was gonna say that's oh, oh, oh. not for all classes. I'm, yeah, I'm looking at a, sorcerer, sorcerer, but it, it definitely says known. I'm reading yes. it right now. So well, I think you're thinking of prepared. All the spells he knows, he can cast any of them. Whereas something like a wizard or other druids, they have to prepare spells. Sorcerers are just fucking privileged. Then how come? That's not the, the, the that's not the case, spells Joe. Known, spells though. known specifically is that those are his prepared. Like he knows these spells he can pull from any of the list but he only knows you know x amount so in this regard he only knows three spells and he only has three spell slots 
Well, I was talking about yeah. like, like, levels, though. Cause I no, I know. Cool. I can know four spells at this level. Like, I know that for a fact, but I only have three slots, and I can use sorcery uh, points to, you like... You can know four back. cantrips. Four cantrips, and then three and spells. Three but, spells. But Bane yes. comes from my chaotic alignment mm. as a divine soul. Okay. It's... That's... That's... That's the that's where the fourth one is coming from. I get that no matter what. Right. Got it. Okay. So I did a 15 damage whack. It's necrotic. Yeah, I that see that because you're chaos aligned. You just get pain. Yep. What else spells do you know? I have grease, inflict wounds, cure wounds, and then on my cantrips I have chill touch, message, guidance, and sword burst. <laughs> hey, Alec. Yes. Uh, so with the armor artificer, I turned my armor, like I changed my armor model. Um, I chose the infiltrator one, so it allows me to basically, oh my god, like <clears throat> shoot lightning out of <clears throat> a part of the Ow. armor. Um, I'm obviously just there's a roll hit to it, and it's only one d6 lightning damage. Um. Uh, but it's like once on each of your turns when you hit a creature with it, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to that target. Uh, not sure how that works, but what I read is basically to the DM's discretion of whether whether or not you want to make it an action or a bonus action to do it. You're talking about the lightning launcher, right? Yes. So... A gem-like node appears on one of your armor fists or on your chest. Counts as a simple ranged weapon with a normal range of 90, long range of 300. Deals 1d6 damage on hit. Once on each of your turns, when you hit a creature with it, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target. And it just says that. It's it's basically the same as fighter, so when you hit a creature, you can deal 1d6 lightning damage to it. I just want to mention, oh, okay. Sorcerer only knows one spell at level 1 that's a bonus action. What is that? So uh, there's your main actions, which essentially take most of the time. And then there you like essentially the way that it goes is you get one action, one bonus action. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a bonus action that I can. Yeah, it's use Expedious Retreat. That's a level yeah, one I, spell. That's yeah. the only one okay. that is bonus action and until I, and level I think two. It's Featherfall I can use as a reaction, but I don't have that. Note yeah. Yet. All right, Alec, it's prepared. Oh boy! Dude, I was just reading through the spells and realized, God damn, there's a lot of action spells. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I've exhausted. Yeah. What I can do. <laughs> okay. Unless you have something with your class in general that you can do as a bonus no. action. Did I not roll I... the shadow? I thought I did. I, just I thought realized it didn't have a turn. I thought it, the shadow was with uh, Nathaniel's. No, yeah. it's gonna have its own initiative. <laughs> okay. I. So, in this case, it would have gone right after, uh, technically before Zahak, but I'm going to have it go, like, after Zahak. Um, it is going to move right here. That is 20 feet from it right now, and then... Wait, did he hit him, by the way? The Nathaniel? Yeah, do you yes, hit Nathaniel? Did. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, do you hit him? So, this creature here is going to use its ability called Shadow Reach. And this is going to be targeting Ash. Ash has to make a dexterity saving throw, or be grabbed by the creature and pulled towards it. So, tentacle so. hentai, why? <laughs> uh, it's not necessarily tentacle hentai, he's kind of just reaching, like, his arm extends <clears throat> to grab you. <clears throat> Um, so he grabs you, Out he of pulls you back. Too. No. He grabs you, pulls you back. Um, make a strength 
saving throw to see if you can break free from it right away. But you'd still get pulled. You're, you're pulled nonetheless, but just make a strength save to see if you get out. Ooh. I hate you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. Just gonna... Can I at least have my Kronos oh, on the field? Can I just at least look at that beauty? Go ahead. Where is, did you send it to me? Or... I, I, I changed his picture. Would that work for you? Rest in That's peace. Alright. Oh, you know what? I know. I did. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's a bit big. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need to see when Steve required to see this. Oh my god. Why do I just I like think of like... His belly. You know, okay. I'm just it... thinking of the fucking mayor from the for Christmas. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I was thinking of like just the size of it. Like, uh, I the uh, size of a Kribo. From Yu-Gi-Oh. Isn't there like a time wizard in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, there is. Yeah, there is a time there's wizard. There's a time one? <laughs> <What's it? laughs> yes, there is a card called Time Wizard, which is literally oh. just a clock. No, I make a, a Kribo. I no. thought that's what he was meaning. No. There's you basically not, there made Time a Wizard. <laughs> At that first, I was like, I, I kind of want to just make his face the clock. And then I was like, what if I make him look retarded? <laughs> so you just made Time Wizard. <laughs> oh, I gotta look at this. In any event, um, yeah, Kronos is on there. I didn't realize that you put it on the actual character like sheet, and I didn't even think about the fact that I had to pull the character sheet up. Um, yeah, so he grabs you. Um, take 12 points of oh, that's necrotic right. damage. I forgot about Time Wizard. Yeah, so take... Yeah, so take 12 points, and then, um... He's not close enough to hitting Guile, so... He's just gonna basically just be holding on to you, and then that's going to be it for his turn. Uh, at this point, Levi, it is your turn. Hey. Oh, wait, do we... So how are we willing the... After you hit a creature, you deal an additional 1d6 lightning one time. Okay, cool. It, it says as Got it, it is. is. Uh, what was it? It's right. Fuck these hoes. They, all the things around me have to make a DC 10 constitution saving throw. Is that actually your spell save DC? Wouldn't uh, it be your Actually, it's 11. Okay, so they have to make an 11. But I don't know why it doesn't want to change it. Even on You have like, to set yeah. it, I think, to specifically spell so that it takes it as your spell save or instead of, like, whatever the proper spell save is. Because, like, yeah, it says constitution save. But, um, like, normally if you set it to, like, if you set it to just a normal spell save, then it goes off of your proper spell save with your modifiers. Um, okay, so all three of them have to make the save? Yes. Alright. We will start with the homunculuses. I'm gonna do 2d20s for them. Um, both of those pass just the base roll. Let me check and see though. Yep, they don't have any negative modifiers, so that's fine. And then for this one... It's going to make its roll. And yeah, that passes. So they all both take two, or all of them take two damage. Alright. <laughs> I will say Good this roll. one gets destroyed because it was already at zero and oh my God, got that's hit a big again. Ass X. Yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> That's yeah, Joe, what the fuck is going on with your I, thing? I, no, I was clicking show spell description and it just didn't work. It's because, you, oh, it's oh, because yeah. you don't have the spell description on your thing. So whenever oh. you click it, 
It's essentially just clicking on what the macro would be. But you uh, don't have a macro for it. So it doesn't do anything. Um, this one takes two damage, and this one takes two damage. What if Zach? Put it pop it up. With Zach clicks Ooh. it, it should only show up for him. Ah. Because we're not the ones mm. clicking show spell description. He is. Yeah. That's why it shows specifically when Joe does it, his name, and then the macro for it. Uh, is there anything else to do with your turn, Zach? It's just counting as a hit for. <laughs> I don't think it would, but, uh... No, because no, it's not an attack. It. Yeah. So that's about it. That's all I got. Alright. Mashiva, it is your turn. I'm going to attack the uh, Pursuer. Okay. Okay. Fortune is not hit, is it? No. I'm going to use my action surge. Okay. That her tag one more time. 21 does hit it. Okay, and I'm gonna do um, a butler's plea, and I'm gonna ha I'm gonna ask Zahak to move away from Nathaniel without taking an attack opportunity. Without taking an attack of opportunity, can I move up to my maximum distance? Up to up to half your speed. Okay, up to half. Okay, so yeah. I'm through. Oh God, where's my guy going? I don't intend to move here. One second. And then the the pursuer takes will take probably five because that because we're down to ten. Spell names. So I can move. Why is it doing that? Okay. What are you talking I about? I can now? move. I can't see spell names. What do you mean? Like, like Joe's thing, it doesn't have a spell name for. It's at the very bottom. I was gonna say at the very bottom it says. So it's just plate. that. Yeah. Okay, so I can move cool. seventeen and a half feet away. So I got thirty-five. There you go. And he. And can't provoke attack of opportunity? Nope. It says at the very bottom does not provoke attack of opportunity. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Guile. <laughs> I guess why I need it and inflict, <laughs> inflict wounds and just... <laughs> That's why I took that. That's a very strong that's attack. A, no, that's a good, that's a good, that's a really good spell. An attack. That's like legit, like that saved my ass. I didn't even know you had that. I was like, I might fucking die here with my 10 hit points, guys. But maybe Nathaniel will go with me. I'm taking his chair. Um, That's my turn. Okay. Nathaniel's turn. He is uh, still controlling the, um, the other homunculus. This homunculus is going to basically just be spending its turn getting back on working condition. The Steel Defender is going to make an attack. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. So you'll be taking... twenty-eight. So you'll be taking 6 damage. Levi. <laughs> yep. All right. And then the Steel Defender is going to end its turn there. Yep. And then Nathaniel is... Uh, he's he's focusing on the homunculuses, so he's not going to be spending his turns just yet. Ace, your turn. Okay. Um, I yell over to Levi. Do you need my help take care of those things? No. You can go ahead and uh, whittle those two down for me. He meant he meant these, right? Yes. Okay, oh, there's two I, there. Well, you asked if I needed help with them, but I literally just said no. I know, but I need. Help. And then you said, "The whittle down for you," and I'm like, "Uh, yeah, you could go whittle down the other two for me." I guess I don't do shitty damn. Um, honestly, 
from my knowledge, I think I'd rather kill the pursuer. Okay, so you're gonna make an attack on the pursuer? Yeah. 21 does hit it. And it is a acid bullet. Okay. So he is going to be making a dexterity saving throw to determine if he can basically just keep the, uh, well, I'll do it anyways, but he does have natural armor, so it wouldn't really degrade him. Yeah. Because he's not wearing armor, but I'll do yeah. it nonetheless. I kind of um, already loaded the bullets, so. Yeah, so it's a 12. Um... What is your spell save DC? Uh, well, um, hmm. Just say at the top. So you use intelligence, right? Oh, yes. But when I go to my spells, I, I spells to, spell save DC zero. Um, so it's base ten plus your uh, exactly. intelligence modifier and your right here. There you go. Oh, how'd you do that? You didn't change your spellcasting oh. ability. Oh. Wait, so it's your also spell save is 13. Yeah, well, plus your yes. Why does 13 as well? What the fuck? Yeah. Well, That's they both, bad. they both, <laughs> the, the, even if yours was 13, they rolled base 13, well, yeah, yeah. so they, they still would have succeeded, but. Okay. Yes, 12, 13. But... Okay. Nine, like... Yeah, so with the 12. He wouldn't have succeeded on it, um, but because he's not wearing any armor, his AC doesn't really degrade. Okay. Then I'm going to just reload a. I would say, what what is light? Do we say what lining does? Um. I would think maybe that it just imposes a disadvantage on the attack. I can't rule that it would stun the creature. Okay. Uh, I will just put in... I'll just put in... I'll put in a fire bullet. Okay. And I will look up some stuff to see if what some stuff does for lightning, just to see, like, maybe we could think of an effect for that. Okay, go ahead. As far Fair as it goes, uh, I don't really <clears throat> think many lightning spells have any actual effect, aside from just dealing the lightning damage. Yeah, I'm gonna just see. Yeah. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Ash, it is your turn. I'm going to command Kronos to move right here and cast Anima Flare from it. Okay. Uh, all creatures within 10 feet of Kronos need to make a saving throw of intelligence, and my spell save is 13. Okay. Otherwise, they're petrified. Gotcha. I'm going to go back here to the piss. Until the end of their next turn. Okay. Uh, intelligence save from Nathaniel. Not with advantage, Ooh. but just base roll. Um, first one is 20. And then for the soul, it's going to God damn, it. that's a plus nine. He's, He's smart boy. <laughs> smart boy. And then the intelligence save from the manipulator. Uh, seven. Perfect. It is petrified until the end of its next turn. Which one's the that the, the shadow guy? Yeah. Ha! He's petrified. Fuck him. Incapacitated. Can't speak. Transformed along with any non magical object it is wearing or carrying. Can I'll it even make it, any... I'll say that it drops you then, so that you don't get petrified too. Yeah. Uh, attack rolls it... against it have advantage. Creature automatically fills strength or deck saves. Creature has yes. resistance to all damage. And creature is immune to poison and disease, although poison and disease already in it is not neutralized. Okay, I'm then going to uh, make some distance. 
How far did I move, Kronos? Like, what, five feet? I think so, yeah. Okay, so I should still be able to move plenty. <laughs> Probably move this way, though. And it can't attack of opportunity because petrified, obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can't take actions. I think I can move that far. Let me check. Yeah, I'm good. All right, that's it. That is all I got. Okay. I was hoping that it wouldn't fucking run at me, but uh, here we are. Yeah. All right. So it is incapacitated. Uh, does it say how long it's petrified? Next turn. So next it turn. can't next do anything okay. until next turn. All right, Mr. Hack, it is your turn. Okay. I am going to cast Bane on, I think, for me to... Just a quick thing. Petrified, they can't take any damage, yeah, until the next They're turn. They're resistant to it all. Okay, that's what I, I just wanted to clarify. But then it, it, it's just, it did got you its turn, though, and it ended it, so I think it's not Petrified anymore, right? Oh, true. Yeah, it's not Petrified anymore. You're right. So you did that the perfect fucking time. Yeah. Um, okay, I've actually got some bad news. So, oh. actually, the spell save DC, it's it's actually 8. Oh, 8? Oh, okay. Plus, yeah. So eight that 11 plus was correct. Plus intelligence. Plus, yeah. Yeah. That was 10. My bad. No. Oh, not always right about things. Okay. I am going to cast... I think... Uh, I'm not trying to move my guy from the little cross here, but... I just need to check. Okay, that's 30. He's too far. Okay. I have to yeah, reload roll 20, so. <laughs> Being a bit of a bitch. Okay, I'm going to cast. So the bad guys that we have here, I've got Nathaniel and the Shadow Dude. Close to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then is there anybody else close to me? Is it just Nathaniel and the Shadow Dude? Enemy wise, yes, just those two. Yeah, the I'm gonna cast. Are, you know, farther away. Okay, I'm going to cast Bane on those two. And they need to do a charisma saving throw. Okay, so they make charisma saves, and then if they're afflicted, they suffer from having a d4 subtracted from their attack and saving throws that's correct and it lasts for a minute so i don't know how you're translating minutes but uh, the way that combat translates is the same time just one round is six seconds okay so if they fail yep. these then so 10 rounds yeah okay mm. i nice He's freaked out god damn it so soul manipulator got a four. Nathaniel got a twenty-two. Okay, so Nathaniel's good. Soul manipulator, oh. not so much. Not so much. Okay. I dropped my spell slot as well, and then I think as a bonus action, I do have one. I'm pretty sure. Let me look at something real quick. Um. Where is it at? Here we go. Okay. Um. I am going to... What is the... Joe, do you remember what the sorcery point map is? Is it two for one spell slot? Um... Oh, fuck. It has been a minute. Let me look at that. What's the, uh, what's the effect uh, that you would be using for that? The, 
the bonus uh or first level t it's two second is third third is five fourth is six fifth is seventh so you need two for a first level spot okay i'm gonna use my two sorcery points as a bonus action to restore a spell slot so i don't have meta magic at this point so boop there's my bonus action and it just happens i didn't wait. yeah and then I am going to move. Uh, how tall are the walls in this room? They are not actually there. There are no walls. Oh, okay. We're just in a space platform. Yep. Estelle? But no. is there an underside of the platform? There is. And there's a side of the platform. That refresh. Yeah. Can I line oh, no. of sight them? Uh, if you want to stand on the side of it, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm going to line of sight them. Don't jump. <laughs> I'm standing on the side of the platform, line of sighting. That that means that it also is. Yeah. Is line of sight a thing in this? Are we going to do that? Yeah, line of sight is a thing. Okay. And then that's it for you, right? Yep. All right, Levi, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna smack this ugly ass dog in front of me. Okay. Uh, twenty does hit it. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the extra. The what the. Wait, 1d6. Okay. It's going to make a strength save. Is it a strength save? For the head, yeah. Remember? Oh! I was thinking of the lightning launcher. I was like, wait. Yeah, gotcha. No. So, uh, with a 15, yeah, it succeeds. So it doesn't take the piercing damage, but it will take the bludgeoning damage. And then it takes the additional lightning damage. So it takes 15. An action, that's an action. You fucking whore. Those are actions. Fox. Okay. That will be my turn. Okay. Mashiva, it is your turn. Okay. So I'm going to move while well, staying 10 feet away from it to here Cancel. and I'm going to attack the pursuer once again oh no where's oh, we gotta do this way fuck here uh courtesy to do boundary oof and does not hit it unfortunate and uh yeah that's my turn all right nathaniel's turn the construct no uh, well, the homunculus servant that is active now is going to make an attack against levi uh yeah 22 hits you right yep all right so you'll be taking 1d4 So you'll be taking 12 points of damage And then steel defender attacks Um a 14 does not hit you Nope. All right. Thank fucking God, by the way. Um, Steel Defender is going to... Well, Nathaniel, as his bonus action, is going to let the Steel Defender use its repair action. So it can heal for 2d8. So it heals for 15. 
Uh oh. I'm gonna start kicking dead babies. <laughs> Not the dead babas. And then, um, Ace, it is your turn. Um. So I just wanna say I thought about something. I was looking at some stuff, and I saw something for the for lightning damage, but it something like causing it to lose reaction. Okay. So they basically can't make a reaction until their next. Yeah, they so lose would their that, reaction. Would that make where they can't make attack of opportunities? That's then? the point of a reaction. Yes. Okay, yep. that's what yep. I thought. Uh, or. It was either that, or they lose, or they have disadvantage on all dexterity, or not dexterity, but just saving throws. Yeah, but they got, of course, got to make the save on it if they can. That was a possibility. Or I can do an arc where it can jump to other creatures. Kind of no, like, it's not uh, going to jump to other creatures. I'm going to say that. that right that's now. what it's. It's I purely, was... it's purely single target damage. So you can, yeah. you can afflict the status to the one creature and the one creature only. So I think would the reaction one be fine then? Would they lose the reaction? The reaction or the disadvantage to saving throws you pick. Uh, they also, the, which the the shadow guy and Nathaniel still both have a disadvantage with a D four, right? They have a subtraction of D four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I like the and getting rid of the, the reaction. Has it? I think I like getting rid of the reaction. Honestly, I think that sounds good with like. Lightning, okay, kind of paralyzes them a bit. Right. Kind of like the idea of it. Okay. Um. The yeah, nerve shock. Yeah, but. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna smack the shit out of that big boy again. I think you guys got him. Unless I don't know. Am I seeing that uh, Levi needs help? You could like, shoot the fucker controlling them. That would be nice too. Yeah, that's why I did that big old nuke on him in the beginning. <laughs> like, I mean, here, here's my thing. Here's my. This is just out of player. I'm not like my reasoning of attacking this is that we kill him, it should end all this, and we leave. But this thing's still alive. But we get more points if we kill this thing. <laughs> so Ace is in it for the points. Oh. That's so my, that's my player theory. So not, basically, not, instead of shooting the open target standing out in the middle of fucking butt fuck nowhere by all, him fucking me. self, you're gonna shoot, try to shoot through him and Guile and Kronos to hit the fucking shadow creature. No, because he's super big. The shadow but creature is considered I'm saying, large. The logic. I'm just okay. saying do, the logic. Do we, do we know? I don't think the logic because it's large. Do we know if the shadow creature has been summoned by Nathaniel or is that nope. not? No, no, it hasn't. Okay. It's cool. Just go for the fucking shadow creature. Hey, I, I mean, it is. Bane. I'm trying to do both at the same time, Zach. So. You're fine, Guile. I'm talking about the man that is literally staring down Nathaniel. Is that watching him you? control these fucking puppet fucks. It's, okay. Like I said again, <laughs> it's like. <sighs> Sorry, Zach. Was that the end of his turn? No, I haven't even done anything. Oh, I had to get up, so I thought you did yeah, something yeah, to me and everyone. Ace, Ace hasn't taken an attack yet. Um, I only have one attack all attack. Here, I'll do this, because actually I think this is fine. If I can apply it, tick. So if I'm right, I did a fire bullet. I want to apply a tick to him, so I'll shoot him. Okay. Yeah, 24 is going to hit him. Damn, almost. It was 19. Ugh. So he does that, and then he's going to make a dexterity save to determine if he takes the tick. I think I just rolled on the wrong sheet. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was like, I clicked on it. Nothing's going on. There we are. Yeah, now he's going to start oh. taking the tick damage. He'll be taking 1d4 of the fire damage at the start of his turn. Okay. It's technically, in a negative, I mean, you still have to no. roll. I mean, he's taking it, but... No, Nathaniel doesn't have the affliction. Oh, God, I thought it was a Only shadow. Only the guy. shadow creature has it. I was so focused Wait. on the fact that... 
What? No, I was talking Nathaniel. And that's what I mean. Nathaniel yeah, no, going I to take you were... damage. The shadow creature is the only one afflicted by the bane. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were still fixated on the shadow creature. No, I'm gonna. I wanted to apply a tick to him. That which helps, and then I'm gonna search him again. Gotcha, gotcha. So he'll take the 15 damage, and then at the neck, at the start of his turn, um, he'll be taking another D4 damage. It might be better if we killed that anyways. Uh, you load your bullet, right? Yes, that's. I do need to do that. Okay. Ash, it is your turn. Chronos is once again casting Anima Flare. Okay. So they both have to make a con save? Or intelligence save? Intel. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so here's Nathaniel's intelligence save. Uh, does a 14 succeed? By one. Alright. Matriarch. Uh, a six does not succeed. So how much damage does it take? It's just petrified. Oh, that's right. Okay. And I'm going to drink... Uh, a spell save, or a potion of spell recovery, so that's 1d6. 1d4. 1d4? Yeah. I thought I yeah. bought one that was 1d6, but I... No, 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 the basic ones are always 1d4. Alright, I have my two spell slots back. Pog. Pog. And I am once again repositioning. Mm-hmm. I didn't even measure that out, but I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, it's a hack. It is your turn. Okay. I am going to move to right here. And then I am going to, do I have a square? Will it show me how big? I need to see something. Well, I want it to show me how big 10 feet is. I don't mean to be drawing bullshit. <laughs> you can just, like, wherever the ruler is, you can just, like, 10 feet is essentially three of the squares. Uh, quick question. How badly injured is Levi? 5 HP. You have salves, uh, don't you? Yeah. Okay, and I have making... spell slots and healing shit. But... I'm checking for carbuncle reasons because I don't really want to swap to the useless rat if I don't have. <laughs> oh no, I get you. What does what does Kronos do, by the way? Besides the anima flare, oh. a not... lot of buffing and debuffing. But at this level, all I can do is petrify. I so about three by three is a ten foot square. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. yeah. So I am going to cast Grease right here. Okay. No. And then I believe he has to make a save for it, right? A dexterity save. Uh, yeah, DC 13. Okay. Good job. 14. Fuck. Wait, um, who he, who's he casting Grease on? Nathaniel. Right yeah. Nathaniel. Oh, no. Wait, did you do a negative four to its roll? Because it's got... That's not Nathaniel. God, I keep forgetting. Um, here, you know, I don't know. What, uh, what, how do I get rid of the things that I'm drawing? I put too many down. I can get rid of them, don't worry. Okay. They're really finicky when you're like clicking them.
And then is that it for your turn? Um, yep. Okay. Uh, Levi, it is your turn. Fuck that stupid dog piece of shit. We're hitting this fucking dope cunt. The the dog? No, come on. You, no, no, no. This little one. Well, you're about to say fuck the dog more. Um, he's going to use his reaction to impose disadvantage on you for attacking a creature that is not him. That dog can be a dick. This stupid Seriously. I'm about to go start fucking kicking mechanical fucking dead puppies. <laughs> you know you'll kick Trixie the flipping dog? <laughs> I'm about to start doing it. Uh, no. <sighs> I'm <not> really <laughs> gonna start fucking kicking puppies. No, no. Look at that damage. You know, at least it's not a zombie who gets back up again. <laughs> no, even worse, it fucking heals itself for all the fucking damage I dealt to it. You might get one of those too. I actually don't know if you get one of those. No, he doesn't. Hmm. He's not that specific artificer. Hmm. The battlesmith is the one that gets the steel defender. I see. I think I can make one of the homunculuses though. Homunculus is an infusion. So I technically could. Yes. But that would be sacrificing the one AC that I give to Ash. <laughs> Not the thrown weapon, the one AC. <laughs> oh hell no, that's never the thrown weapon is never going away. You kidding me? Ashes Ash is just saying it's like man, this one AC is feeling so good. A moment later, gone. Where'd it go? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> I feel so naked without my one AC. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody without a like, like somebody without a weapon is just like how am I supposed to do this with? Or like, uh, I, I, I guess in this case, like for people of today's generation, it's like freaking um, like their cell phones. It's like, I feel so naked without my cell phone. Wait, actually, I can know that. Yeah. Oh no, I can know it, but I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You I wouldn't be able to it, use it. I can only use, use two. That's have, right. You can yeah. Have four infusions, but you can only use two. Uh, that's it for your turn, right? Uh, yes. All right. I didn't fucking hit the stupid whore because it's fucking goddamn cocksucking piece of shit. <laughs> uh, Mashiba, it is your turn. Once again, going to hit the pursuer. Okay. Thirteen does not hit it. Why am I rolling so low? Pressing. Um. Canada can't do anything. Okay. Nathaniel's turn. He's going to start by casting the mirror image spell. Oh, that bitch. Uh, he's also going to take 1d6 damage now because of grease. Wait. <laughs> he, yeah, he, he did the you did the save. Did he fail the next save because he ended his turn in the grease? He hasn't ended his turn yet. This is the start of his turn. But I think he's on. Is he on? The, wait, does the the dot do one d six? No, the dot does one d four. Grease oh, he's flammable. In the... Oh, that's what that's what I was thinking. So yeah, it's right doing one d six. Oh no. Oh. Uh, if I'm correct, grease counts as difficult terrain. Yes. 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 Let's see, when the grease appears, creature standing in it makes a deck save, falls prone. Creature that enters the area or ends its turn there must also succeed on a deck save, and it turns into difficult terrain. Okay. He is going to then use his movement to move himself. Right. Here, and I'm going to use my attack opportunity on that bitch because I made sure to be ten feet between both of them. Go ahead. 
All right, let me just go ahead and check something because an 18 would hit him. But because he casted Mirror Image. Do, 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 do. All right, rolling a d20. Nope, that does hit him. So it hit him? Yeah, you, you hit him. So I'm just checking. And then. Because fuck that bullshit. Would that 18, by the way, hit the. That um, hit the pursuer. I am on you sweeping then. So he takes. This pursuer takes a six. Okay. So. Takes that damage. And then he takes the 10. Moves to that position. Monculus Servant is going to attack. That's going to hit. That is 12 damage. Cool, I'm using a sal. Fuck, it's a d4 plus 2, right? You keep forgetting. It's a D8 plus oh, two. Oh, one D8 plus two. Cool. Excel. Defender attacks. Oh. 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 Um. Eleven damage. Wow, do south again? Cool, I'm using another one. <sighs> That's six again. Um, Alex, let thanks. me see what. I feel like you're about to say uh, like something to. The only words that I could possibly say is I said we. You're not uh, sorry. <laughs> Cause it's not really your fault. <laughs> I'm just sorry that it's happening to you. I know. Zach, are you saying it's my fault? No. Oh, okay. It's the rules' faults. Oh. <laughs> sorry. And the fact that these motherfuckers have a plus nine to fucking hit, by the way. I have offered to help. They have a plus fucking nine to hit, and one of them can he fucking heal itself. I'm glad one? they're at least doing part of the job that I wanted them to. Mate, can't can you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Zach got them off of me. <laughs> oh, Zach didn't of get off. them off of you. One Zach of was the target entirely from the start. I mean, that one hit me. Yeah, because that one was next to you. Yeah, it didn't chase me. No, as far as oh, it goes, they're just they're they're just chase. there to distract. Um. All right. So that's going to be the end of Nathaniel's turn. That and help after after Zahak's oh. turn, that's when a environment yeah. effect is going to happen. So in the meantime. Ace, it is your turn. All right. Um, how wounded does he look? Who? Nathaniel. Hurt. How wounded does this look? Not so hurt. I really want to. I feel like in my own thing. Oh, you know what? Um, let, me make, let me make a deck save for Nathaniel. I feel like it's better if we kill this. That's just my own view on it. Nope, still on fire. Oh, did he take the damage? Did you forget to do the damage for the fire? No, I did the damage for the fire. Oh, okay. I did the You're deck save to see if he got rid of the fire. 
Got it. Make ground someday. <laughs> Just made with healing potions. <laughs> Just shoot people with healing potions. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um, you don't have healing rounds. Uh, would I be able to make that one day? Possibly. Awesome. As if you managed to build it. Sick. Okay. Um, Artificers are not limited to their options. I know. Oh my god. What have I done? Wait. Something happened. Some reason why it's more pertain to his crystals. I mean, no, I have my crystals back, but I can also make other rounds like arrows, like how arrows are. I can make those type of rounds as well. Or you can make a trank. I'm gonna say trank laser and healing potion. <laughs> yeah, like, well, isn't I, just... well, I thought you were pertaining just to your crystals. That's why uh, my crystals give me more, I think, aspects to it. Because I would think just a fire arrow, I don't fire arrow would fly burn. Uh, I don't know though. I mean, what would you think a fire arrow or a fire bullet would do then? Like, if it doesn't apply burn to the target, oh, I don't what know. What else would fire really do? I know that. But the uh, another idea with the crystals is, is when I get better ones, they can do more damage, unlike other arrows. That's the point. They will do more damage. Yeah. Um. All right. So this is a regular bullet, by the way. Mm -hmm. On which target? Uh. During the whole battle. Harley wasn't fully. What am I? Am I seeing everyone just attack Nathaniel? It's a mix. It's a mix? Mix. Okay. People are attacking Nathaniel. People are attacking the shadows. Levi's attacking the constructs. Well, that one I understand. I just met everyone. <laughs> All of those people. All of these people. That one's pretty clear. <laughs> the one that's currently not being hit for damage every fucking round. <laughs> Um. All right. I. Odd. Really debating. I want to think if we kill the shadow thing, it could also change the world back. But we have no knowledge of it. Can I roll like an investigation or insight to you can see only like roll an insight to determine things that you don't already know? I, I can roll an insight. Yes. I'm just stating that you can only roll insight to determine things you don't okay. already know. Uh, with a 12, you don't know clearly what would happen if Michael or Nathaniel died first. As far um, as it goes, you've only dealt with one supposed lord. Yeah. And the lord was supposedly by himself. Yeah. I guess I'll just take a shot at the shadow. Oof. That is going to be a miss. First. Damn. Okay. Then I'm going to reload with another fire bullet. And that is my turn. Okay. Ash, it is your turn. Right. Let me just measure this really quick. Okay, I'm still good. Um, Kronos is just going to move to the side a little bit. And that is still... Actually, does Kronos even need the move? It's right here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Kronos doesn't need to move. I am once again casting Anima Flare. Okay, so they both make intelligence saves. Yeah. 
Please fail it for once, Nathan. This is the matriarch. And matriarch's petrified. Or soul manipulator. And then for Nathaniel. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ash is going to. Let me check this really quick. Okay, so I'm fine no matter what. Uh, move. I'm going to move right here. That's it. Zach, it is your turn. Okay. I... What is the damage looking like on our boys over here? Oh, uh, you mean friendlies or enemies? Uh, friendlies. What are we looking at over here? That's for the answer. I'm full. You're full? Okay, what about you, Levi? 6 HP. Damn, and you're all the way over there. Uh, Ash? Tyler, how are you guys? I'm 12 HP. Out of what? Huh? Out of what? Uh -oh. oh, out of 21. And then Ash? Um, well, Levi is six out of thirty. I mean, you can you can move. You could like. Well, I have cure wounds, but it's touch range, which is oh, yeah. and, five uh, feet, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, you just have to and, be within five feet of the person. Yeah, Tyler, I could move and take two fucking attacks of opportunity. Cure wounds what, is an action for you. What do you it? mean? I didn't say anything. You said I could move. I, I was talking to him. Oh, well, still, he wouldn't be able to make it. Yeah, Cure Wounds oh, is would. an action, but it's touch range. Oh, it's an action. Yeah, so yeah. if you try to take, like, the dash action, unless you right. can take it as a bonus action, you it would take your normal action. Then Ash, you were how much? Uh, as far as it goes, AFK. Ash has taken 12 damage, as far as I know. I'm trying to say this shit again, okay. So, within five feet. I think that's about five feet, right? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm going to cast Gear Wounds on Ash. Thirteen. Uh, it's actually only ten, just because yeah, sure. Cure Wounds isn't an attack. You just touch them and they heal for 1d8 plus your spellcasting. Uh, it, no, doesn't, my, it, doesn't no, need to, it doesn't need to make an attack roll is what I mean. It no, just, it's uh, it's what I did that because it's 1d8 plus my spellcasting modifier. Yeah, and it already takes your spellcasting modifier into the first uh, number. You roll that, a 7, you have a plus that 3. 10 is from your 1d8 oh. plus 3. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just 10. Yeah. So I'll mark it on here for when he comes back. <laughs> um, but that does end it for you, right? Yep. Okay. Levi, it is your turn. So cast gear wounds. All right. You heal for nine. So that's all I got. Okay. Shiva, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, God. Oops, hold on. Black, black. I just thought about something. Let me double check something. Oop. And then... Okay. Yep, that's a mistake okay. that I did not remember. Yeah, okay. I'm moving here. Let's see, what is the range? Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna hit the. Um. The are you? Where are you moving from? Oh, I, I moved from. Look right here. Right here. I moved there. 
Okay. And I went around the grease, and I do get a tag arm from you the You went around the grease? Yeah, so I went from here, still right? still 30 feet? Yeah, like this. Yep. Oh. To there. And then uh, to about there. Ah, fuck. Okay, so you went that way. I went that way, and like I said, I get a tag arm from Nathaniel. Yep. Mm, this is not something that you actually want, by the way. So, he is going to do so, and, uh... Oh god, he has Warcaster, my cry. No, it's not Warcaster, don't worry. It's, trust me, it would really hurt if he did. Um... A... 15? That does hit me. Okay. Then you'll just be taking. Let me double check his thing to make sure if he has anything for if he hits. Alright, does not say that he adds any additional damage. I'm scared of what this man's hitting me with. And not to worry, it's not absolutely terrible. Yeah, take 10 d4 damage. Casually. This man doesn't have to fucking disintegrate. I, I swear to God. Is there no. anything he could use unless he has Warcaster? Nah, he's he's just attacking you normally. I'm just double checking to make sure that there's not like an attack thing. Because I have all the stuff in here. Just making sure that I'm not like missing anything specifically. Yeah, no, no additional damages, so you'll just be taking... six points of damage. That ain't bad. Or, I think, actually, no, five points of damage, not six, five. Okay. I'm in a good spot still. Okay, and I'm going to hit the homunculus. Okay. Fourteen hit it. Uh... You're disadvantaged because of the dog using its reaction. Hey, Josie, why I want to go fucking kick puppies? Is a 12 hit it? 12 does not hit it. Want to join me in the pub kicking, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> this can is the mechanical puppy kicking. Hmm. Also, are our characters, like, able to tell that we are kind of missing because of the dog? Uh, like, yeah. Essentially, like, okay. the dog is, like, letting out a bark where he's, like, but he's, like, butting into you, essentially. To, like, yeah. knock you off. Just wanted to make sure. Let's see. Okay. My turn. Okay. Fucking dog can be scrapped. <laughs> oh come on guys, the dog ain't that bad. I will be taking a piss on its fucking grave and stomping it out before <laughs> I leave this place. Oof. A little harsh. It's just a puppy. No, that is that is nothing compared to when I was running to Melenia in Elden Break. Joe <laughs> and Steven can tell you. That was bad. <laughs> Melenia? No, no, just when I was running to get to her. The fucking oh, first dude. little, like, the hilly tree. The whole getting to her, the the roots, the beginning of it, all of it before her makes you in a yeah. bad mood. It puts you in a bad mood. No, it, I, it's you remember what I was constantly yeah. saying? No, no, remember when I was, I was totally constantly saying I wanted to kick fucking babies? And I was just like, constantly like that shit? That's what I'm talking about. That's where I was at. I was running through that shit. And that is nothing compared to what I want to do to this fucking dog. That is like that. ten times worse than what I'm planning on doing to this fucking dog when it is dead. I found that area very fine. I hated the boss. Well, yeah, so, so it was interesting. Like, I died probably 180 times. <laughs> Like, it was bad. I was just, just getting through all this stupid fucking branch. Oh, yeah. Like, just know. running there, I died a hundred times. 
like falling off shit, rushing through shit, falling, getting hit by dumb shit, like all the stuff, and then getting to the place. And like I thoroughly explored the whole area and collect collected everything right so going down down to the bottom area and all of those revenant guys that spawn and teleport and get all hand slappy centipede bullshit with you they're fucking screaming at me killing me then i run up this other place oh wow there's ballistas up there that's fucking cute oh there's crystallians over here too that's fucking cute oh what's this little pond area over here cool there's an unfettered tree spirit there too that's fucking cool then there's these pest guys that's fucking cool all the shit that's terrible in the game is in there but stronger and then you get to millennia which is the worst boss in the game. By far. But after all that bullshit, I woke up in the morning. I beat her ass so bad in both phases, she never got to stand up. Other than the animation of almost getting there. I bodied her to fucking oblivion. Yeah. Also, the boss in the Haluk tree was easy as fuck, though. And then Loretta, I beat the shit Loretta, out of her. Yeah, yeah, same. Nice. Good job about this after. Yeah, I understand. Um, yep, so with that, it is now Nathaniel's turn. Monkula's Servant is going to attack Levi. Um, take... Seven points of damage. Steel Defender is going to attack Mashiva. Ooh. Mashiva, you can have an attack or opportunity on the Defender. Okay, yeah, I'll do it. I'll give you advantage because it critically failed. Oh, thank God. Oh! There you Ooh. go. And, uh, I want to say fuck this goddamn dog. I'm using. You a can't butt use anything else. Oh, really? Because you have to use your other... Like, you have to basically, like, constantly... You have to... How does spending your points work? I'm using my... My uh, Lily die? Um... It just use it. It doesn't have specify, specify. It doesn't specify bonus action or anything like that? Nope. It just... It, it, it's... It's okay. kind of like Smite. It's, it's no, no, like Smite. No, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna use a butler's plea. Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna use sweeping. So I'm gonna hit the, the fucking homunculus of it. So I'm gonna roll a d8. It takes one. Okay. So yeah. the dog takes seven, and the homunculus takes one. And that is my turn. Let's see, Nathaniel is going to move over here. And then with his bonus action, he's going to cast Magic Stone and create three little circle three little stones in front of him. Ace, it is your turn. He needs to burn. That's true. And dex and he's gotta do this. So let's see, he takes that and then his save. Alright, he basically he just starts brushing off all the cinders, he gets it gets it off of him. Yeah. Fading he takes one as well then to that by that that one. That's I'm gonna... I already took the one damage off him. No, no, no. I said, I said it's fitting. Oh, okay. Because like it, was, it makes it seem like there's like tiny little centers on him. That's all's left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he, yeah, he just brushed it. I, I guess it's just me. Why isn't this thing moved at all? Petrified. <laughs> it's, oh. been it's been chain CC'd. <laughs> so can it even take damage? Yeah, it can take damage. It's just oh. halved because it's resistant to all damage as petrified, but it's also resistant to all damage anyways. Okay. Oh, yeah. But it's not petrified because the funny thing is Ash. Turn. Yeah, yeah, Ash is right before it, so it's like the perfect time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hit it then, and I did use a fire. Oh wait, can it even be burned? Yeah, 
Can it be burned even though it's petrified? I can answer that question for you. Damn it. Okay. It's can not I make petrified, a roll? by the way. Like it's been, oh, it's not. It's been constantly being petrified, but it ends at the end of its turn. Oh. So essentially, when it goes, like Ash petrifies it, uh, you know, soul possessor, uh, like soul manipulator, misses, misses its turn, then gets unpetrified. So it's it's not petrified. It just hasn't gotten a chance to move. Oh my god. Nope, that's gonna be a miss. Uh, I'm gonna roll, roll eh, reload a uh, standard bullet. Okay. Uh, that's just... Ash, are you here? Um, um, oh, there you go. I'm gonna look over at Levi. Uh, just like call to him from across the room. How are you doing over there? Do you still have cells? Yep, still got one more. By the way, Ash, I'm not sure if you were here for it, but um, you recovered 10 health from um, Zahak. Oh, okay, sorry. No, I wasn't. He touched your back. Shivers go down my spine. <laughs> Gracious, you asshole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get an attack of opportunity on Zach? <laughs> <laughs> Levi, I only have one spell slot left. I can either try to hold this thing down a bit longer, or I can be ready to heal you. It's your choice. Just keep that thing held. I've still got a, a decent amount of healing left. What is this turn order? Is it the shadow men? When do the the two things go on the same turn as Nathaniel? Yeah, they go yes. on the same turn as Nathaniel. Okay. Okay. Does the shadow still have Bane on it? Yes. All right, I'm going to use it one last time on the shadow. Okay. Going to roll a save for the shadow. If you didn't notice, there's literally no reason to me clicking on it, so I'm just not doing that. Right. Uh, that uh, is nice. a 13, but then with the 1d4, it is a 11. So it fails the save. It cannot move until next turn. Mm -hmm. And I am going to snap summon Carbuncle out. Okay. And then that, so, ends, that ends up for you, right? right? Yep, that's All it. Right. So, Hack, it is your turn. Okay. I am going to cast... I think I cast it the crease and then I did I should have no spell slots remaining right um depends I on know... how many spells you cast but I know you've casted inflict wounds you cast grease and then you cast cure wounds is that your three spell slots yeah but then I also restored one so I should actually have you should have one slot. more than okay okay so I am right here this is your carbuncle okay um Actually, no, I can't. I can't. Uh, I have to wait until next turn. So just wait. wait. Okay. Nathaniel just throw Bane aside. Okay, what does Nathaniel have in I front of him? Bane. Don't wait. worry about no, it. No, no, but no, no, not him. For him, he can't. You cast inflict wounds. Oh yeah, Reef. that's right. Bane is another Bane. spell that you casted. So yeah. That uh, I thought. Hold on one second. I thought I could cast Bane. Let me check something, because I thought I could cast Bane without consuming this spell slot. But I will double check. Or Sorcerer of the Divine Soul. Choose an affinity from the source. Blah, blah, blah. You learn an additional spell based on that. It is a Sorcerer spell for you, but it doesn't count against your number of spells known. It is uh, If you later replace the spell, you must replace it with a spell from the Cleric spell list. It doesn't say that okay. you doesn't yeah, take yeah, a spell yeah, slot. Right. It, just make, it, does, it doesn't impact your spells known. Okay. Okay, so I am going to... So what enemies are left over here? Shadow, 
who is petrified, Steel Defender, and Homunculus on Levi, Nathaniel in the back. Okay, the Shadow Homunculus guy up there is still petrified? Yes. Well, he's not petrified anymore because his turn ended, but he just hasn't okay. gotten the chance to move. Okay, and then that little white guy with the dot on him next to him, that's a... That was Kronos. Okay, Kronos. Then this dog thing right here by Levi. Steel Defender by Nathaniel. Is that? That's Carbuncle. Carbuncle. But yeah, Carbuncle's so... Carbuncle's technically not there in right now. But right here by Levi... Wait, which one? Well, Nathaniel's over here. What are these three dots? Those three dots are the magic stones that he casted. Okay, and then the dog here, and then... The, the other thing next to him is his servants. Okay, so I can attack this. Nobody's attacked this dog thing. They've tried or to. It? It's it's taken I... it's taken some damage. Okay. I am going to. And what is this thing to the top right of the dog? That would be Guile. Oh. Did Joe change his profile, his picture? No, it's just shrunken down in this regard. Okay, okay. Ooh. I am going to cast Chill Touch, which is. Yeah, I'm going to cast Kill Touch or Chill Touch on this dog. Okay, so you're gonna move into range of the dog. Uh, it's a hundred twenty foot range. Oh, is it actually okay? I thought it was yep. a touch because it says touch. No, that's kind of confusing, huh? Yeah, really weird. It should literally just be called frostbite. You know, yeah. like the actual spell frostbite. I create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of the creature within range. Make a ranged spell attack against it. So it's like a magic hand that has a chill touch, mm -hmm. and it does one d eight necrotic. That's odd. Yeah, that's a really strange thing. But nonetheless, I can do it. So okay, we're hitting yep. that dog. Wow. Yeah, and eight does not hit it. Wow. Um, I'm moving on side. <laughs> <laughs> that failed. It's fucked, guys. All right, Levi, your turn. How close is Joe to me? About 10 ish feet or 15 feet, depending on. Because he was 10 feet away from the homunculus, so. The reason I asked is because uh, Thunderwave is a 15 foot cube around me. You know, I had uh, no disregard as they went, I'm having disregard as Levi. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we'll just go for this then. The DC is 11, not 10, because it's still not fixing itself for whatever and it's reason. It's a constitution save, three save. Yeah. Con saves. So. Good shit, Joe. It's going to roll 2d20s. Oh, fuck. First one is for the homunculus, second one for the dog. So both of them will fail. So they take. 13 damage. 13? I fucking max rolled on the second die. Let's go. And they get sent fucking... 10 feet? Hold on. 15. Yeah, they push 10 feet away from me. Mm-hmm. So I would, I would take a half, a half, um, round it up, right? So it yes. would take 7. Okay. No, you take six. It's half rounded down. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you are not pushed away. So. Oh! Right. And then. The homunculus is. Wait. Oh. 
Uh, you said they could push back 10 feet? Yes. All right. So, Monculus goes right here. Dog goes right here. Almost in the grace. And the homunculus at this point powers down. Okay, I'm also going to use second wind. Okay. 10 HP, baby. All right, and then that's it for you? Yep. All right. Mishiva, it is your turn. I'm going to bonus action use my first of six elves. The action is one surprisingly for one. So eight plus two. Mm -hmm. Three. You know Sick. what? And then uh, I'm gonna attack this robo bitch in front of me. Okay. All right, Joe, roll a d4. Roll a d4, let's go. Oh. So we have north, east, south, west. So your weapon is going to be put right over here. That's kind of hard to see, so I'm just gonna... There you go. That's where your weapon is. Unfortunate. Well, use a movement, and I'll just walk over to it and stand above it. Mm-hmm. That's all. All right. Nathaniel's turn. He is actually going to detach the puppet string from the homunculus, which basically just turns it completely off. And he is going to cast the catapult spell. Oh no. So. The spell has a 60 foot range, takes anything that weighs 1 to 5 pounds. Fires it in a straight... Actually, no, it has a 60-foot range, so you can target anything within 60 feet. But it has a 90-foot range. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, they take... Uh, the object stops moving and hits them. On a succeeded save, they do not take the damage. So let's just go ahead and see who is within the 90 feet. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to do this. <clears throat> Ash is one, Guile is two, Ace is three, Levi is four. All right. Ace, make a dexterity saving throw as this first magic stone gets sent flying at you. Dexterity, right? Yep. Um, that, oh wait, wrong sheet. That's going to fail currently. Oh, wait, what? Currently. And I'm telling you like right now that, that that would be a failing save. That's... So, if that's the case, then 3d8, and then because it is the magic stone that he's launching, you also take an additional 1d6. So you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Mother of Christ. Yeah, I found out that with Catapult, if you launch Magic Stone, it's basically just bonus damage. Oh, that's my 1 HP, by the way. The dog is going to use its bonus action to repair itself. 
has one use of that left. So it's going to heal itself for 2d8. Brings itself back up by 12 points. That's the that's the song that Zahawk hears in his head when he sees Min Minkov's butt. Mm -hmm. Dog is going to make an attack on Guile. Uh, a 20 hit you, yes? It has, a, it has a plus 9? Yes. Hi, it's... You see why I want to go fucking kick puppies, Joe? Big I've been seven, saying this. Take seven points of damage. They both have a plus nine. I'm pretty sure. Yes, they both did. Well, all three of them, but yeah, like. They all did. <laughs> Ready to join the puppy kicking crew, Joe? <laughs> I have a better or, idea. Let me check. Doors somewhere. are open. The doors are open, Joe. Okay. Why the fuck open? All right, Ace. It is your turn. All right. Hey. Uh, all right. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm going to the standard bowl if I remember. So. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this. Okay. 15 does not hit it. Fuck! Oh. That was another standard bullet. Alright, Ash, it is your turn. I assume at this time this is when Kronos leaves. Yeah, I'm going to snap summon uh, Carbuncle to be right. I'm gonna put Carbuncle right here, so I'll move him myself. Oh, that works. And uh, Snap Summons in action, so that's all I got. Okay. Matriarch's turn. It's not very happy that somebody kept petrifying it for five turns in a row. It's kind of squirpy in you. I don't know. <laughs> I really can't blame it. Get over here. Literally, what it's about to do. Yeah. It's going to, once again, use its Shadow Reach. Uh, and 18 hits you, yes? Oh, yeah. Alright. Make a Dexterity saving throw. All right, you succeed on the dexterity saving throw. You do not get pulled, you do not get grappled. Which means that you also do not need to make the strength save, so you do not take the damage. Hog. That's gonna be it for its turn. The heck, it is your turn. Okay, so I should actually have one spell slot, because I only cast, I restored one, but I only cast Cure Wounds, Inflict Wounds, and Bane, and then the other things were Chill Touch and um, Grease. What about Grease, though? Oh, fuck, there's right, the Grease. The Grease, it happened. Yeah, you summoned a country, I'm sorry. Oh, yum, 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 yum. So, I can go, what do we have, is that a Jedi? Yeah. No, that's no, Mashiva's that's not a Jedi. That's Mashiva's spear. Okay. Is that a so Jedi? That thing it looks like somebody going ham with their lightsaber. So I got uh she oh, we'll take that. That. <laughs> she was actually summoning an ice lightning spear. Okay. Who's who's got some tits skills that just fuck this thing up? That's my character asking, who's got the shit? 
Somebody tell me who's got some good shit. If I had taken Cannoneer by now, I probably could. But I also haven't worked on making my chakram, so I'm not I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that. So, uh... He ain't okay. got me. Uh, Ash. You got some shit? Sorry, I had to get up. What was that? Well, okay, you got damn. some shit. Levi uh, is first, and then Joe. Where did Joe go? Joe's but... underneath the lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Joe is okay. the lightsaber. Uh, that, that gives me an idea for new heads for my mic. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to stand on top. The lightsaber? I'm standing on top. White I'm standing on. Let me hold on one sec. Let me look at something. Oh, I didn't mean to touch. I didn't mean to touch it, but I am going touching things. <laughs> I can't move far enough. I am going to cast. I'm gonna chill touch the big boy. Okay. Bow. Bob does not hit it. Oh no! I fucking suck again. <laughs> I sorry guys. I am standing on top. How tall are these uh these statues? No, no, five feet tall. Okay, that's not tall enough. Shit. Okay. Well, you can look at it. You're gonna be eye eye level with it, I think. I'm standing. I'm standing on the back of it. Like I'm literally. I am horizontal. Oh. Diagonally. Oh. I am. I'm horizontal diagonally like this. Like in WoW PvP. You can't see me. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Levi, it is your turn. Ah, uh, yes. Uh... I'm gonna roll a D3 real quick. Ah, fuck. There's no D3. Oh, you know, yes. Uh... Fuck, that's uh, did it wrong. All right, we're attacking Shadow Fuck. Okay. Uh. Got a view. Nice. Ooh. It's gonna make it strength save. A6, so it's going to take the full damage, and then this still has to take the thunder damage, right? Or the lightning damage, or whatever it is. Yep, so it's one. Okay, so. Takes, <laughs> and, then I'm a, and then I'm going to look at Zahak and be is like, that good enough shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> still, Defender just jumps at you. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Ashiva, it is your turn. How, how heavy would you say the Steel Defender is? Hmm. It is made of steel. But it also probably has hollow parts, because it probably is a robot of some sort. Wait, Jody, have jet fuel? <laughs> I have a better idea. I'm going to say oh, that it weighs about... 150 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick this bitch up. All right, make a athletics check. Okay, athletics. Fuck that shit up. Oh god, I. Fuck Are you. Fucking... Oh, I was like, you gonna go for a suplex on this bitch? Like... I was gonna do something else, and it was gonna be funny if it worked. Reroll. Uh, Reroll. Reroll. Okay. Oh. So, okay. I, I pick this bitch up. I'm going to walk to the edge of the room. Uh, your speed is halved. Because <laughs> it is a heavy creature that you're carrying. Wait. See, so yeah, you can make it about here. Okay. <laughs> you think you can throw it, Joe? <laughs> can I throw this bitch off the edge? Would I will say that with your crit, I will allow that you can, you can basically try to throw it off. Oh, the you edge. don't want to make it. You don't want to beat it up. Use it as your weapon. No, I'm throwing this bitch off the edge. <laughs> what did I roll for this? No, like I said, just with your crit. <laughs> oh, 
sorry, Nathaniel. I had to put your dog down. <laughs> Jokes on you, dog oh. fly. <laughs> the only thing Levi has said that he now doesn't get to piss and stomp on its grave. Nope. No grave to piss and stomp on. Eh. Nathaniel's would be good enough. <laughs> That's my turn. Mm hmm. Nathaniel's turn. He was going to direct this at somebody, but somebody else decided to throw his dog off the side. So, catapult. Could I use uh, reaction to try to hit it back? <laughs> actually, w wouldn't it just clip Levi? Uh, no. I think it hit. No, oh, damn. Okay. You choose a target and it launches it. Yeah. Yeah. I would know. I I have been looking at that spell a lot. But when it says stopping early from attacks against a solid surface, wouldn't Levi be a solid surface? I'm ruling no. Yeah. Okay. Because you're also yeah. not moving on a proper grid line. Mm. So oh, yeah. theoretically, you're like back here. If we're oh. going for the proper grid line. So, so like a deck save, right? Yep. Also, keep oh. in mind. I believe that that I succeed. Have... Congratulations. I am, you don't take the I damage. Am... I am only a level two sorcerer because that's how I came in. So, <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> Little shitty um, bitch over here on this statue. <laughs> I'm really sad, Alec would let me rule it cool. It. I really wanted to try for the baseball team. <laughs> nope. <laughs> how much oh. fucking like? How much help does this motherfucker have? Been beating his ass for two hours. <laughs> The thing the is, the fuck I don't is, know who really is like world boss, kind of. Feels like I'm fighting the Zodiac Z fucking boss the, in Final well, Fantasy XII. Yeah, the thing is... Nathaniel is a dungeon Zach, boss, and the thing is a raid boss. Yeah. That's but we also weird. haven't had Zack been hitting only... He's been only hitting the mobs. Zack's been dealing mobs. Yeah. While Joe's been, like, off and on attacking both of them and then attacking a mob. I don't know if Tony's things do damage. It has been doing oh, damage. I didn't mean to do it does, his Tony's thing oh, does no, damage. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I meant. That's those. what. That's right. And it's basically just been you and me hitting. I've been kind of focusing on him mainly because I. Gotcha. My idea is if we kill him, maybe the world goes back to normal. Yeah. Maybe like it will go back to normal, but but Daniel might not be alive if it goes back. It goes back. I don't know. Hey, what's the favorite? range on my regurgitation? Uh, it depends on the size of the object. So if Big you fuck. To get it's to, a if you attempt to regurgitate the uh, thing, I'll say that you can do like a 30-foot range. Okay. If it's like medium, you can do 60. If it's small, you can do 90. That works. Just checking a couple of stuff real quick but as far as it goes this is going to be the end of oh maybe not oh oh what is this oh Alec. <laughs> eh, little he won't do it he's gonna wait but that is going to be the end of nathaniel's turn Ace, it is your turn. I want to kill that big motherfucker. I just imagine there's a fucking spaceman in the space, and there's a fucking Six robot dog floating by him. Fucking kidding me. Ah. <laughs> uh... Emma, wait, you just said a sixteen doesn't hit it. Sixteen yes. does not hit the shadow. Goddamn. Ah. Uh... Load a normal, oh my god. Reload a normal bullet. Alright. Ash, it is your turn. <sighs> okay, um... There might be a balcony headed on your way, so... I can't really... Well, I guess I could disengage. Well, you're not oh, in you're... range of it to make an attack. Oh, okay. Uh, if that's the case, I'm just gonna pull back right here. And how far was that? 
Okay. Uh... You all better pay. There's no way for them to knock us off the edge. <laughs> they just push you all off. Actually. So, he's shooting the balcony. How far would this balcony be going? Like, how big, actually? Feet. Well, it's about 20, about 30, but it's uh, 30 feet uh, long, 10 feet wide, and it can go as far as 30 feet. Just like a wall coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Time for my secret okay. technique. A wall. <laughs> That's the case. I was right here, yeah? Yeah. That's essentially the size that it would be. I'm gonna move right next to Carbuncle. Okay. And... Yeah, end right there. That's All gonna right. be one hilarious fucking thing seeing just flying at it. Shadow Nature. <laughs> the Soul Manipulator. I'm going to change aim. I keep reading it off like that. And do a quick refresh. I had like freaking seven character sheets open and it doesn't want to load if I have all of them open like that. Okay. Take this one, this one, and I just hit this last one. There. So, Shadow Creature is going to move. Right here. Motherfucker. It's the balcony is out of question. Is it though? <laughs> oh, no. No, oh no. we do we all, all we have to do is make a deck save, right? Yeah. You would normally have to make a deck save for it, yeah. Okay. I think I You would normally I mean, as long as Well that's what I was asking for the balcony it's a deck save, right? <laughs> I mean I guess it can be I don't know. Like, there's there, different things. Like, I don't think actual... anybody can lift the balcony. Oh, yeah, no. You know, <laughs> I had a really stupid question for a second, because the way that I was uh, scrolled, I saw two Z um, freaking Zahaks on the board, and I just realized that that's your freaking token. Like, you're, you're afraid it's your uh, icon for your profile, <laughs> because it's also a PNG. It doesn't have a border. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, why are there two on the board? Which one's the real one? What's going on here? Yeah, All right, someone's just floating in space. <laughs> Aha! You can't get me! All right. Oh, yeah. Quick question. Did the dog just, like, drop, or did it just start, like, flying out, like, floating away? <laughs> Stick. <laughs> At least we right. know we are not in actual space. It's going to use its bonus action to use Shadow Reach on Zahak. Oh. Oh, is it? Hmm. Uh. Okay. It's a um, nine, a nine eight does not hit you, does it? No, I have thirteen right, or twelve then, armor class. I think. Then this does not apply to you. Um, it is, however, going to attempt to make a slam attack on Guile. Uh, does a thirteen hit you, Guile? That is my AC. Take oh. eleven points of bludgeoning and make a strength save. First off, I have to do your reaction. <laughs> Shit. Last night of strength save say? Okay, let's do yep. that real quick. Uh what are we gonna what are we gonna say you the damage is real quick? For so event? for heavy for oh, heavy objects back. for heavy it's, objects, what's the damage? It's just gonna be uh two D ten. Two D ten, okay. Four HP. Yep, let's go, because I had these reactions, use one myself. Mm-hmm. I'm at one now. 
And I'm not prone. Yep, and you're not prone. The hack, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. I can I can space this thing out, and I can have it land a certain way when I regurgitate it. So, uh, saving you can throw. regurgitate it sideways. Uh, well, I'm technically yeah. I can just spit it out however the fuck I want. So I am going to have it saved. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. <laughs> So I stand on top of the statue and I scream, "Motherfucking balcony!" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, no. oh my fucking oh, no. god! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so what did I what did I roll on that? A twenty, but and that's uh, no. One. Yeah, you rolled a nat one. Well. I mean, I don't know. I get to regurgitate it either way, so I'm just rolling for damage. Like, no matter what, I get to spit it out. It's just going to fall somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I like That's... this idea, though. So, it you, it, regurgitate you, it. It, you regurgitate it to a point now where it goes... You, you've, already, you've already regurgitated it. You know that it doesn't feel good. You right. really don't feel good regurgitating it this time. As this is the second time that you're having to regurgitate this. Um, you, I assume, wanted it to go... Like this, right? Yeah. It's going to go... Sideways. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 Wait. damage. Alec, I just saw your fucking marker thing. I like how it said infinity feet. <laughs> okay. But everybody has to make a dex save. And is the dex save different based on heavy, medium, and light? Um. I will say that it can be maybe upped by like one or two points depending like okay so let's say if it's small it's a dc 13 okay medium dc 14 large dc 15 okay well you guys are gonna be doing the 15 <laughs> uh who was that that just did a deck save that joe? Well, was joe do i need to make do i need to make one as well uh yes alec i thought you were gonna say like he actually threw like there's actual like stomach bile on this one too. Oh so fuck! Oh, there's probably, there's probably stomach bile on it too. Well, I was thinking ass. <laughs> Tyler did it. Can I? Uh, the creature is also going to take damage. I was so, just gonna do it. Am I allowed yeah. to use my last salve? Yep. I would. I would have got knocked okay. off the edge. Oh <laughs> wait! You can't take another reaction. That's why I ask. Oh. Because, I, because Zach uh, took two reactions before his next turn once yeah that's why he i said that actions? yeah he, he, yeah, got, he, 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 he took two cells remember? yeah before he does a reaction mm. he got knocked down twice that's why i asked yeah that's why oh. that's why when he rolled that 20 when you rolled that 20 it's like the, can zach still take a salve and you didn't i don't think they were answering him i don't like, think I, any of us heard that because i didn't think no, about it either i wasn't paying attention but it's the, but the he's still he's meant to be a reaction I will so say got... that because I let Zach do it, I will let you do it this time. Okay. But I need the, that that's on me then for making sure that we pay attention to who can and cannot take reactions. Okay, so Okay, but uh so Tyler had a deck save. Shadow took the damage. And then Joe took the damage. Okay, and then did anybody else get hit? No. Okay, cool. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> you got the victim of the balcony. You, you know what? You make good on your promise. You said you were going to do it to me earlier. I know. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Maybe you should have been nicer. <laughs> but, but, but nonetheless, 20 damage on the shadow guy is not a bad thing. No. But, uh. I mean, Levi has been so far the only one next to Zach. Is anybody stuck because they failed? Because a balcony is sitting on the 
No, I'm gonna save it because it was like hitting the shadow creature. It kind of just like it started like just breaking. Okay. Okay. So essentially, it was like rocks falling that hit them. Okay, and I didn't move, so um, he's he's agitated, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go over. Here. <laughs> oh my god! Neat, run away! <laughs> this fucking this motherfucking Kirby right, motherfucker. Levi. <laughs> I wish this could be in an animated series because it would be so stupid. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'm a... I just want to know what Nathaniel's rash saw all that was. <laughs> he just regurgitated <laughs> my balcony. This next one's going to him. <laughs> That's if, get, that's if you can even hit him. He's just sideways <laughs> off the edge. Still within 90 feet. Oh no. I'm gonna move here. Yeah, he can throw a curveball or have it have it. He slide can throw down. it at an angle. Yeah, he can just um, toss it up and have it drop. Yeah. Oh shit. And I am going to yaw yeet. And Nathaniel. I can fucking find it. There we go. Fuck. Well, does not hit him. Daniel, you're a horror. Looks at you, smiles. Along with your brother. Smiles more. <laughs> Ashiva, it is your turn. With my last loyalty die, I am going to command. Levi to fucking launch his shit and Nathaniel. Thick ass. Wait, yeah. what shit is he launching? Is he is he literally launching poop? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> fucking oh. face. Hey, ooh, better damage too. Alright. Because the mirror image didn't work the first time with Guile. It hits one of the mirror images. Motherfucker. Fuck. Wait, how does mirror image work? When you attack him, I roll a d20 to determine if uh, you hit him or the mirror image. And if, uh, if I have three mirror images, I have to roll a six or higher. If I have two mirror images, I think I have to roll like an 11. And then three mirror images is the next one. Um... Does the mirror image break, or does it have? Yeah, mirror part? image breaks. Yep. Oh the, yeah. Because yeah. okay, I would roll this. I have to roll do this for the fuck. Yeah. So I have to. Okay. I have to roll a six if I have three, an eight if I have two, and an eleven if I have three, or if I have eleven if I have one. Okay. Kyle's gonna walk in, and yeah. What was the one d eight for? Because uh, when I use when I have command someone, they get a one d eight added to their damage. Hmm. Okay. So that mirror image took extra damage. All right. An extra one. And that's it. Yep. All right. Nathaniel's turn. Just like he said, going straight at the heck. The heck. I got it. Make a dex saving throw. No. Take twenty Wait. five points of damage. Um, that's overkill. That's more than double his HP. Maybe he has twenty five. Uh, how much does the salve heal for? Where do I click on that? Salve heals for one d eight plus two. So you can just okay. click like a one d eight and then add two to it. I thought that was an insta kill. Like he is just dead, dead. It would be if he didn't have a salve. Yeah. All of that. The salve is essentially a light. Well, okay. If you deal the damage, if the damage that you deal to that person exceeds their current health and goes past their maximum health total, they insta die. Uh, okay. No, 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 it's past double their max. I'm I'm at five uh, health then. 
Yeah, you're at 5 HP right now. Also, make an acrobatic save. Oh, no. What do I got to make an acrobatic save? Consider this instability. But I can walk. You just got You can walk on him, up. but there's nothing to support you in that regard. You got yeeted in the head of a fucking rock that pretty much killed you. And but, it's not hold on, but if the ground, if this is like the ground for me, then the ground is, it's like my support. It's almost like gravity don't work. Okay. We'll talk right, about that like, later. I mean, as far, I don't as, mind, as, far okay. as it goes, I, I, I just figured if you're on a wall, granted, yeah, for you, it doesn't feel like anything. Like, you know, it doesn't really feel like a change. Um, I was just figuring in the spectrum of it that if you're on a wall and you take, you know, a serious amount of damage, such as you did, then you'd have to make an acrobatic save or basically just get essentially launched into a wall from, like, your perspective in this regard. Okay, I can, uh, I'll do the acrobatics. It's fine. That's fair. All right. Save me, Jesus. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you, you succeeded. I did it, guys! Look, I didn't fall! <laughs> <laughs> As he's like staggering like he's drunk because he just got fucking oh, yeah. oh, got a concussion uh, from that shit. Who knows? Maybe it'll make him normal. <laughs> Alright. Or it can make him weirder. Alright. Um. Hey, Ash. Do you still want to save Nathaniel? I think it's a little late for something like that. Yeah, that's like the same thing she told me. I feel like all of this would have happened re regardless I mean, of if you shot him. I think it would have happened either way. I mean, the only reason I'm thinking this because I do think he'll listen and might save him. Am I in tackle of opportunity, Alec? Yes. Uh, I'm just a big hulking mass in front of me. Yes. Uh, hmm. How much damaged is this fucking thing? How does it look? Yeah. Uh, it's looking hurt. I'll say that it's taken about maybe a third of its health. No fucking way. The balcony, the jack shit. We've done so much damage to it, Tyler. Want to kill it. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, there's no way we're focusing the wrong guy. I don't know. No, Not I want to kill it. I'm gonna focus it still. Not to mention the fact that I also hit it with 20 damage. Oh, you? Shit. But remember, pursuers are resistant to all damage. Oh, it's only oh, yeah. took 10 points of damage, huh? Mm -hmm. Is oh, it looking? My God. Uh, I guess faded at all. Mm, this one's no, no, looking hurt. This one just fade. Hurt. Mm. Um, um, not all shadows fade. Smoke bomb. Oh, I meant I mean, the terms is not bloodied. I don't know. If it nope. I did say oh. that a third of it. He has taken a third of his health. I hit proc attack with our opportunity, and I get hit. I'm gonna have to use a salve. <sighs> where I feel like we're up shit creek, boys. Look, I am out of everything. Mm. Everyone here. Point, I should just All set right. the, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the eerie mansion music at this point now. <laughs> uh am I am okay if if I go if I use my like okay, so if I get hit and I use a salve, can I keep moving? Or no? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to get away. So I'll just see the heck up on this. So yeah. Okay. Let's see. 30 is about right. Let's see, actually. I'm gonna get like right here and then right here. So Damn you it. take 13 points of damage and you have to make a deck, uh, strength save. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> look at that. I will say for the rest of this combat, you can't have your knock from. Hell yeah. All right. Salve, yeah. here we go. Four HP. Shit. Okay. Uh, I really want to. I'll say I moved like right there. I'm going to take a shot at it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fuck! That is going to miss. Do you even have a plus five on it? That's fucked. Yes! I just been, rolled I, like below it, a 10 on all of Straight up earlier, I was landing so many shots, now I'm landing like none. Oh no. Like, uh. We're getting the shit on. Ah. Uh, Alright. I'm loading a, uh, a fire ammo. By the way, he also has this thing where he can take five off the roll. Actually, no, load To do extra damage. So if he can roll an 18, he would hit yeah. the AC of the creature and deal. What? Oh, points yeah. Bonus damage? Yeah, but I feel like this thing has a high AC, though. Well, well yeah, but I was just letting Steven know. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Wait, let me see. It's, I think it. Yeah, it's 10 <laughs> extra damage. Yeah. As a, when I'm minus 5. Mm -hmm. So I can bat, like. What was it? Did I get. No, I didn't get max. I got max with one of the dice. All right. That's it for you, right? Yep. Did you use your bonus action? Yeah, I did. I, right. I took a cold ammo. All right. Ash, your move. Show me your move. So my you max punch. damage, my max damage in total right now is 28. Like Show if me all my moves. If all my rolls hit. And I used my other thing. Levi, how are you doing? What's up? How are you doing health wise, healing salves, etc.? Uh, I have no more salves. Wait. But you have one. Yeah, no, I still have the one and I'm at 18 health. And I think I. Yeah, I still have one spot slot too, so. Hmm. Things get sticky. I'm still pretty good. Guile. Six HP, zero salves, zero anything else. Got it. I'm just gonna slide over here. And, uh, oh, my character sheet doesn't want to load. That's great. Got it. I'm genuinely just curious has Ash ever healed me? Yeah. And besides the potion, me. besides the potion. Uh, I'm pretty sure I healed you with my anima flit. No, you weren't there because you had to run away. There hasn't been a, re a chance to heal you. Also, uh, my character sheet isn't loading. I was just going to pass Guile a healing potion. Okay, you can do so. And then Guile can take it. Uh, Would that if you need action? to, you can probably refresh your page. Okay, so, I'm assuming that'd be an action, not an interaction. Um, yeah, to give somebody an item is usually, it's always an action. Okay, that's literally it then. I'll just refresh. So I have to wait, to use, I have to wait on my turn to use it though, right? No, you can use it now. Oh, thank god. 2d4 plus 2, right? Yeah. What would that be a reaction? 7. Beautiful. I pray. Okay. So you heal for nine. Oh, for nine. Now I can add two more to that. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's even better. So you know what I just two. thought about? What? Did you ever pick up your weapon? Because I have it still not, sitting there, I, I don't I have so. not picked, picked it up once. I was going to say, yeah, because you picked up the dog, you chucked it, and then... The next turn I commanded Levi to do something, that took my action. 
Right. Okay. So yeah, and you then, haven't had a yeah. chance to pick it up. And I have my next turn, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> oh my god, you're just leaving his weapon. I have a. I really hope. I, I'm not gonna say it, but God, I hope you do pick it up. Nah, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna ask Ash to pick it up for me. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> hopefully you pick it up before we leave here. By the way, Zach. <laughs> Wait, that's really I want to say something. <laughs> This creature is going to move up to here. Damn it. Why couldn't it stay still? Rather, why wouldn't it attack me instead? Oh, oh no, it probably me. will attack you. But why oh. couldn't it stay still? <laughs> Shadow Reach on Ace. Um, seven does not hit you. So you're oh. fine in that regard. Oh, Slam God. on Guile. Uh, Twelve does not hit you. Thank God. So that is the end of the shadow's turn. It's a hawk. Don't move. Five feet from the guy, right? Okay, uh -huh. I'm going to. That's all I got, man. I'm gonna use my attack, which includes my natural attack, uh, which is vampiric bite. I add. Melee weapon, which I'm proficient, you add your constitution modifier to the attack and damage rolls. So it's 1d4 plus constitution. Uh, let's see. Piercing damage. When you're missing half or more of your hit points, you have an advantage on attack rolls you make with this bite. When you attack with this bite and hit a creature that isn't a construct or an undead, you can empower yourself in one of the following ways. Yeah. You gain hit points equal to the piercing damage dealt by the bite. You gain a bonus to the next ability check or attack roll you make. The bonus equals the piercing damage dealt by the bite. Or... You can pattern yourself with this bite a number of times, equal to your proficiency bonus. Oh. Okay. I'm going to attack with my weapon and then my I gotta do an attack roll so anyway so this was that just a 10 was that my attack roll was just a 10 yeah your attack roll looks like it's just a 10 um, okay. You were saying then, something about having advantage when you're at less than half. Now, is that just specifically with the bite that you make an attack with the bite, and that's how you do it? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be a one d four plus my constitution modifier, but the attack uh, roll has a proficiency bonus. So. Uh, okay, so if you had taken the attack action with the bite, you would have had advantage. Yeah, I thought they go. I thought they went together. From what it looks like, it doesn't. No, it looks like the bite that don't separate attack. Okay. Maybe it's not like... It's not like um, uh, turtles have it, where like their bite can be used as a bonus action after they hit a creature. Yeah, I was thinking like Pathfinder 2, where like if you have like a natural weapon, it gets added to your attack combo. Like you attack... 
with your weapon and your natural weapons, like your bites. <laughs> okay, well that did fuck all. Um, I got nothing else. Okay. Before we get to your turn, Levi, a uh, specific number of oh. turns has passed, and now the environment gets to react. Oh. Yay. From the tunnel at the very top where the oh. cellar door is, a person drops from it. Sorry. Oh, oh. Who is it? Who is it? There he is. Oh my god. Who is this? Yes! Jesus this Christ. here is a friendly fellow that recently saved the party oh, when they first yes. entered into the world. Drops down and says... Am I late? Levi's gonna lift his war pick and throw it over his shoulder and be... Not at all. Game just as the fun's about to get started. Sounds good. Miss the Balkan Yeet. <laughs> Miss the Balkan Yeet. <laughs> if that over. wasn't fun enough for Levi, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Oh, you don't understand. Me as a player, I have a strong connection to this person. He looks over at Nathaniel and uh, says to him, Well, I can clearly see that you're not the same boy that I used to play with. What happened to you, Nathaniel? He looks at him and says, Oh, you know what happened. You were there. You saw them. They died. They left. Yeah. And then they came. Consider me the stray dog. That's found a new owner. The unknown person then says, uh, If this is the path that you're choosing to walk, then I will have to stop you, just as I've stopped the others. To go ahead and give an idea, um, or at least like a pers uh, perspective, there's like 20 sets of armor laying on the floor right now. Wait, hey, what? Like, okay. So, he comes in, and... Does oh, was it the sense. armor in that fucking entrance hall? Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he's a fucking beast. He has essentially taken all of those armor sets and beaten them down. Every single armor set on the upper floor is literally just laid out on the ground. Yo, you remember who this is, right? Oh yeah, this is, I know who exactly this is. Okay, cool. Uh, who is who is it? My he, knowledge. He, the players don't actually know specifically. Only, um, only Joe only and Zach Joe. would because they yeah they, they participated in the one shot for it. Hmm. You could say they all played you a need hand to know it. he's a all you need to know is he's a badass. <laughs> Well, hopefully I don't get hungry. I think my eating and regurgitating is over for this 
this particular one. Uh-huh. Well, actually, if you eat him and end up regurgitating him next time, it'd be perfect. We'd always have him with us. <laughs> Just try to eat him at the end and be like, I'm gonna keep you in my tummy. Until we need you. Uh. Alright, oh, uh, Levi, it is your turn. Okay. I need to impress this man. I'm going for the. I'm going for the shadow creature. Put my sheet. Thirteen does not hit it. Mother bitch. But don't worry, he's not disappointed. I am. I'm not <laughs> looking for not <laughs> I am not looking for not disappointing him. I am looking to impress him. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do something incredibly dumb. But I'm gonna do it. For the off chance that it fucking works. Well, Mashiva, it is your turn. I'm going to stand in front of this bitch. And I'm going to run at him and try to tackle him off the edge. <laughs> oh. This is the DM asking, are you sure you want to do that? Look, I have nothing else I can do. <laughs> you hit him. You could have grabbed her weapon. That takes an action. And? You could punch him. I'm just gonna go ahead and say what you need to roll and allow you to reprimand what you had just said. Okay. Disadvantaged athletics check. Okay. Because you're pushing a large creature. Okay. But he has Bane. Okay. Hey, Joe. Yeah? You know what you gave me? What? An inspiration die. That's oh. fucking right. Oh, that's right! right. <laughs> Joe, do you have an inspiration die? I don't know. Did, I told ever, the guy- Did you ever why give me one? No, I don't know, I know why. That. I I highly doubt I have six hero points. It's because it keeps resetting it to like five every now and again. I think I at least have three. No, I think. It, no, it resets know. it. It resets and adds Damn. six. So I'll, we have. Well, no, I did oh, give. Two. I did give Ace one today. Yo, you, you gave me one. I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, how many? Yeah, that's why I was confused. Oh, so maybe it does reset it by five? It normally does it by five. Oh, okay. Shit, I have two. Motherfucker, I have two. Maybe I have two then. I think oh, I might have two as well. Fucking Angie. How many did you think about? All right, Mashiva. I thought I had none. I assume that's going to be it for your turn. Mine went up to yeah. five. All right, then. The paladin is going to go. He's going to just walk up to this creature. And then he's going to swing his big sword sword. To kind of give the idea, this sword that he's wielding is actually massive. Yes. Like, <laughs> he, like there's great swords that are like two-handed and you know great swords are like you know just like cloud sized swords you know they're big this one's bigger than that yeah this is an ultra great sword my friends <laughs> yeah this is essentially the ultra great sword and it also i would fume knight great sword i i would almost think cloud is more eh well no mm. cloud is a normal great sword don't even size wise yeah, it's sword. literally just a normal great is. sword The Great Sword in Dark Souls 3, the literal Great Sword, is the size of Cloud Sword. It's a normal Great Sword. 
It's just nat it's just natural size. Yeah, Elden Ring is the one that has the smaller grade, so it's Yeah. But uh yeah, no, so this is basically ultra great sword size and it's glowing purple. So he's going to strike this creature. I don't and know why I whispered. Well, he's a badass. I'm going to roll that again just because he whispered by accident. I just want to mention uh, a Buster Sword is classified in enormous damage. The Buster Swords are classified as an enormous broad sword. Sword. Yeah, an enormous broad sword. What is a great sword? An enormous broadsword. In any event. So that's about 19 damage right there. I'm gonna smite him into next Wednesday. <laughs> oh, and this thing yes. evil, so he gets like extra fucking shit into it too. Oh, yes. oh. Oh, Let me just go man. ahead and see what his highest potential level is. Oh, it's not that high. I couldn't make him that strong. Oh well. Oh wait, no, it's still improved. So, three d eight on the normal roll, plus two, plus one, cause evil. So sixty eight. You're yes, I told you this motherfucker's a badass. I love him. I love him and miss him. <laughs> He's a badass. Freaking <laughs> sad. Just the sound. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, what do you want from me? He's a badass. Yeah, and uh, let's see, because he also has his other features. Oh. He's still not is dead after gonna, that. Is no. this man gonna one shot the pursuer for us? I I wouldn't call it one shot. We've done a decent amount of damage. He's really. done he's done equivalent damage to us. One tack. And we've still done a decent amount of damage to it, Joe. Alec literally said we did about a third of his health. Yeah. And like, what he did total damage is 36. No, 33. He did exactly how much damage that you guys dealt in a single hit. I literally <laughs> You know, I'm gonna make a paladin in the next character. For whatever fucking campaign we do. I mean, oh, by all means, say that we, go ahead. Here, here's the thing. Here's the other thing about this. He's higher level. Tyler, to give you an idea of what level he is, his highest level spell slot is 3. Yeah. Which means that, in reality, if you were to look at it from his lowest potential level, he's only one level higher than your character. <laughs> Remember, paladins are fucking Wait. gross. No, Turns paladins played properly oh, oh, are gross. You, yeah. Oh, you're saying his dragon soul character? Okay. The reason why I, I believe like... I know his levels because you said he's got improved. Mm-hmm. Which is level eleven. Yeah. Yeah. He's a level eleven paladin. Yeah. And what were you just saying? Is there his level three? Lowest third? potential. I said. My improved, my, my, my improved doesn't change anything, but purely just the fact that the highest level he casted was three, which means yeah. that the lowest potential. So if I take one of those dies away, he did 24 damage to the creature with just the smite, yeah. which is essentially two less damage because it gets resisted. And if I really wanted to, his charisma modifier would have gotten added to that attack to do an additional three. So that damage, even if I didn't have that dice, would have just been mitigated anyways.
He is then going to use his bonus action to cast Blinding Smite, imbues his weapon, and makes another attack. Oh, yes. That's going to hit. And he's going to use his next and his final third level slot to do an additional 68 damage again. And then because of Blinding Smite, it's an additional 3d8. Because this will apply on top of his smite. So we have 17, 42, 51. So it's an additional 25, and then 37. So 37 points of damage. In a matter of two swings, leaves this creature in half. <laughs> Is it still there on the floor? It actually it like... does not stay as its normal uh, form. It uh, essentially what happens after this creature dies is it reveals essentially what was inside. A small young boy, still the age of eight, and a puppet in his hands. And he is now currently laid out on the ground. He looks over to Nathaniel and says, It's over, Nathaniel. Stop. You don't have to do this. But if you continue to resist, I will have to cut you down as well. Nathaniel's turn starts. He says, No. My... My creation. My masterpiece. You destroyed it. You've left me alone, just like all of them. You're just like they say. You're no hero. You're no protector. You couldn't even protect your friend. Ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beat his scrawny little ass in. I just... Caught me off like guard. Caught me off guard there. He says, uh... Well, I won't go down. If I'm gonna go down, I'm just gonna take the whole world with me. Why not? There's nothing stopping me. This is my creation, after all. Oh, no. So, I throw the tea kettle at him. <laughs> oh, God. That's so, tea kettle. You need to keep it, Joe. To explain at least a little bit of insight into this because of what Nathaniel was about to do. Oh. Um, Y'all know how a bag of holding works. Yeah. Y'all know what happens when you turn it inside out, yeah? Everything no, out. no, no. You were oh. not fucking doing that to us. You Everything spills out. If you you're on not... the normal plane. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Daydream worlds are in their own plane. Yeah. Essentially, their own pocket dimension. And what happens when you open a pocket dimension in a pocket dimension? Black hole. No. Yes. What? Is it black hole? Or just destroy it? It's essentially, it's essentially, think of it like this. 
If you were on Faerun, normal plane, you take a bag of holding, you put it in a bag of holding. That creates a wormhole, which then starts to suck everything into it. Consider the space that you were all in a bag of holding. He is now going to take a bag of holding that he has because Artificer, and he is going to turn it inside out. Can I can I throw something at him? Go ahead. What are you gonna throw? A tea kettle, <laughs> the one I stole from him. <laughs> um. Can I make an attack? At yeah, maybe end? make the I'm range attack throw one. on it. Okay, what is it? A d20 plus. D20 plus your dex. But the dex is a straight d20. I am praying. Oh fuck. That's not enough to hit. If it Damn was, it. if it was, I would have, I would have ro still rolled for the mirror image. Actually, no, I wouldn't have rolled for mirror image. I would have just let it happen. Can I Angelo Cannon Carbuncle into his fucking face? Go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> is, I guess I have to show him. <laughs> like, you want to shoot him? Go ahead. Okay, I guess we all could use reactions to stop him. Yep, we we'll all, we'll all get a reaction to hit him, essentially. Uh, for Carbuncle attack? I mean, just you can just easily just do Carbuncle's attack. It's a melee attack. I loaded a fire I will make an exception too. for this one. Okay. Damn, I, I really so. wanted that fucking pot to hit. <laughs> that would've been hilarious. Oh, I missed. I'm just waiting for everybody to turn. <laughs> wow, well, that's bad. That My god, good. we're all missing. Okay. Yeah, Everything's okay. just getting sucked into the world. Uh, I assume this is happening as he is opening it, correct? Like, are you trying to? Well, I mean, it's 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 essentially already opened, but it hasn't sucked oh, he everything hasn't flipped in it right out. away. Okay. Well, no, he's 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 gone into the process of flipping it, but this is everyone's reaction to basically get like a you know an attack on him. Okay, Hawk, eat the black hole. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Well, because my plan was uh, to try to attack before he actually got the chance to fully flip it inside out. And I was just going to roll to basically attack his arm. But yeah, fuck it, we'll still go for it. Uh... Oh no. Man, we, all, we all fucking suck. <laughs> You're lucky you have thrown weapon because it, it, it instantly comes back to you. Yeah, this, I know. If you, that's just what I was worried about. The flavor text for it saved you. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> like if you, is that like if you roll the that you're one. Try to do? Please don't chuck the Yeti staff. No, <laughs> I'm gonna say. Can't use chill touch. Even though he doesn't have Warcaster no, all I, on him too. Well, I thought well, I, I thought too much was a cantrip. Yeah, chill touch. You still, can't cast, this. you still can't cast cantrips as a reaction, but I'm saying uh, that as war, uh, you know. Even though he doesn't have Warcaster, I'll allow him to do it this time. Uh, well, why do I need a reaction to cast it? Because this is your reaction. Oh. I'm giving everybody a reaction to attack. Oh, well, uh... Well, that guy, Nathaniel's all the way over there, so... Um... No, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stay here. You're not, okay. gonna, you're not gonna use Chill Touch? Huh? You're not gonna use Chill Touch on him? I mean, I could you might as well yeah i'll go for it let's let's do that um let me see here you could you could roll that 20 on that it's possible we all <laughs> missed why are we garbage <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, i'm level i'm level two because because we're not daddy Level two doesn't even like affect you. You have a plus five to your attack roll, dude. Uh, but I rolled. <laughs> Zach, like, did I... you say that because of freaking the uh, the friendly neighborhood paladin here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're not him. That's why we're missing. I mean, how did I? How... By the way, that mean, was not like in two. character. Nope, in character you call him daddy. You will address okay. him oh as God. daddy. I call I called him father. <laughs> does, so, does, does Ash's eyes go wide for some reason from that one? Oh no. 
Boys, boys, I need to, I need to get stronger. Does Guile get jealous? So, curiosity. <laughs> don't worry about it, Tyler. So, <laughs> as this wormhole opens, and Nathaniel is essentially <laughs> sucking in the world, you notice the um, all of the homunculi and everything begin to start being sucked into it. Um, everybody, make a. Everybody make a strength saving throw to just keep yourself basically just like planted for the moment. Can I grab oh, the yeah. kid? I don't care if I have to roll with disadvantage, but can I uh, grab the kid and the I'm, doll? I'm also trying to grab my pike as well <laughs> before I get sucked in. Uh, you can grab your pike. Um, as for the kid, because he got cleaved in half, the kid is also in half. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh. Yeah. I was going to ask, is... I, I was going to ask this. I didn't realize it was. Okay, what do I need to do? A strength save? Yes. Is, yes. The, is the puppet okay. there? Oh, fuck. Um, the uh, puppet I, I rolled there. a 15 with a negative one. Is the puppet in half or is it still no, solid? The puppet, is, the puppet is solid. I have the worst strength here and I, I did it. I did it, boys. Oh. Has I been there this, no, this whole time? I, 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 no, I'm, I just put it on the board. But so I, 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 okay. I, I, okay, I don't see it. It's okay. I, I don't. I just, I just wanted to ask this real quick. Did Tony's carbuncle just get sucked up when he launched it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Carbuncle literally had nothing this entire time. It was just there to get fucking smacked if, if, if need be. <laughs> uh, I do want to grab the doll as it's getting sucked in. So okay. is it disadvantage? No, you're fine. Okay. Uh, what? What is it? Strength save? Yeah, just a strength save. Negative one. I'm okay. fucking gone. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to go bite the head no, off no. the fucking kid. <laughs> Fuck you. Just, just tell me how I die. Can I go bite the head off the kid with my war pick? See if it angers him. Why don't you just bite the head off fucking Nathaniel? Because I missed. <laughs> then try again. Can I try again? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> what, can I bite the head off the kid? And see if it angers the dead you anymore? <laughs> I'm not even gonna be the end no. Are you contemplating it? You're not allowed to bite the head off the kid because you're Alec, not close enough to the kid. Damn it. Alec. Damn it. Since I'm between these, is there any way I can get advantage? No, because they're also getting sucked in. Oh fuck! Okay. Everything is getting sucked yeah, in, yeah. Tyler. Wait, what, what, it, what, 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 what was what was the strength save on the suck in? Uh, you'll all find out. Um, what if I got hungry and I started sucking things back? <laughs> what if we were both sucking <laughs> things? <laughs> Just, I mean, that would mean essentially <laughs> a second wormhole. You really want to do that? Well, well, no, not, not, but what? But no. If I win, what if I black what, hole? What if I suck Nathaniel? Like Nathaniel <laughs> sucking things in, right? What if I'm just targeting Nathaniel? Like fuck that, we're gonna have <laughs> succession right here. No, you should be targeting the black hole. Like oh, what, okay. if, what if he each ate the bag of holding, and then it's in his stomach? It's just it's what? just stomach a bag of holding. Yeah, I have I have a question, <laughs> just for shits and giggles. What if we were in a town and I accidentally ate all the armaments, like swords and daggers? Like, there's twenty of them, right? And then I regurgitate twenty weapons. Do they all get to do their like their dice rolls for damage? <laughs> they could essentially like be like you, they they could essentially be like that. They could regurgitate like just. This sort of machine but it would, out it of your would, mouth. The thing is, is that like. Eating all of those and then regurgitating them, uh, I'd say doing like something of that kind of caliber would exhaust you. Okay. So if you Maybe if I... you do like, I I probably should have done it with the large item too. So like, large items have a chance to exhaust you, and multiple items have a chance to exhaust you. Okay. That as I level it up, maybe it can, maybe we can adjust how it works. Yeah, it, it can be it can be like... easier and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. Anyway, back to the back to All the right. business. Um, Damn, I I'm really wanted say, to see how. I'm just the... gonna say this. All right, Ash, you're the one that critically failed. I rolled for 
the paladin for his save. He can save you, but it's up to you. Would you, would you be saved? Is that something that Ash would want? So, sorry, I couldn't hear you. One more time. The paladin can save you. Is that something that Ash would want? To be saved? Yeah. Alright. Just making sure. <laughs> this wasn't a suicide attempt. Yeah, no, I I, I get that. It was just like I said like I was like This is like, don't do that. Tell me how I die. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, you really like these saves that I have no business trying to do. <laughs> I'm sorry for that regard. I don't make the saves. The saves make themselves. Um, so you end up just getting fully just sucked towards it. You have, like, no footing. Those shoes are not good for this situation. Um... Wait, Gael has socks on. His shoes have made now. Put shoes back on. <laughs> um, right at the right at the point where like you get basically just fully sucked in, you can see everybody as you're getting like, or as you as you slowly get further away, and then you get grabbed by the same person oh, that saved you. That has basically just been. You know, back and forth saving you all. So you guys are basically just like right here. He catches you. Yeah. And yeah. What happened to Giles' weapon? I have it. I said that he. You could grabbed it. I, he, oh, I, I told did. Him, I told him that he could pick it up. Okay. So, <laughs> you end up getting saved, and then he says, "No dying today." I, 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 I. <laughs> I want to do something stupid. I'm really sad. I was really wanting to know how the administrators were going to react to seeing Levi intentionally, literally biting the head off of the bed. What? Originally, it was going to be the war pick, but no, I really planned after that that I was going to myself bite his head off wait a person nathaniel yes i wanted to, you i wanted i was wanting to i was wondering what the administrator's reaction would be to seeing that if i remember also, they can't is, see this in general nathaniel just standing there or is he getting sucked in no if i remember correctly it's also and static for them for they that. can't see anything going on right now so he turns the bag of holding inside out Everything starts getting sucked into it all. Everybody has essentially now succeeded on their saves. Ash is basically just being held by. Um, I succeeded. Paladin. Yes, because of the paladin. You're welcome. Big oh, ass. oh, good point. And as for Nathaniel, he doesn't, because in this regard. His patron shows up. This creature, in this case, basically just teleports himself into this space, looks at Nathaniel, puts his hand on his shoulder, and then teleports the both of them out. With the black hole, or...? Nope. Black hole's still going. Of course it is. The paladin then says, Everyone get close to me. Hell yeah. I go... I just slide with it. <laughs> it's pulling me. Yeah. Yay! It's essentially like... This is the black hole right here. And as time is passing, it's essentially getting bigger bigger oh, well. and bigger and 
now with everybody close at hand, he ends up beginning to glow. <laughs> Golden wings sprout from his back. And he then begins flying up. This is a good time for the Super Mario Galaxy theme you're playing. God damn it. <laughs> so is he, a, is he an Azimer? I'm not even he joking. He is an Azimer. Okay, so he must at least be... Was it level 10, 11, 13? To have the wings, right? Or does he get them nope, naturally? at level 3. Okay. At level 3, you can transform. I get mine at level 3. Super Daydream yeah. Galaxy. So I get wings eventually. So he is basically just carrying everybody as he is um, flying up through the manor. And when he gets to the outside portion of the manor, you're all essentially seeing what's in the manor. Levi, you see the Seven of Clubs as he's flying past it. <laughs> still the same. I'm just still angry. Eating his fucking head. <laughs> Levi, funny. throw throw the war pick and have it grab the seven of clubs. Whatever character made that, I want to make an as. Well, I like allow so that. Cool. I will allow that as a rule of cool. Go ahead, make an attack throw to grab the uh, seven of clubs. Gotta be specifically the head. So you're able to grab it. As you do so, and you grab it, weapon comes back. You notice that the chandelier from above it snaps right after that, and the chandelier falls. Wait, so does that mean I got the card or no? You have the card. It is currently inside the mouth of the war pick. I just wanted to point out that that card was set there, and a chandelier was gonna fall if you grabbed it. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Glyph warning, baby! Oh, I see. I fucking told you so. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I waited till the world was dying. Don't worry, there will be more I, chandeliers. I was good and didn't touch it till later. <laughs> so fuck you. I listened to you. Till the end when he was a piece of shit and he deserved to get his fucking head eaten like Ozzy Osbourne did to that fucking bat. So, as he ends up flying through, um... <laughs> He crashes through the building of the front entrance and what you guys see ahead of you is just a a large golden gateway heaven <laughs> no hell he begins to fly basically just into the gateway and then after he does so the gateway closes The rest of that world gets sucked into the black hole. Wow. This world is now lost. There is no completion and there is no failure. The world no longer exists. It's in the realm of darkness. Destiny Isles, no. There is now a black hole world. <laughs> Wait, I just realized he's Nathaniel's still alive. I could still eat his head. <laughs> Yay. Do we, we not get points because we didn't complain it? I don't get any points. You know, guys. No. I'm really disappointed we didn't fly by that throne. I should have <laughs> just blew his head off. We didn't get points, and I'm blaming Ace for it. No, no, no. You guys got hey. points. Just not for the completion of the world. I'm got, still blaming Ace. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have to blame you, honestly. You can each blame each other after this is done. I blame nobody. So, I'm sorry, but I didn't but myself for not to not hit the Lord. <laughs> so, going through That's this true. gateway ends up putting I an him, extreme... I thought I would do something. <clears throat> going through this gateway puts an extreme amount of fatigue on you all, and you all fall unconscious. Oh. 
I go nine nine. Everybody, roll me a normal Constitution check. Determine who wakes up first. Uh. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Guy, I'll never fell asleep. I he thought just that twenty was mine oh. at first. So I rolled a nine. Oh my god. Two. Uh -huh. Guy and Ash. You know. Wait, where are we waking up? Just a quick question. <laughs> you don't know. So, well, what I'm, uh, I'll explain what's going on. <laughs> the pal doesn't so, take us to his butt touch layer. I feel like half the party would be okay with that. I mean... You're all unconscious. Now, the first person to wake up is Ash. You wake up, and you feel almost a warmth around you. You notice, as your eyes start to open, that there is a campfire next to you. You see the paladin briefly touching everyone's shoulder, restoring them all to full health. Am I the only one awake right now? You are currently the only one awake right now. When do you plan on waking up? What do you hold on? That's okay. at the paladin. When does the paladin plan on waking up? Yeah. I'm saying that at the paladin, because I'm assuming he's part of the program. Hmm. Okay. He says, Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> waking up isn't an option for me. And evidently, it seems like it's neither an option for you all right now either. To explain, it's currently been three days in the real world. How can you tell? I've been here for so long that I know when the times change. Does that mean trading arc with the Levy's new father? <laughs> if you know the rules, why did so you do attack? I. Why did you attack his brother yeah. instead of Nathaniel himself? You could say there's still a brief glimmer of hope in my eyes for the young lad. I knew him before he turned into a nightmare. As did I. Well, Probably not as long as you've known him, but when he was a child, nonetheless. Did his brother not deserve that same mercy, if not more so? I had to deal with his brother first. His brother was where all of his hatred was. His source. By taking out that... He is now essentially half the man that he was. Most likely won't pull any punches the next time we see him. But at least he doesn't have his catalyst anymore. I'm assuming that would be the puppet. If he was able to get his hands on that puppet, he would have become much stronger than he already is. For once, it feels good to be right, is all that's going through her head. For once, you've been right most of this time. I was about to say, it seems feeling like she's right about a lot for being, some reason. Feeling good about being right, though. Normally, I'm not feeling too good about it. At this time, Guile, you wake up. <sighs> I look around. What do I see? You feel a warmth. 
You see the campfire. You see... Ash, I assume you're sitting up, right? Yeah. yeah you see I'm Ash sitting, sitting up, up and I'm looking at Paladin Boy. I was gonna ask one last question, but I can wait. Um... That thing that got Nathaniel out of there, is that the same thing that we saw the first time we met? Same is a relative term for what that is. The thing that you saw in that forest when I first saved you all, that was the source what these nightmares would like to call their entity. What that was that saved Nathaniel was simply a byproduct of it. In fact, he was an old friend of mine. Ouch. God damn it, Alec. <laughs> I knew- I saw that coming from a fucking mile away, but it still kinda hurts. <laughs> Can I assume that was your partner then? If you have no ability to wake <laughs> up. I only understand that we're allowed to come in here as groups. You can come in here by yourself. Nothing ever stops the person from doing so. There's not even a restriction if you have a partner. It's simply just safer that way. The nightmares weren't relevant when I joined the program. It was simply just daydreams. Everything was. And suddenly, one of the towns that I lived, one of the towns that I had lived at during the daydream, I'd gotten a home, and it was a place that I spent most of my time. It all turned black. And then, my partner Andre and I, we woke up in some dark metal facility, it looked like. I gotta pee and grab a drink real quick. Go ahead. I'll be right back. <laughs> I wake up last, I think, anyway, or some shit. <laughs> yeah, you and Ace. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> he says... We woke up in that facility, when we were walking through the halls. We had weapons with us, but it felt so weird to have them. It felt unreal, the need to fight in a dream. Eventually, Andre got turned into one of those shadows. Instead of just killing him, turned him into a thrall. And now it goes around turning others into more dangerous nightmares. Would I notice Guile waking up by this point? Yeah. And, uh... Guile, by the time- when you wake up, you see the campfire, you see everyone else, um, still asleep. You see Ash currently sitting up, uh, listening, as, uh, the paladin basically was, like, telling his story. Um, the paladin says one last thing to basically end off that story. He says, After he became that thrall, I was terrified. I felt so unnerved. They didn't even bother to kill me. They just turned him into a thrall, then they both left. I tried to speak my failsafe. Didn't work. I thought, maybe I can wait the time out didn't work. I've been here now for at least six months. Traveling from dream to dream. And I've taken an oath. 
I am going to devote myself to cleansing all of the nightmares. Then I look forward to working with you. And Ash holds out her hand as if to signal a handshake. He returns the gesture. Alright, Guile. What do you do? I was... Sits up. Can't make she because he doesn't have a fucking kettle anymore. <laughs> he just... Hmm. What does Guile do? That's actually a question. Hmm. Oh, Guile, you're awake. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thank you, I had absolutely nothing. I could, I could help him out here. Do you want me to help you out here? Yes. <laughs> if you don't, it's okay. Oh, I, I needed help. <laughs> okay. My brain was uh, not working. Yeah. Oh, you're awake, Guile. Um, I could use some tea. You didn't actually throw that kettle, did you? Well, um... See, I didn't have anything disposable at the moment. And I really didn't want him to, you know, do what he did. So I kind of did throw the tea kettle. I see. Well, you'll just have to replace it. One ship of the forge will do that. I do have some... That's a good point. One trip to the forgery. Uh, Ash looks over to the paladin. You wouldn't happen to be able to get to the forgery, would you? And what is your name? Because I don't believe you ever gave it to us. Pardon my manners, but my name is Fa. As for getting to the forge, that is more difficult than it has been. Because you are all now essentially stuck in this realm. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome back. Because you're all now essentially stuck in this realm, you have to travel by foot. There are gateways between each of these dreams that lead into the next, but you'd have to get essentially to the edge of the dream to find them. Making my way through dreams, walking fast, home bounty. I see. If we were to attempt to travel to the forgery specifically, it would take possibly six days of travel. I'm assuming there is... the paths are intertwined and they stay the same? Think or of the daydream as a spider web. Each world is connected to another. And that world connected to more. They're not all linearly connected, but where there is a connection to one, there is a connection to another. We don't know what world you... Unless you're familiar with them, you wouldn't know what world you're going into right away. There's a chance that going into any of the gateways could lead you to another nightmare. And without the pods, I'm afraid your salves don't restore either. Uh, 
Foth, are there others like you? Other sleepless dreamers? Not that I know of. I've met other dreamers, but... I've never met one that has yet to be unable to escape the dreams. So at this time, first. Levi, I'd say you could wake. You'd be waking up. I, you Sick know what? Ass. Levi, Zahak, and Ace can all start kind of like waking up around like the same time. The guy I will say is so. We're the first you've seen then. Since these nightmares have spawned, yes. I half expected you all to just disappear as when I woke up. But here you are. You were all asleep for... three days. By this time, I'd assume that they're already gone to your pods and started basically nourishing you with whatever foods that they can. Your physical bodies are essentially in a coma. Gail looks at Ash and says, your aunt's probably flipping out right now. Yeah, well, she knew the risk of letting me do this. That's all I can really say right now. Do you happen... This is going back to the Paladin. I happen to have a form of map that shows connected corridors between these worlds. I have a rough drawing of it, but it's not much to go on with the nightmares and everything else. The worlds are changing and so are their paths. How did you know we'd need help? I simply followed Michael. Same as when I found you all in the forest. I simply followed shadows, the entity. That blade you have, how did you come across it? You seem to have done more damage in quick succession than we could have ever done to that creature. There's a dream realm. Probably farthest, the farthest dream realm, I would say that can forge magic items of calibers such as this. When I first walked into there, it was, a, it was not our normal forgery, but a different one. They managed, it was just a normal forging hill, but it was run by some dwarves. They were up in the ice hills. They told me that they can forge the best great sword that they've ever made. That's what I wield now. They've given me the honor of naming it. And through my devotion, I've given it the name of Dream Sealer. That's a damn big sword for a dwarf to be handling. It took about three of them to carry it. Well, it's a hell of a weapon. And you wield it quite astonishing. <laughs> quite astonishingly. That stroke was out of character, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't come without its fair risks, however. The dreams are not as understanding of 
the effects that it takes on the physical body. Every dream that I hit essentially seals itself into my physical body. I can't keep doing this. But I can't give up. Yeah. Not until I've gotten Andre back. Maybe rest for a bit. Not saying give up the the quest, but rather take a moment and catch yourself. And also, is a hawk for the yet? time? Oh, yeah, oh, we all, me, yeah, you, and Ace awake. kind of all woke up. Yeah, um, and at least now, for the time being, we at least have a bigger party to help you out with this too. So it's not all relying on your shoulders to do all this. I appreciate it. All I can say is that I pray that you all don't suffer on the way back. These nightmares are more dangerous now than they ever have been. Especially in your in all of your conditions. I must say, however, the risks that come with traveling with me. I don't follow the system that the PDF has set up. If there is a gateway, I can enter it. But that also means that I can enter any nightmare I want. I'm all about that. To be fair, we barely even follow the PDS guidelines and restrictions. Yeah, it did just threaten to eat someone's fucking head off their shoulders, so... Well, you wouldn't be the first. Don't worry on that. I eat dreams and nightmares. That is true. This dude. The hawk, you ate a fucking balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I have not once yet. I have yet to see you eat a I nightmare. Just say my word, Dahlia. <laughs> the name happens. Does the name the hawk you trigger anything with a uh, fox? Sorry, I, I missed that. It that does word. not. And yeah, Tyler, uh, nothing happens. Yeah, I heard you. I missed something, I think. Besides. I'm afraid that, that won't work. What won't work? What your partner, what your comrade here said. I assume it's his failsafe. Well... Um. Your failsafes won't work here. Um, that is unfortunate. The only way we get it get it touch with them at all, or no? Right now, you've all essentially become part of the dream. If you'll notice, and he puts like his right his like right hand up, and he's like pointing up in like the uh, the air, essentially. Right about here. There would have been a list of names. I'm sure right now you don't see it. Hmm. 
You've essentially all become part of the dream. Where, um, to describe the area a little bit more, are we like in a forest or something? Um, you're in a large plains area, and where you currently are is essentially just a, uh, a bit of an open field that had like this, like near like a hillside essentially, and, um, you're next to like a shaded tree. Ash is gonna just stand up, stretch a little bit, and then lean against that tree. Mm -hmm. Alex. Yeah. I'm gonna ran into that session. We're, we're basically ending it right now. No. Just if, any, if anybody has any other questions, otherwise I can just end it here. Mm -mm, I'm tired. I understand. I am sorry that this one went much longer than it needed to. No, no, I'm good with that. I'm, just, I'm tired now. Hmm. Okay. I would have played a little bit of Elden Ring, but... Yeah. I assume at this uh, at this rate, we can probably just end it here and then continue later. Yeah, we're just resting around the campfire with this guy, right? Yeah. So we pick up, like, everybody rests and we pick up in, like, a morning or something. Sounds I don't see a good. reason for that. We've all just slept three straight days. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why Ash got up was uh, she's looking around. She's going, well, what are we waiting for? Uh, I'm ready to go whenever the rest of you are. I don't need to sleep for four days. <laughs> the fuck are we going? Where is there a place that you don't want to go? I, I said, where are we going? Yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I don't, don't know. I was, I was asleep. asleep. We can go anywhere. Anywhere but Windsor Manor, of course. Levi's just going to finally actually get up from where he was sleeping, grab his war pick, and uh go sit next to uh Thoth aka dad <laughs> <laughs> I will eventually slip that in and he will then be known as dad <laughs> to Levi I'm telling you I, I nominate I have to try and make way to the forge and then maybe try to get to the dwarf area and I understand that these weapons do put a toll on the body. Maybe if we were ones ourselves, they could help us fight against the nightmare better than we could. As much as I'd like to take you there, the journey there would be far too long. Maybe we'll find another path there along the along. There's a possibility, but as far as it goes, with the forge being at least a six-day journey, we wouldn't reach the uh, we wouldn't reach the dwarves until maybe three months. Good fucking lord! I feel like we have time to kill, though. So who knows? I don't think it's why we even have forge from part of the dream now. We don't even know if we could use point. That is an interesting question. You know what? <laughs> there is a place I'd like to go, uh, Foth. And I'm sure a few of us might like to go there as well. There was this old man at a lighthouse. He was worried about bandits raiding. What's his name? I thought he was an old man. Uh, regardless, uh, there's a man at a lighthouse, uh, looking out for bandits for the town below. I was hoping we might be able to go there after we handled Windsor Manor. It's been a couple days now, 
I'm sure he could use a hand again. Levi's going to reach into his pocket and look for the card. You find the card. Okay, I want to look at it and see if anything has changed on it from the last time when I spent my points. It is actually blank. What? What? It's blank. I don't know why. I don't find it funny. Both notices that you look at your card and says, um, yeah, that's also different. Um, he pulls out his card from like his pauldron and uh, shows it to you. And it is completely blank. Well, I'm going to assume that we have no longer access to that currency from them. Oh, that's the card you pulled out? Yes. Oh, I should have thought you pulled out the A clothes or whatever it was. No, I f what? That's what I thought you pulled and, out, honestly. And okay, oh, fucking, I lost where I was at. Okay, uh, since we no longer have access to those points from the thing, what what form of way do we have to increase our level to be stronger to even deal with what's I assume going to be coming after us? Well, that's just it. You can still go to the forge and you can still commune at the cathedral. However, when you do so, you don't really know now. We're no longer on the PDF systems. It's at this point that everything that we learn is done by us. If my card actually read what I was properly, it would read as a 11th level paladin and a 4th level cleric. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Almost like the real world. You don't know you're a professional until you become one. So... In this regard, the only thing that you're aware of is how much you currently have. I'm sure you have a bag on you right now, don't you? We was going to begin searching his person and pockets. You find a large bag, essentially. And inside of it, there is a pile of golden coins. Oh. The guy will also check himself. You find the same thing. And guy will count it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna count it as well. You all is going spend... to... Well, yeah, for those of you who do count, you spend about like 10 minutes counting your current currency, and you have the amount that you had in points last you checked. Oh, so we didn't get any points from the one thing? 
I feel like Guile would take an hour to actually count that because how many guys? Levi's just going to put his bag away and uh, um, grab his board pick, set it in between his legs, and he's going to pray. Uh, um, Who knows? Maybe now that I'm stuck here, <laughs> where is where is that fucking? Uh, I want to fucking kill myself. I want to die. I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Fucking uh, end this I character. Like, no, end this character. End this character. It's over. I'm done. I fucking crit <laughs> failed on a fucking religion check. And that was the biggest thing I wanted to do with this character now. Can I just get struck down? Like, can can, oh, can Alquinish just come worry. down and don't fucking worry. eat me and end me? Can don't, I just die? Don't worry. I am, I am getting something for that right now. Um, can I just die? Can I just be dead? Can I just? Is his the black hole came just for me, just cool. to end me? Why? The, oh my Please tell God. me I'm dead. How much is your health? Thirty. What the fuck? Take thirty-five points of lightning damage as you. You attempted to pray to Aquinas, and Aquinas got offended, and basically just smited you. I was about to say, like, Am Aquinas dead, would dead? come here and fucking whoop no. our ass. So you all see him basically just get electrocuted, smited. What the fuck? And you fall unconscious. I just fall unconscious? You fall unconscious. Let me die! It is not that <laughs> big of a deal. Yeah. It is that big of a deal. This would have been the second death in this session, alright? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Let me die! It is not that big of a deal. Exactly, it's only the second death, it's fine. Wait, second death? What do you mean? Girls. You don't understand. No, Tony crit failed on his strength save. So, oh, it would have been. Had, he, had I not... Oh. Rolled for Foth in the regard of saving Ash. Ash would have just been sucked into the black hole and died. Great. Right, you mean you can't regard, read. You can't do it later. But in this regard, uh, no, you fall unconscious. Oh, do I have to make I stabilize him? Stabilize him. You're a whore. <laughs> oh boy. Make a medicine check. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm summoning Carbuncle and just oh, okay. using oh, healing yeah. touch. This is not worth my time. Uh, was that all considered a long rest technically for all of us? It was. Okay. I got smited. I'm stabilizing him, but like I'm not trying to make him wake up. I just want him to not be dying, and I'm just going to say... You can use. Well, I guess we don't have a choice now. We can leave whenever he's ready to go. Yeah, you can use. Uh, you you can use spare the dying, as it normally uh, acts right. now. Nice. Okay. Yeah. In this regard, you're able to essentially stabilize someone who goes down to zero. I hope you know I've lost the will to fight at this point. Like, like Levi is at this point. Jesus lost the will to fight. <laughs> it is not that big of a deal. He literally fucking offended the only god that he is. What was your for. god's thing again, Zach? What do you mean? Like, I mean, no, no, no. Their, their thing. Oh, I just had to be strong enough. But I just, I just offended them. them. You were looking for a handout just now. How did no, you know? I was looking to fucking see what the fuck was going on. You know what's going on, though. Barely. All we know is we're stuck here. Okay, yeah. so he was offended that you wasted his time. <laughs> and it doesn't change the fact that you can always talk to again. When you get stronger, it does not mean oh he's done dying you the forever. Second terrible role I actually this is like the third terrible role I've had on this shit. Maybe it's uh -huh. the game telling you not well, to do I it think... right now. No. Please. 
I understand with Leopold because he rolled so many, so many nat ones. It's ridiculous. He rolled one religion nat one check, and you're wanting him dead. Drama queen. Yes, because at yeah, this basically. point Levi would be losing the will to continue to fight. He feels he has literally just been shunned from him. Well. T take page out of Uwe's book. I'm not following ass, and it's definitely <laughs> not going to be Ace's ass. Okay, but I'm confused. How does this make you lose your will to fight? This was a religion that you were just starting to follow. Exactly, and it was the, that the doesn't main make reason why I wanted to get stronger. Okay, so it's the main reason why you wanted to get stronger. That's not your reason to fight alone, though. Do any more questions as anyone wants to ask? No, I, I'm done with this nonsense. I'm yeah, ready for yeah. the session. We're, 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 we're going to ask you. Yeah, that's no, going to dip gonna, if we're not ever yeah. done. No, no, no. We're, we're going to end tired. the session. We're done. We're done. You guys can have this conversation of 